All right, here is High Pitch Eric calling Eric the Midget. Here we go, Eric. Hello? Hello, hello. Hi, Pitch. What do you want? Listen, I heard you on the show today. I want to help you change your name. How about Frank the Midget? That doesn't make any sense. Are you listening to me, you little f***? Hi, Pitch. There's only one room for Eric on the show, and that's me. Hi, Pitch. Get a brain. <laughs> hello? Hey, Eric. I'm sorry, okay? Yes. I don't want this to get out of hand. I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. And I will sue you. For what? For having my name. No. Could you put your pants down? Grab your package for me. No. Please. I won't eat you if you do. How big are your balls? I pitch. <laughs> this gets funnier. Hello. Hey, Eric, listen, I'm sorry. I'm only joking with you. Let's talk about the football pool. Yeah. Okay. What are you wearing? <laughs> Leave me alone. I bet your little hand makes my look huge. I pitch. Leave me. Speak up, you little <laughs> Sorry, don't hang up. Don't hang up. I'm only kidding. I'm only joking. Talk dirty to me, please. Hell no. Please. I'll, no. Give, you, I'll, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> Just say I love big Hell no. I'll give you ten dollars. I pitch. Unlike you, I don't have a f gay bone in my body. So leave me the f alone, you fat, annoying ass. <laughs> I'm going to drop your pants and spit on it. Oh, oh yeah! Hi, <laughs> pitch. Listen to me carefully. I love the taste of midget balls. Oh. Hi, pitch. <laughs> and how big is your I... I'm not answering that. I'm small too in the pants. Can we talk about this? No. <laughs> Great, huh? Wow. That's awesome. That's like your greatest performance ever, Eric. I hate you, high pitch. I love you. We gotta fat. take that. You're fat, annoying. Hey, uh, yeah, that was great when you yelled <laughs> back at him, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a good one. Hello. Hello. This is Kelly Clarkson. Is this Eric the Midget? This is not Kelly Clarkson. This is more than likely high pitch, isn't it? No. Who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I think you're very cute. High pitch. Give it up. I know it's you. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how are you? It's KC. Okay. Hey, you want in on the football pool? Nice. <laughs> hey, Eric. What's up with the Oakland A's this weekend? They won yesterday. How many touchdowns did the A's make? <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Come on, it's KC here. Nice. <laughs> How many of those midget fingers can you fit in my... None, because I wouldn't try. Come on, I got a lollipop for you. I don't give a... I got taffies for you, too. Speak up, you Ewok. Hey, listen, you're doing a good sport. Let me put Gary on the phone. Can, can you hold on? Yes. Hello, hello, this is Gary Delabonte. <laughs> no, it's not. I can tell it's there. Or high pitch, Eric. It's Gary. How are you? It's high pitch. It's I can tell the damn. Thing. Hi, hi, this, hi. It's Gary Delabate. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm here eating chocolate. Let's talk. High pitch. I can tell it's you. My voice sounds a little different because I have a mask on. <laughs> I have a welder's mask on. That ma mask makes you sound exactly like high pitch. This is the real deal. Okay. Whatever. Okay, good. Let me ask you this. What are you wearing? I'm not answering that question. Hey, this is Gary now. <laughs> I highly doubt Gary Delaponte would be asking me that question. Drop your pants. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> no, I'm not. I pitch. 
I'm not a moron. Mm -hmm. Okay. You pass yourself off as Gary. <laughs> Come on. I could tell people's voices. Okay. That's why I also know. Do you know who it is? It's high pitch. No. It's Artie Lang. <laughs> Are you ready for some dirty deeds? <laughs> hey, look, it's Artie. Come on. No, it's not. Let's kill some jack of waters. High pitch. Knock it off. Can you get that through your head? Goodbye. Mm. Good stuff, Eric. That's great, man. What, one mistake that uh, High Pitch made that I really keyed me that it was him, not Artie, was he was saying that he was drinking Jack and wine. And when I know <laughs> I hear... That's what uh, tipped you off? <laughs> Is that it? Well, the, the voice, too. But yeah. I mean, yeah, the voice? Yeah. He said Jack and wine instead of Jack and water, which I've heard Artie say over and over again. Right. He couldn't fool me. They're not already. But whoever was playing KC, given the fact that KC used to be a high school quarterback from what I've heard on the show, I think he can tell the difference between football and baseball. You could be the assistant director of Homeland Security with that <laughs> uncanny ability to detect phony phone calls. That was excellent. All right, Elf and Boy. Uh, you know, I was just thinking about this. How you doing, man? Hi, hey, I'm fine. All right. Elf and Boy... Uh, you know, I'm thinking about this Xbox deal, and I guess my feeling is that the... I mean, I haven't played Xbox yet. Mm. I, God only knows what's on this Xbox that you have to have it, but it brought you out of retirement because you would, like, almost stop doing the show. Not stop doing it. You did everything you could with me. Oh, no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's something in your bag of tricks yeah. in the future. No, but the Xbox is not for, it's not for me. It's for my girlfriend kids for Christmas. Let me ask you something. Yeah. How much is an Xbox? Do you know? Uh, I, I, I check in on yeah, 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 who some shopping sites, and it's like for four twenty nine. All right. All right. Don't you think it's worth paying the four twenty nine rather than getting tea bagged on national television? I have no idea what tea bag is, but tea bags when a when a when a naked high pitch Eric sits on your face. Oh, good, good. And you know, and 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 part of his package. Is like yeah. on your face position, so it looks like tea bags. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just off it, off, How's off that sound? Doing? How's that um, sound, elephant boy? <laughs> Come on, Fred. Yeah, keep quiet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, uh, tea bag. Tea bag. Come on, let's do a little Lipton. Oh, up yours, Arnie. Oh. Arnie. 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 Up your Arnie. No, up yours. <laughs> So elephant dude. Yeah. You don't have four twenty nine. <laughs> you don't have four hundred twenty nine bucks. I almost want to give uh, it to him. Grandpa, I, I have other bills to pay. I am re re I am re re responsible with my money. You know, right. I can. You know, right. if I have more time, I will save it. But it's the big thing now. Let me ask you Christmas something. Christmas is a couple of weeks away. Yeah. Hey, let me read to you what's on the wheel of sex, so you know. Oh, you either God. get tea bag by high pitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'd pay the four twenty nine. But yeah. go ahead. all right, the next one is you get your head. You have to shave your head for the Xbox. Oh, oh, and, and dude, you need your hair. Yeah. Uh, the next one is you put your hand down Gay Ramon's pants for a minute. Oh, nice. One minute. One full minute. Oh, yeah. I thought that we changed that to high pitch. Uh, high no, that's Gay Ramon. Uh, Gay, Ramon is Gay Ramon has a quarter taped to each one of his boys. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got to get the 50 cents. So somehow I don't think Elephant Boy's going to mind that. Uh, I thought. Yeah, that's not a big deal. See, if he gets that, not that's. Not in public. That's a walk in the park for him. Yeah, I thought, you know, whatever you think. Whatever. Yeah. He just doesn't want anybody else to see him do it. That's the yeah. thing. The next one is you got to pee in a diaper. Uh -huh. All right. The you next think that's easy. The next one is naked high pitch sits on your face. <laughs> Oh, which, is bad, to do that. which is as bad as getting tea yeah, bad. It's it's just uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> then, <a> <laughs> yeah. Is a high pitch Eric naked when he sits on his oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, and that's probably she, worse, don't you think? I like don't, hygiene? Just uh, a thong G string. No. <laughs> no, he's naked. No, he's oh, naked. We should get something for watching it. And you hate high pitch, Eric. <laughs> oh, well, for among among other reasons, yes. Oh, come on, I like you. Why do you hate high pitch? Uh, uh because I, you know, I feel he got a good opportunity to 
get something nice and you blew it. And second, whatever the guy, the guy is exactly. unemployed. I'm paying your penny, gas is paying your taxi to support him for him to not walk. And I can I can stand that he should be looking for work. You know, you know then. By the way, Elton Boy, uh, high pitch is looking for. He went on yeah. a job interview. Yesterday. I heard that today. Yeah. That's good for him. Can you imagine? I, but I want to. I, I want to manage your office. <laughs> I know. I got to give him my uh, Johnny's. I don't know how. A Giants. Yo, yeah. High Pitch Eric right. has a jet ski. Yeah. He has a jet ski. Yeah, in Forest Hills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and also uh, there's another one where you have to paint High Pitch's package green uh, with your hand. And then and the, it's the paintbrush, just him, not no, no hand. fingers, no fingers. paintbrush, no oh, your hand, yeah. finger painting, Fred. <laughs> and then the next thing, leapfrog with a naked high pitch. Uh, All right, oh, and then Robert, and then wait, wait, this is the bad What can slip into after my my segment? And here's the worst thing: make out with Gay Ramon. Oh, oh. ooh, you would I do know, that? No, I know Gay, Gay Ramon is a nice guy, but something not 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 my type. Well, you're gonna have to do it if you want an uh, Xbox. No, I mean. I am not going to chicken out whatever the race said I would do. <laughs> I would do. Oh you know? Oh, man. I am, you know, I am focused. It's for two wonderful kids, and I would do anything for <laughs> okay. them. I want to do something to save face and give, give them the 429 bucks and tell them to go buy one. Do you think I they're really going to want to know him no. after yeah. he kisses Ra <laughs> <laughs> Gay Ramon? <laughs> All right, let's, let's play the game. Bring in High Pitch Arc and Gay oh. Ramon, and then Elephant Boy will spin the wheel yeah, of sex. Bring, bring them in. <laughs> Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! Spin the wheel! This is really wrong. Spin the wheel! Come on in. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. He's oh. back in a thong. High Pitch Eric is in a thong. Oh, Put the microphone on High Pitch for a second. High Pitch, you went on a job interview? Yeah. For what yeah. kind of work? Our office job. I want to manage the office. Oh. Yeah. What would he do as an um, office administrator? Nothing, except to eat. <laughs> Did you get the job? No. No, not yet. I think he goes on jobs he knows he can't get, so that his unemployment stays intact. Did, did you sew three suits together to go on this job? <laughs> <laughs> did you wear a suit to go down for the job interview? Hi, Pip. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, man? Pay attention. I thought that was an animal on the chair over there. All right, well, high pitch. Yeah. So what do you so like you went in on a job interview and uh you know you're not gonna get the job, right? Who knows? You never know. Did the guy did the guy even bother saying to you, Well we'll let you know? Yeah. He did. Yeah. <laughs> what did they hey. ask you? Hi <laughs> I wanna work. Yeah, Is it a mailroom job? Fish. Kind of. Oh, okay. I oh. consider myself a real go getter. See, so, so usually on a mailroom job, they'll give a retard the job because it looks good to the public that, you know, you're giving a retard a job. You know and I mean? they don't have to see him that much. No, how, they told me that they had him doing, like, math tests, and he failed miserably. That's why he didn't get it, right? I, I'm very bad at math. Like, what did they ask you? A tw 20, 20, 20 percent of 120 and stuff. Some are, I am not surprised. I'm not good at that. Don't you know what 10 percent of 120 is? And then you just double it. 20. What? 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 <laughs> All right, oh man, you're not gonna get any job. Hey, what was the ten percent of what? One twenty. One twenty. A hundred. Hundred what? A hundred? What are you insane? What times ten would get you one twenty? What number times ten? Two. Uh, hey, how two you times oh. ten is one twenty. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold ten on. times twenty. No, That's two hundred. One twenty. I said one twenty. Ten times what will get you one twenty? Eight. Just uh, add a zero to it. What number? Ten times. No, he's not. That's the thing. No, he doesn't think, know. He's retarded. He's, lying, no. he's just picking any number. Now he yeah. says eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> what is one twenty? Remove yeah. the zero from one twenty. Eight. It's it's one hundred. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Wait, wait, Remove can, the zero. Yeah. Hold it, Alvin boy. Yeah. Remove the zero from one twenty. One nineteen. No, 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 no. Uh, the, uh, look at the, look at the number one twenty and take away the zero. What do you got? What number? Remove the zero from the one. So, 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 one twenty is one two zero. What yeah. happens when you remove the zero? What do you have? Twelve. Okay. Very good. So what's ten times twelve? One twenty. All right. Now, now I'm going to give you. Now that you know that, Great. what's twenty percent of one twenty? Twelve. Uh. Uh. 
Ten <laughs> percent is twelve. So what's twenty percent? Uh, oh boy, you are retarded. Let's just beat him with a fish now. Yeah. You graduated high school? Yeah. No, but no. I, have, I have my diploma at home. <laughs> yeah, we'll burn it. Is, is, is it. is it a Regents diploma? Get no. out of here. No, it's a regular high school diploma. It can't be. For, it but you were in the retard class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he didn't does have it, to take the Regents. Summer comes does stupid. It, does it say your summer comes stupid? <laughs> summer comes stupid. Does it say on the diploma you're in the retard class or just a regular high school just diploma? Just a regular high school diploma. That's oh, why. It's a disguised. <laughs> that's why I wouldn't even bother going to high school nowadays. He's the only kid who could fit on that little bus. Uh. <laughs> if 10% of 120 is 12, what's 20% of 120? Double 12. It's ah twenty four. There you oh, go, bro. Wow. Hey. See? Do you follow any of that? I think so. A half hour later, he passed the test. All right, so you did pretty good. So what's ten percent of three hundred? Thirty. Right, because you dropped to zero. Thirty. Yeah. Look at him. Now he what's something today. what's twenty percent of three hundred? Oh, thirty. Oh. Oh. How can it be the same answer? How could 10% of 300 be 30 and 20% of 300 be 30? Yeah. Uh, just, I don't know. It just is. Only macro. What goes on in that head of yours? <laughs> He's got to be retarded, right? I mean, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not retarded. 10% of 300 is 30. So what's 20% of 300? What'd you do with the 12? You doubled it. 24. Right. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> All right. So you're saying your final answer is 24 is is 20% of 300? You can't keep just... Every answer... No, 30. 30. 30 is 10% of 300. What's 20% of 300? 40. Oh, keep boy. going. 60. Got it. There you go. There you go. You're a whiz. I can't believe you didn't get this job. I feel like Dr. Phil. I'm working on you. You didn't make him cry, though. Oh, I can do that with a fish. All right, buddy. You did okay. Now you got it. Thank you. You're not as stupid as, you, as you're making it seem. Now hey, he answer the question. Do you have a job for him? No. <laughs> you know who in his right mind would give him a job? Nobody. Nobody. Howard, you know what he told me? He's going to play basketball later. Can you believe that? Uh, well, you know He's not going to play basketball. I am. He's probably got a better shot at that. He's not playing basketball. Remember, you could do one sit up in here. Yeah, that? Because I have a point corp and I play basketball. All right, here we're going to play for the Xbox. Let's let Elephant Boy spin the wheel of sex. Gabe Ramon, how are you, sir? All right, how are you doing? Good to see, Good you. To see you. You're involved in this. You could, oh, If it yeah. lands on this, Gabe Ramon. Hey, I'm all down. Gabe Ramon at least looks halfway presentable. Hey. Okay, let's go. Spin the wheel, baby, right The wheel is going round and round. She goes where she stops. She doesn't know. Will Elephant Boy have to pee in a diaper? Will he shave his head? Will he get teabagged by high pitch, Eric? And the wheel is going, 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 and it looks like naked high pitch sits on your face. Paint high pitches package green leapfrog with a naked <laughs> high pitch. No, no, no. no it's the no, paint it's is package green. Okay, paint is package green. <laughs> you got off easy. Uh, way too easy. Are you sure it's not leapfrog? Too easy, Howard. Come on. Check to make sure it's not leapfrog. Now, move the wheel a little bit, Case. Make sure it's on. Is it definitely on? Is it, you sure it's on that? It looks to me. No, no it's, it's on leapfrog. Spin it again. There. No, it's on leapfrog. <laughs> he moved it. Did you move it, Casey? Tell me the truth. No, what? Tell me the truth. Uh, Tell, me the truth. Uh, Tell me the truth. Yeah, I did. You no, moved it. Okay. Spin again. Spin again. Spin again. <laughs> Elephant no, based along. It was on this side, this back. All right, take it easy. I'll be back to Queen, but I'm not going to be Shanghai. All right, you got to paint high pitches package green with your hand, dude. <laughs> I'm not going to be Shanghai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be Shanghai, dude. I'm not going to be Shanghai. All right, here we go. This is pretty gross. Elephant Boy is... Uh, what, like, are they going to lie him down? <laughs> how do you prepare for this mentally, like, to watch it? What are we going to... Uh, well, what he's got to do is got to paint his whole uh, package green. Don't think that that's that easy. Uh, can't miss a spot. All right, High Pitch is taking off his thong. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, 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 take it off. Take it off. High Pitch, take off your thong. Okay. Get a microphone on high pitch. Kiss is for you, kiss. Guys, come on. You, you know how to do this, don't you guys? Gay okay, Ramon is now holding the microphone. I got the mic, Howard. Hey, What's give up, it to baby? I miss it. <laughs> All right. Ganji, take the microphone from Gay Ramon or somebody. Doug, get a helper in here. Gary, come in. Somebody. John, get up off the couch. Okay. Can you hand the microphone in front of Elfin Boy? Oh. Okay. Now you're all set.
Okay. Now we're all set. <laughs> you guys you guys are as retarded as high pitch. High pitch, are you ready? Pull down your thumb. Oh, oh, oh you got no Oh God, look at that. <laughs> I'm not even looking. Did you know that? I, I mean, I don't want to be disgusting, but you know that that high pitch Eric is not circumcised. I know it now. Oh. I, thought, I thought he was Jewish. High pitch, you're not circumcised. What do you mean I'm Jewish? Yeah, but you're not circumcised. Oh. Your family didn't want to waste anything wow. on you, did they? Oh, God, look at that, Robin. <laughs> Say no, you're, you're Jew. Yo, yeah. yeah. And you're not circumcised. I don't know. It's time to give him a brisk. Do you know today. what circumcised means? <laughs> Yeah. I, I tell you, I, Are you circumcised? I don't know. What does it mean? Wait, you don't what? know? What does it mean? When you're born, they cut something off your penis. Okay, now do you know whether you have that or not? You don't know? I don't know. How could you not know? You don't know if you're circumcised? I, I guess. You're uh, retarded. I, what's 20% of circumcised? Ooh. I don't know, man. It doesn't look oh, like you're head. circumcised. I didn't know if you've been circumcised or not. You look in a mirror. I don't know. <laughs> or did someone just cut off the whole tip of your? I think something's got something's, something's got, wrong yeah, with it. Doesn't you, look doesn't right, it? Howard. It, it, it looks like half of what it should be. You know, it's almost like it got messed up at birth and nobody felt like they had to fix it. Wow, I don't know what that is. What do you got down there, dude? What is that? <laughs> You know what, you Howard? Know he's got the shell, just not the insides. <laughs> yeah, can he even oh get? Oh my a, God! Can he even get a rat? Oh, 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 All right, there it is. There it is. It's the. All right, we got it. We got it. You're, you're circumcised. You're circumcised. I was going to do it. I think you. I think you're circumcised. Have you ever seen anything so, like that? No. I no, don't have. Oh, could he even get aroused with that thing? Howard. I, I got a small package, right? Yeah. I do, right? Yeah. I want to do that. I want to go on a date with that perfect All right, never mind that. Don't confuse that. You need an IQ over 80. Yeah. I don't. I have one. All right, Elfin I Boy, think so. you I sure am. you want to do this? I no, pa, I, dip your I hand make in. a promise. I keep my promise. All right, dip your hand in that green paint and paint his package green. And it's got to be like all green. Just yeah, to, yeah, you know, we'll to... judge it. Go ahead. I'll tell you if it's done or not. We'll tell you when you're done. You know what? I don't, I don't know what to do. No, no gloves. No gloves. I'm having, a hard, I'm having a hard time dealing with this. <laughs> Me too. I don't think I want to watch. Oh God. Is he going to get uh, Kiss, it's for you. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh, hey. Go slow. Don't hurt the guy. Be gentle. Be gentle. Oh, my God. No, don't put that there. You got to hurt right, That's enough. Good. That's enough. Hey, that ain't right, right? You what? can't just you no. can't pour stuff in no. that area. No, he didn't do it. No. He didn't. He didn't pour it. He dunked. It. You gotta keep it there. For, you gotta keep it there for a little bit. <laughs> you missed a, a lot of spots on the bottom. The bottom. Jeez. Ah, ah, ah. oh, Eric oh, likes right, it. Enough. Eric, He's all green. Eric, now. you like that? How? Can you talk to do it gently? Gently, Alfin boy. That's gonna hurt the guy. Be gentle. I don't give a damn. No, you be gentle. Come on. You be oh. gentle. You be gentle with high pitch. Oh <laughs> All right, you're done. You're how about done. The, how about the, Eric, you're done. How about the taint? No. <laughs> he looks like he's he got a, a one of those green ice cupcakes in front of him. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. What? That's wow. That was the, the most the most disturbing thing I've ever seen. I usually pay the hookers to do this. <laughs> hey, Eric, no bra. Well, elephant boy, you just earned yourself an Xbox. Well, just imagine the... those kids now, and everybody says, "How'd you get your Xbox?" <laughs> you know what's the weirdest thing about the whole thing is. That high pitch Eric's like a statue. Yeah. You know, it's like it's a, he's completely unaffected by the fact he's just been touched. Eric, man, you've just been touched. <laughs> Eric, how was here? it? How was it? What does that mean? Yeah, you know, you know, I wanted the elephant boy to win the Xbox. That's why I was trying to help him. Oh, oh that's great. Right. Right. Oh, nice thank you, Eric. Ah. <laughs> okay. It's for you, kids. No, because if, because if people help you, if, if I help elephant boy, he'll help other people down the line, too. Yeah. Pay it forward, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah Pay right. it forward. <laughs> how it, yeah, you elephant boy. I want, I want to help Eric. Yeah. Why'd you say? I want to help Eric. <laughs> you want to help Eric? Is he going to pay won't. you? He won't ever help Eric as well. Oh, he won't. Okay. Hey, Howard, was that the gayest thing yeah. <laughs> wow. that we've done in here? Gayest oh. and uh, worst. Kids, I love you. Oh, be quiet. Kids, I love you. You don't have kids. Don't bring up the they, kids. Oh, they, oh, they hate you now. It's your girlfriend's kids. Yeah, it was. Not even your kids. Sip. Well, can I pull this off? Please do. Yeah. Hey, get your <laughs> Hey, Fred, did she okay that you would do this? Was she fine with it? Uh, yeah. She, she told me to go for it, no <laughs> matter really why. She doesn't love you. <laughs> no, I, if, well. if anything happens, you guys will be the last to know. <laughs>
What? <laughs> what? If anything uh, happens, you'll be the last to know, yeah. I think what he said. Uh, I don't know. Hey, anyway, uh, hi, Pitch Eric. The only way you're getting an Xbox is if you uh, put a fish down your pants. Tomorrow. A dead fish down. Do it now. No, tomorrow. No, no. Now. Tomorrow. Now. Now's your only now. chance. Do it now. 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 It's about tomorrow. No. We're going to wheel in a dead fish. You said tomorrow. Right now. Yeah, but he's, oh, he, he's, he's, he wants to do it now. Tomorrow. You know what? Nah. Today's no, not tomorrow. What the heck? Here. You're here. Here it is. Show him the dead fish. We love fish. I'm trying what? to figure out how you're going to get the fish in that little package. <laughs> Show him the fish. <laughs> Hi, pitch. How could you possibly be afraid of a fish after all? Oh, oh. 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 oh my God. No, I pass on it. You won't do it? Why not? Oh, no. I why won't you put... Why won't you put no, the I fish... Pass. Why won't you put the fish down your pants? No, I pass. Why? Oh. I pass. Why? I pass. Why are we willing to do it tomorrow, not today? I pass. What's about tomorrow? What's uh, so important? Would you come back and do it tomorrow? Yes, no, you're not going to. You know I will. that. I will. I because will. Because you know what? You're no. exactly 60 seconds away from walking out with an Xbox in your hand. That's the deal. Yeah. I got it right upstairs. You do this, bang, you're walking home with it. You got it. It's, it's right there for you, right upstairs. You can play with it. Uh, you can play with it today. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I have no games. So you have no, no comfy games? games. I don't want to be shagged. It, co it comes with like two wait, games. Wait, wait, what do you mean you have no games? For the Xbox. Well, buy some, you fat load. What? <laughs> 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 for, for like enough of bars, I would put a fish in me. Oh, Just so Eric. No, we don't care about your yeah, fish. Sort of stuff in We've seen what you put in you. Uh, Eric, come back out. here. Come here. Come back here. Come back here. Come on, Eric. Go. Come on, Eric. Get back. Come on. Go Eric, come here. We're not putting a fish on you. We're come not going to put it on you. Eric, come here. I want to talk to you. We're not going to corner you. Don't worry. Come here, Eric. Come all the way over no, here. Right they're, 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 this way. They're, cor they're cornering me over here. No, no I promise over. they won't. <laughs> come you already here. got a fish. Wait, get the fish face. away from him. Get the fish away get from him. Get the fish away from him. Put down that fish. Put down that fish and bring him back here. Ramon, step back, Ramon. Eric, we wouldn't do anything to embarrass you. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. He's going to put the fish down. Come on. Here. Come on over here. Come on. Just follow me. Right over here. Go stand over there. Well, he really is disturbed by fish. Go stand over there, away from all the fish. All right, all right. All right, Eric. <laughs> I'm offering you this one last time. Eric, look at me. Eric, look at me. Here's your task. That fish is your Mount Everest. Take a look at it. Take a look at the one holding, being held by Ganji. That's one ugly fish. Oh, what do I have to is do? Is it missing its head? It's missing a head. It's, it's definitely missing. missing a head this time. All right, we took the head off to make it easier for you. What do right? I have to do? We're you your know pals. Eric, you know, at this point, it's more than an Xbox. It's like you can overcome this big fear and get something out of it on top of it. Really? And you'll never be afraid of fish again once you're done. What do I have to do with that fish? What you're going to have to do with it is take that fish. How many? How much does that weigh, Ganji? Oh, this thing is heavy today. This is probably at least 40, 45 pounds. <laughs> you take that 45-pound cod, the headless cod, the headless gutted bloody fish put it down your g-string and keep it there for five minutes that's not gonna fit it's just gonna lay there howard what about uh ma get, mackerel look at the wire you know what? Not I, a got, mackerel. I got a better idea you know how this will work eric get on your back yeah you pull, pull up your pants we'll shove the fish in there and then just no, lay down for five no, minutes no, now you're saying no. no to the xbox i thought you had conquered your fear it doesn't have a head Lula, Lusa. 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 <laughs> hey Howard. Yeah. Do you think Eric would like? I'm just. I, I know that he's got to do the fish, but you think he would even? Would you make out with Gay Ramon? What do you mean? How? Uh, like a like a guy makes out with a girl. A, Tongue kiss him. Would like, you give Oral the Elephant Boy? Oh God. I give a stick. He'd rather give Oral yeah, the so Elephant I mean, Boy. That's a yes. Do you see that face? So, so you're thinking about it. So so you're saying and what happened? So, All you got to do is take that cod. This is what I'm saying. Take a look at it. Look at it. You see that fish? Take it, stick it in your G-string, and stand there for five minutes. It has to be the big fish. The big one, yeah. It's not going to oh. fit down my G-string. It'll fit. I'll make it fit. <laughs> you, you don't like have that. to worry you about the fish it. to be closed. I'm going to have blood all over me. We'll get some green. You might have fish guts on you. That's correct. You already got green paint. What's the big yeah. deal? Right. <laughs> yeah. That, is that going to make you feel uncomfortable? <laughs> it is. There's going to be a fish on you. It's your worst fear. I know that. You hate fish, am I correct? Yeah. Will you eat a fish? No. Ever? No. Does yes, he you look will. Like, you said you do eat Does he fish. look like a guy that eats anything no, but junk food? Howard, I, eat, I eat tuna fish. So that's a, that's a tuna no. fish before... No. Pretend I mean, that's a tuna fish. No, but what if... I got one for you. What if what? I got one for you, Eric. Would you take the smaller fish, 
Put it no. in your back in the butt crack and no. then make out with Gay Ramon? No. I'm not interested in that. No, I want this guy to conquer his fear. I have. I want to help him. Is anyone asking Gay Ramon if he would make out with Ivan? Oh, there's no question he'd do it. Oh, he would? I don't know why, but he would. In a 40-pound cod. Get into the moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to three, and this is your last chance. No, I, the last time I was here, you said a small fish. No, I didn't. That was last time. Is it this time? I don't even remember last time. You know what? I, I blocked tell you it out. Tomorrow, the fish will be twice the size if you want to come back. I will get a whale. <laughs> <laughs> Head and all. I'm going to count to five. Why can't it be a small fish? The fish is not going to get any smaller, Eric. This is it. It's, it's Xbox. only going to get bigger. It's Xbox now or never. Right upstairs. I got it. <laughs> Next to you, that fish is tiny. Come look at the, on, look look at the wire the resting on his stomach. And, and so you say if I put that fish down this juice drink, it's going to touch my whole body, too? Yes. yes. Five oh. minutes. Five minutes. And I have to put it in myself. I'll put it in if you want. I'll have my boys put it in your G-string. Come on, Eric. It's a fish. Come on. But that, it's all bloody, man. Yes, it is. Yeah, so but at least there's no Real head fish. on it. I took the eyes off in the head. I did that for you as a favor. Yeah. I was not looking at you this time. Right. I'll be smelling like fish all day. That's, That's a, a better smell. smell. Like you, anyway. might, you might want to consider taking a shower. Eric, this is... Yeah, Maybe yeah. this is a good opportunity for a shower. <laughs> Yeah, don't wait till Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, this is an Xbox, Today's man. Today's the day. Think of all the guys Eric, at the office. But why for Think of all the guys at the office that isn't going to hire you. <laughs> right. I got an Xbox. But why, but why for five minutes? Because 30 seconds you might do. That's and this the is, deal. This is, you all right, I'll tell you what fear. I'm going to do for you because I like you. I'm going to make it two minutes. But he has to make but, it uh, But if you, if you wait past the count of five, when I count to five now, it's going back up to five minutes. Hey, Howard, how about you add a mackerel every, every time he doesn't want to do it? Add a, add a mackerel. No. I told him the deal. Two minutes. But how far will it be down my juice drum? It will be in there. there. All the way. Where? It'll be yeah. laying across your your legs and tucked into your G-string. You have nothing there. So it's going to be all the way down here. That's right. Are you ready? I'm going to count to five. Oh, so if that's all the way down, then I might not have <laughs> the fish guts on me. You will have fish guts probably on your leg. Some might spill on you while we're putting it in. We don't we're know. We're do our best. We don't know what'll happen. You never know what happens. What Here we go. What care? You're going to wash it off. Yeah. I, I, he has I, a fear of fish. I, I, I'd rather have a small one. All right, I here we go. No, here no, we I, go. I, count. No. One. And, and, and if I... if I, So it's going to be two minutes, right? Two. You're going to lose the two but, minutes, but, who, but who's going to put it on? Who's going to put it in? Three. Ganji. And then will he take it out? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Four. Eric! Do it! Do it! Do it, man! Five! Go down! Uh, That's it, it's gone. No yeah, Xbox. Okay. All right. You, you have to do five minutes now. Unbelievable. Now you're back up to five minutes. <laughs> you lost out on your two minutes. I don't even know if he I don't even know those. if he understood what you were doing. Exactly. You know what? It's, it's sad. I think I, Robert's I, right. It's mad. <laughs> yeah, mad. Can I feel that fish first? Yes. <laughs> no, no, leave it in the icebox. <laughs> right. Let him feel it. <laughs> no! Leave it in the ice box. Yeah, oh, feel it. No, please. No. <laughs> no. He touched it. <laughs> All right, are you ready to go? Eric, it's dead. Come it's on. been dead for a while. It can't hurt you. It really, it's actually All right, I'm done it. with this bit. All right, Eric, you lost out on an no Xbox. No Xbox again. And don't call us for tomorrow. It's over. That's it. That is one of the Stop, Mike. Stop, Mike. Stop, Mike. Stop, Stop. Mike. Mike. Stop. Stop. Mike. Stop. Mike's taunting him with the fish now. Come on, tell Mike to stop. No, that, oh. that's it. I finished. All right, he's done. All right, he's, All right. Out. he's <laughs> running away. I believe it. It's astonishing. Chicken. No, because I'm scared. Oh, I know. Chicken. What do you think the fish is going to do to you? You just let a dude paint your package green, man. And it's a... What do you think the, what do you think the fish is going to do to you? See, I'm not afraid, Eric. I can touch it. No. Well, look at the show off over there. <laughs> yeah, but I have fish cuts all over me. So what? So, so, Eric, so your fish guts all over you. You take a shower, then what? What's the damage? No more fish guts. After, you know. You'll smell I mean, better after the fish is in. <laughs> Certainly after the shower, you'll smell better. Yeah, dude, you stink already. I mean... <laughs> all right, okay, I'm done with you. It's enough. It. It's enough. It's over. If he's not going to do it, he's not going to do it. He must not really want the Xbox. No. Dude, he's bummed out, man. Mm -hmm. You well, should see him storm out of here. He was ready to, mad at himself. He was ready to do a whole bunch of other stuff like kiss Gay Ramon or all that. that he was ready to do. Right. But that's not a contest. All right. Well, there you have it. Elephant Boy, the proud owner of a new Xbox for Thank painting on Eric's package green. Uh -huh. He faced the wheel of sex. You faced the wheel of sex and you passed. <laughs> so you get the Xbox. I thank you so much.
high pitch arrogance. High pitch arrogance, and I don't know why. With a whole entourage of people, so let's bring him in. Can we take that from the top with a little more pizzazz? Are you fucking kidding me? It's high pitch Eric. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Screw that. What's up? How are you? I'm good, man. I dressed up for the first time in like 365 days a year. <laughs> How's life by you, man? Well, life is good. It's going good. You're not the stadium? Yep, I'm still at the stadium. Way, sir. So what's on the agenda for today, man? What are you going to talk to Howard about? Talk to Howard about my interviews from America's Got Talent. Okay. Yeah. All right, I man. I have a book of celebrities right here. Whoa. Seems legit, man. It is. All right, man. It's always interesting when you come in the studio. Well, thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Hold on. Let me get a, let me get a glimpse of this outfit. You said you dressed up today. Yeah, I dressed up for the first time. Look. Oh, wow. Nice slacks. <laughs> nice shirt. What, is this the new Eric? This is the new one, yeah. You're going preppy on us? That's right. I like it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, my, my boy, little Mike, is here. Hey, Mike. What's Hello, up, man? How are you doing? The songster. Right. Sorry to shine yeah. that light. Oh, no, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and my All two right. friends, Stephanie's. Hey, Stephanie's. Uh, hi. That's convenient. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right, Eric. We'll see you in the studio, my man. Yep, you got it. All right, buddy. Have fun. Oh, I always do when you're here. I always have fun, too, when I'm up here. Eric, when you go in, yeah. what I'm just telling you is when you go in, Robin's not in the studio. Robin's doing a show from home. So don't make reference to the fact, don't say to Howard, hey, where's Robin? Because it'll just slow the show down, okay? Yeah. You understand? Yes. Great. No, he goes right off. Yes. Can I get a picture with you, please? Sure. For my book what, is your, what is your. What's the bar? There, there was a softball team play for Oh, right, right, right. This is my book of celebrities. Right. So I want to add you to my book of celebrities. Yes, I'll be honored. This is my first time I dressed up in years. That's good to know. You, you look good. Photography hey, I lost some weight. Do you want me to get How much? Because you said it first. Probably like 11 pounds. I can do it. Alright. Gary, you want to see this? Come here. I can't show you something. You, you, you look like a fucking crazy. I don't think well, I do. I've <laughs> How much weight have you lost, would you say? Probably 11, 12 pounds. Me and Howard. Howard on the Today Show. You know how I news people, right? Yes. Yes, your, your phone sounds fine. This is outside Leatherman. Who's that guy? Where? Right. Keep going. Who's that? <laughs> That's the announcer from Leatherman. Okay. That's uh, Ray Romano. Uh, he just saw the picture last week for CBS. Who? That guy Rob Morrison does the morning news. Who's that? That's Mary Calvin. Oh. And there's... Me and Chris Raggy from CBS. Chris Raggy, sure. Me and Maurice DeBlanc. Are you only a CBS guy? I love CBS. Yeah. Whenever I'm That's home. the news I watch. But, so you don't have any, 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 no NBC, no Janice Hoff? No. no. I'm only CBS. Okay. And you know, how, you know how I like Weatherman? That's Mike Woods. Right. Kind of I know you love Weatherman. Ernie, Steve Lacey, and Greg Kelly. You know who, I, uh, who I'm friends with? Who? Oh. Nick Gregory. Really? Do you know who that is? Yeah. Who is it? Channel 5. Okay. Channel 5 what? Fox 5 News. What does he do? The weather. Exactly. I have that John Belaris. I've got a picture of him and his girlfriend. <laughs> Which one? Uh, this one. What's a picture of the dog? That, I, that's when I went to Arizona. I went to a pet store. There's Belaris and his girlfriend. Great. Oh, that's cool. Eric, we're going to get to you in just a couple hey, of minutes. Should I bring this in the studio? Yes. Yeah. Eric really is like, he's like a little child, right? So he's, you got to let him bring in the scrapbook. He's got this scrapbook, and he goes, it's my scrapbook of me and celebrities. So, of course, he always says, me and Howard, Howard has the Today Show, blah, blah. But then it's like he's got this bizarre, I mean, we know this, but when you see it, when he, when he goes through the book, this crazy fascination with news people, specifically right. weather, weather people, people. Yeah. but specifically CBS. He's like, there's Mary Kelvey, and there's Chris Raggy, there's me and John Polaris and his girlfriend, and it's just funny, it's all CBS, and I go, what about NBC? No, Janice Hoffman, he goes, no, just CBS. So I don't know, he goes, I love CBS, I have no idea why. I think because they let him up there for a tour. Right? It's just funny, I mean, and, and, then, and then all of a sudden there's a picture of a dog, and I go, and he goes, I went to a pet store in Arizona, it's like, it's like a child scrapbook. Yeah. <laughs> High Pitch Eric is here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to stop by because he, he, you know, he has like a whole rundown of things to talk about, but one of them is he doesn't have a job right now because baseball. 
Well, look his at job you. is coming to an he end. He goes, look at it? me. <laughs> look at you. I'm not going to look at you. I don't want to look at you. I'm dressed up for the occasion. Oh, I think you were implying you lost weight. I did. No, you didn't. Oh, I did. I guarantee you. I weigh less than Tim Sabian. You think you weigh less you than Tim Sabian? I swear to God. <laughs> what would you, um, if, if I weigh you and you weigh less than Tim Sabian, I'll give you a prize. But what are you going to give me? I mean, look at you and look at Tim. You're going to lose. I guarantee you, the last time I weighed myself at the doctor's office was at 338 to 341. And you think Tim Sabian weighs more than you? But he, because the last time I heard the show last week, he was eating cookies. I don't eat cookies that much. Yeah, but, but I'm saying, you think that Tim weighs less than you? I think I weigh anyway, less. Anyway, you think you weigh less than Tim, excuse me. Yes. Wow. Ah, come on. You don't think have I'm you seen weight? Tim? You just, you haven't, you haven't seen him. Eric, you're disgustingly fat. You're obese. You're... I tell you what, you have to kiss a fish. No. Oh. If, if, I don't even have a fish, but if, if, but you have to kiss a fish. If you weigh more than Tim. Right. No, no, then. You see? Oh. <laughs> You're not that sure. Oh. I, I got dolled up just for you today. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a shirt. Clean shirt. What is that on your arm? What is written on Tattoos. Tattoos? What this does is it my, say? This is, this is my softball team I played for. Oh, what you. does it say? What is it? Let me see. Hold up your arm. What does that say? The Bosch. What? The Bosch. Is that English in there? <laughs> yes. But Get out of here. It looks like it says, I'm disgusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's on your other arm? The Howard Stern tattoo. Oh, okay. All right. I got one here and one here. All right. Let's, listen, I don't want to bore the audience to death with your story, but is your mouth bleeding again? No. Yeah, I think your <laughs> tooth not. is full of blood. It's not. Uh, it is. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, be, be, I, oh. Before we continue my oh interview. Oh, my God. Before we continue my interview, Eric, the asked <laughs> tweeted saying he's on hold with Shirley's comments. What? Yeah, uh, uh, don't worry about it. Just, just calm down. I don't know what he said. He, he, I know exactly what he said. Is that English? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you weigh less than Tim. I'll tell you what. Make your bet. Hey, Gary, we have any money? Yeah, five hundred from Mr. Steven Singer. All right, I'll give you five hundred bucks if you weigh less than Tim. But if you weigh more than Tim. Sal can paint your face with his cock. That, that's that's going way. That's going gay. I, I don't. Yeah, that is gay. There's no question. It's gay. When did you have fear of going gay? Right. Wow, that's a... at least you'd have contact with another human being. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, when's the last time you even had anything, any kind of private parts near you? Howard, you know I love you. Want to do it? You want to do it? No. Okay. Five hundred. No. no. All no, right. five hundred dollars. Because I can't, I can't, I can't do that with Sal. What if Sal just paints your face with a cock? No. All right. I liked it better when he didn't have a job, but he had to do it. Right. Gary said, "Hi, Eric is so unusual in in so many different ways. Like you can't even count the ways." He's got a scrapbook of celebrities that he was uh -huh. showing Gary, and Gary said, "Hi, Eric's like a five year old, you know, because you know he has limited intelligence and stuff, right? I'm not saying anything that we don't know, right?" So he's so proud of this scrapbook of celebrities. Yeah. But it's so weird. Like, this picture's okay of him with me, of course, because I'm his one celebrity friend. Right. Right. And then the other celebrities are all TV weather people. <laughs> yeah, but, he loves weather people. Yeah, but specifically oh, oh, from... Oh, yeah. But not only weather people, just regular news people. Yeah. But mostly weather people, but all from CBS. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Yes. Like, it, Do you Gary, only get one channel, Eric? Was there? Yeah, like like why just CBS? <laughs> well, I, I said to him. I said to him. He goes. He's got the, like it's this big scrapbook. So there's like the CBS logo, the front of the CBS building. There's a lot of stuff you don't need. Right. Then it's like uh, there's Chris Raggy. Like tell me who are the CBS people? Go through. Okay, it. you got Chris Raggy. Right. You got John Elliott, the weatherman. All right. You got. These are people that post for pictures with you. I didn't get John Elliott yet. Right. Who, who are some of the women that you have in the book? Uh, Mary Ke Mary Calvi was on CBS this morning. Right. And Rob Morrison saw my picture last week. Okay. And I uh, got Chris Raggy, I got Maurice Dubois, Lonnie Quinn, a weatherman. So weird when Eric's in here, I feel like I'm going to vomit. <laughs> so, then, so then I said <laughs> to him. You know what I mean? Like I get sick. Right. Yeah. Because of the thing in his throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, my stomach's turning right now. But, so then I said sorry, to him. Sorry, Eric. I said to him, what about no, no Janice Huff? Because Janice Huff is the NBC weather person. Right. And right. you said what? I don't have her. Why not? Why? 
because I don't like NBC, I like CBS. What is that anyway. about, though? Like, when did you fixate on CBS? Did they do something for you? No, I just like CBS. I like to watch the CBS News. Right. But wait a second, they let you come in, right? They let you go in, they give you a little tour of their yes, studio? Yes, I watched the 11 oh, o'clock news. Oh, they catered to him. Oh, they catered him. They liked that he's a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I got to look at that book. Then is you go through the book a little more, and then there's just a picture of a dog. Yeah. And I go, oh, what's that? He goes, I went to visit a pet store in Arizona. <laughs> you know, like, a, like a kid's scrapbook. Right. How old are you now? 41. Yeah. 41, but it's like a three-year-old. <laughs> like, I, I love celebrities. I, yeah. I, keep my, I keep busy trying to do interviews on the street. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. He told us he did a bunch uh, of interviews. And he's so proud of these interviews because mm -hmm. all he did was turn on a tape recorder and interview people. But the interviews are horrible. They're boring. <laughs> they're ridiculous. The, the, the quality of the interview. Oh, like, you want to see my recorder? It's so bad. Yeah, you want to see my recorder? Yeah. Oh, that's your recorder? Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. I, like, I, I, I take it to Shirley. Shirley teaches wow. me the ropes. All right, anyway, Eric, what can we do for you today? Because, you know, you're a fascinating guy, but, you know, really, what what are we doing here today? Why Is are we Play my interviews. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have to play them? Yeah. Right, I'll play. You'll last for three seconds. If, you, if <laughs> Listen to this. Who's, what's the best interview he got? Uh, here's Eric interviewing a guy. He's at America's Got Talent. Okay. And here he is for 56 seconds. I guarantee you after 15 seconds you'll be begging me to turn it off. <laughs> Not only is the quality of the interview horrible, in this day and age to have such horrible quality, and he keeps pitching us he wants a job with Howard TV. He, he right. can't even do an interview with a decent quality. And then it's so boring that you can't last for more than 20 seconds. Here we go. What's your name? Jeff. What do you think of America's Got Talent this season so far? It's been great so far. I think this is my first time here. I'm glad I'm at the uh, final performance. I think the fact that Howard is here and uh, brought the uh, show to Newark. To and you should see Eric's face. He thinks uh, this is so great. I, I, oh I, think, I think he did a good job doing these yeah. interviews. Even the finalists, too. Yeah, but there's nothing entertaining or inter no one cares. I try. All right. About He's happy sound. that there's sound. Yeah, right. Like he can't believe. Like he created sound. <laughs> Who would you want to see go through the finals and win the whole competition? I think I like the dog act. And I also like the Miami dancers, the kids. I think they've been uh, pretty uh, consistent. Either of them. Sounds like you're in a thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of the favorite act? Oh, I like the um, I like the uh, dancers and the. Uh, <laughs> It was very windy that day. Oh, no. Sounds like you're on the wing of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> like you're on the outside of the plane. This is of Sharon Osborne not coming back next season. Oh, I think it's... Uh, I think oh, it's my God, the same guy? Yeah, same guy. She's still going on. Uh, but hopefully, uh, I don't know. And look at Eric listening to himself. He's so <laughs> proud. He's like oh, a I, guy listening I to try. his Do you think this is interesting? Honestly. For me, yes. Yeah? I, I, yeah, because I like doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, but why stuff. is it interesting <laughs> to keep asking this guy questions, Eric? I you asked a whole bunch of people questions. You want to hear a different one? Well, uh -huh. Here's a woman, okay? Uh -huh. This is a woman on the wing of a plane. Uh -huh. So, Deanna, so what do you think of America's Got Talent this season? I'm loving it this season. This is actually... Well, the quality is much better on this one, by the way. I don't know. I don't know why. Did Maybe it wasn't that windy. No. <laughs> the first time I've ever watched it because Howard is the judge, so. What do you, what do you think is going to make it all? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see when? I'm a big fan of Alate Dogs and also the Sand Act. I can't remember his name. Yeah, what's his, what's his hands? Well, these are fascinating. Do I have to listen to them all? Do you want to listen to some of the finalists? No, that's okay. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what we're doing here, Eric. I mean, I'm, I was into you dropping by and everything. I but thought I, he had news for us or something. I no, because you, you remember. Oh, I got news for you about Eric. <laughs> this is this is really good news. So Eric lives in this apartment building where, like, he, he doesn't have his own bathroom. He has to share a shower and toilet with like other people on his floor. Uh -huh. Right. And he jerks off in the shower. Oh. What other people have to use. Want to talk about wow. that? Well, I wipe it out with Clorox bleach. <laughs> After? <laughs> yes. Wipe yourself. Why do you have to jerk off in sh in the shower? Like, why can't you just jerk off in your apartment and fucking spare people that disgusting thing? I mean, other people have to use the shower. I mean, you get in there and jerk off. It's so fucking gross. 
Uh, I just is do this it. a daily routine? You what? I, I, I do it late at night when I shower. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, can't you do it in the apartment and then shower? No. Why? Why not? It's easier to do it in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> but you realize that you're, it's a communal thing and other people are putting their... Do you, do you, do you go in there barefoot? No, I, I wear more than, than slippers. Flip-flops? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Ugh. Do you ever get any jizz on your toes and your feet? No. No? No. How that's do you know? How do you know you don't? You seem so confident. No, I, I, I don't. After I do that, I just take a bottle of Clorox and wipe down the floor. You know you're lying. You don't take a bottle of Clorox and wipe down. I do. I bring, the clo- I bring the spray with me. Yeah, sure. I do. You, you, cl- you Clorox after every shower. You've never missed. Never missed at all. Yeah, okay. I, oh, and, I do the, and I spray the curtains, too. <laughs> oh, my God. You know he's That's lying. No, I, what I, do you I, think I, I, about I, when you're jerking off in the shower? Well, Who do you jerk off to? Just, yeah. just to feel good. No, but what do you think about? No one. You don't think about no a one. person? No. You don't think about a girl or a guy? No. Are you thinking about <laughs> a guy? No. Is that true? No. It's not true. I thought so. No, it's not. <laughs> All right. So tell the truth. <laughs> You're thinking about a guy? No, I'm thinking about myself. That's it. You think about yourself? Oh, you get hot <laughs> thinking about yourself? <laughs> no. You don't think about girls? Come on. I, I love myself. Come on. You think about yourself <laughs> doing what? Just being me. Yeah, but I mean, do you think about sex? Oh. <laughs> no, because who am I going to have sex with? No. You, oh, my God. He doesn't my. even know how to masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, he's so out of it. I think about me. That's not true. You think about some. I think you're thinking about a dude. No, I'm not. Is that what's happening? You embarrassed to admit that? No, I'm not embarrassed. Are you thinking about a girl or a, you got to think about something to get yourself erect? You can't think about yourself. That's ridiculous. No, come on. I love myself. Yeah, but oh. what, you're lying now. I know you're lying. I want the truth from you. That would make you interesting if you would tell the truth. I can't have you on here anymore if you're not going to tell the truth. I can't. This is ridiculous. Tell the truth, and then you'd be interesting. That's why your interviews are boring. Ah, you want to know who? Yeah. Because I, 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 I watch her on TV all the time. Ah, okay, now I'm getting Finally. somewhere. Finally. Who? You ready? Yeah. Kelly Ripper. All right, there you go. Now that's being honest. I watch her every morning with Michael Strahan. Right, and you think about her just, just looking beautiful. And she's fucking you, or she's blowing you. She's blowing me. <laughs> Kelly Rip is blowing you in the shower. Wow. All right, now you're talking. And does Michael oh, Strahan ever slip in blowing does you in the shower? shower? Oh, yeah. What? You swear to God? I swear to God. All right. Shit. Swear to God. You never thought about Michael Strahan blowing you? Never. All right. Never. Okay. Yeah, Finally. Do you hear the news about me and Eric? No, I'm going to stick with the shower thing. <laughs> Is it true that Joey Boots rubbed cream in your ass crack because you had a rash? Yes. <laughs> Next See, question. I, I, <laughs> how does that happen? <laughs> because I had, a, I had Joey Boots and a girl. You know, Joey's gay. Right. Right. I had Joey Boots... And this girl that lives in my building, look at my ass crack, because I thought, because my ass was killing me. Right. It was burning? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so, so you said to Joey, look in my ass. Yes. Is right. there anything in there? Like, no. you don't go to a doctor, you don't say to somebody, you said to Joey Boots, a gay man, look in my ass to see what's going on back there. Right. So okay. he looked. Yeah. He said there was really nothing there. Right. And then I had, and then one of the girls took a Q-tip and a bottle of cream and put cream in my ass. No, when Joey put the cream no, in your ass. Joey said did. he did it. Either a girl did it or he did it. Yeah, yeah you right. don't know what was going on. I hear he ass. did it. So you let a guy rub cream in your ass? Yes, because I couldn't do it on my own. Right. You can't reach your own ass. The, not, not where I had to, <laughs> not where the Q-tip had to go. Where was it, deep in your ass it was burning? No, not deep. So he shoved a Q-tip up your ass and put cream in there? Yes. Because <laughs> I needed help to do that. All right. You know, you all, what was the cream? Did, you, did the doctor prescribe it? No, I got it from uh, a store. A store? Yes. You went into the store and said, my ass burns, and they gave you cream. What kind of cream do they give you? Some kind of cream for, like, <laughs> it burns and itching. And then they had to so you have this- hemorrhoids? No, it wasn't hemorrhoids. Then why is it burning an itch? Are you wiping back there? Yes, I am. Thoroughly? Yes, I am. And you wash back there? Yes, I do. Yeah. 
and it started to burn, but you know it's not hemorrhoids. But it's not hemorrhoids. Then why would it burn an itch? It just did. <laughs> Do you want Robin to look in your asshole? No. no. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> you don't want to help him out? No. Let Joey Boots help. Does your asshole still burn? No. The cream worked? Cream worked. One, t- one application of the cream. One application and it worked. And then I had to use this special powder. Yeah. Can you imagine? It was called monkey butt powder. <laughs> monkey, monkey butt, butt powder. <laughs> <laughs> what goes on with you? It's How are you maintaining it's a, such yourself? It's an interesting life. Mm. It, just ha- it just happened that one day. Right. <laughs> you know, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if you have an irritation and stuff, it doesn't go away in one day. Never. You know, With they, monkey butt cream. See, I don't does. believe any of this. <laughs> I think Joey must have applied the cream more than once. No, he, I, he just did it once. And then, and then after that, you, you were cured. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is Joey Boots, a visiting nurse? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's still itchy now, Eric? No, it's not. Let me check. No, you don't have to. I can only imagine what the real story is. <gasps> I mean, what really is going on back in his asshole? Nothing. I mean, it's weird. If Joey comes over, puts cream in your asshole one time, and all of a sudden you're better, and he did it with a Q-tip. You sure he didn't use his finger? No, he did not. He used a Q-tip. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, there you go, Robin, an exclusive interview. So, Eric, uh, let me hear. I'll read his plug, and then we're done, right? Hey, Howard, if, but yeah. before you do that, yeah. did, you, did you hear the news about me and Eric that we, that we made a truce? No one knew you were at war. <laughs> me and Eric, it's the, the, it's we were not... at war before. Yeah, and why? I know, yeah, okay, so tell me the news. No, well, this, this girl who's in the green room, green room with me does an internet radio show. Okay. Podcast. Yeah. And she got me and Eric to make a truce. Oh, isn't that nice? And okay, high is- pitch Eric's AGT interviews on GP2 and White. We had those. We played some of those. Right. Join high pitch Eric for the American Cancer Society's Breast Cancer Walk. How far is the walk? It's going to be five miles. You can walk five miles? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. Isn't it true you've been having heart problems lately? Like you've been feeling your heart pounding a lot? But when I have anxiety, yes. Yeah. You're going to have a heart attack. You're obese. But and it's you're a walk. It's not a run. Right. It's a but walk. five miles of walking you think you can do. Yes. I'm going to do it with Mary Ann from Brooklyn. You're not going to be able to do it. And be careful. Like, walk a mile. For Did you ever walk a mile? Yeah, try trying. I it. walk from 72nd Street all the way to 57th Street sometimes. Yeah. And that's a nice walk. That is a good walk. Yeah. Yeah. And your feet don't hurt afterwards? My feet don't hurt. I, I put comfortable shoes on. But you on. realize that's less than a mile you're talking about. I'm doing, I'm doing the walk with Marianne. It's five times what you normally walk. You think you can do that? Yes, I Without can. getting a heart attack? Yes. Okay. It's a slow walk. It's going to be a process, mm-hmm. but I'm going to do it. All right. Okay. I'm going to do it with Marianne. Uh, this guy, Joseph Muski, who runs the Stern Facebook Superfans. Okay. And it's, it's the Stern Facebook Superfans team. Oh, wow. And one of the girls <laughs> in the green room is doing the walk, too. All right, good. All right. And registration begins at 8 a.m. at the 72nd Street Band Shell. Yes. All right. High Pitch Eric, everybody, who, uh, you know, he he loves life, and he loves the, the Stern fans, and he's over at AGT every night I saw him there. How can I interview you about that? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where are you going to play it? Yeah. No, I want to interview you here. So no, I don't want to. No, not on my recorder. No, I, I don't want to be interviewed by you. He wants to interview you right now. Yeah, I, okay, ask me a question. Okay, question. Who do who did you want to see when... Tom Cotter. The That's right. I want to see that too. What? I want to see that too. Yeah, I would have been a lot prouder if... Uh, <laughs> wait, this is too good a quality. Yeah, there you go. I would have been a lot prouder to say the Tom Cotter one than the dog act. I know, me too. Do you have an itchy ass? I do. Hey, can you put this Q-tip up my ass? I don't have one. Oh. All right, Robin, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> well, another great high pitch Eric interview. Yeah, great seeing you, Eric. You're a good man. We love you, and uh, we I, I commend you for doing the breast cancer walk. Just be careful that you don't get a heart attack. You, you, know, why, you know why I'm doing it, too. Right. Because right. you don't want to get breast cancer. No. <laughs> no you got bigger tits than most women. No, cause, cause, because my mom passed away of cancer. I know that. And that's why I'm doing it. Oh, Did I, she you, have breast cancer? No, she she died of an, she had another type of cancer, but I thought I wanted to do that, and 
Yeah, of Very course. nice. Very nice. All right, I'm proud of you. And I hope you get a job soon. Thank you. Right. All Thank right. You. Hi, Pitch Eric, everybody. You, Good seeing you. You want to see my book? No, I'm going to look at it later. <laughs> you, are you sure your mom's not still alive and she's just hiding from you? <laughs> no. Honestly, you don't think so? No, you want to come on the scan real quick? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I mean, I know what we're going to see. You're obese. <laughs> it's not going to tell me. I can see it's the size of a whale. Get ready to be surprised. Go ahead. Oh. Let me see. <laughs> wow. 344 pounds, and you're proud of that. Obviously, well, yeah, because I, dr- I draw some weight. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> I draw some All right, weight. Eric. Well, congratulations on your weight loss. Thank you very much. Howard, I love you, truly. Benji, Fred, I love you all. What did you love if, like, Howard TV did their own Dancing with the Stars with, like, High Pitch Eric? And, like, 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 I, I want to do Gary that. Gary the Retard. Can we get a bigger budget so we can do shit like that? Like I, Eric? I, I know who I want to dance with. Who? If I say the name, if you shall do it. Kelly Lisa. Ripa, of course. Oh, or Lisa G, if she wants. Yeah, you, you ever jerk off you to Lisa G? You would take Lisa G? G as a partner? You never jerked off to Lisa G in oh, the shower? Kelly Ripa. Oh, and there was a woman that used to work for the Hollywood 100 News who I had a crush on. Who was that? Who was that? Patty Crone. No. Remember that girl, Michelle? Michelle Gerson? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah? She used to work for Hollywood 100 News. You jerked off to her? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> she was hot. You know her, Will? No, he's lying. He doesn't jerk off to women. Chris Raggy, that's your that's your. <laughs> name. She's cute. How is she going with us when we first got here? She's cute. Yeah, nice girl. Howard, you gotta see my photos. I want to see what you. I wonder if girls can sense that hyperjerk somewhere jerking. I wonder if, if oh, Kelly Ripa knows oh. that. I wonder if she gets grossed out knowing that he's jerking. Right. Kill herself. I mean, that is a very nice compliment, though. Like, what do you imagine? Like, how does it go down? Like, what do you imagine Kelly Ripa going? Like, yeah, what, what are you and Kelly like, doing? There's got to be a scenario. Like, you see her, what, at the show? or you, you bring... see her on TV. Right. And, and how I do just, you kind of get in the room with her? I just envision her voice in my mom's oh. head when I'm in the no, show. No, I'm saying, though, don't you envision you meet her somewhere? In yes. The, yeah, where do you think you meet her? Somewhere in the streets just to say hello to her. Right. And then all of a sudden, what, she's attracted to you and invites you, what, to her house? To her house for dinner. Right. And you're having dinner. And what's she wearing? <laughs> What's she wearing? She's wearing, uh, you know, she's, she's dressed very hot. Yeah, like what? Can you describe it in your head? Uh, like what would she like do? Lingerie. Like lingerie. Lingerie. Yeah. Kelly ah. Rip is in lingerie for you. Yeah, and she's serving dinner. Red lingerie. <laughs> Red lingerie, and she's here wearing high heels, I imagine. Yes. Yeah, and she's talking to you, and like, Eric, I think you're great. I hear you on the Howard Stern Show. Yes. She's and, hot for you. Right. And then, like, who makes the first move, you or Kelly Ripper? She does. Kelly does. Yes. And like, Gotta are, have you. <laughs> and are you like flipping out? Like, can you believe your good luck? I'm flipping out. My mind is racing, and she makes the first move, and she says, "Come in the room." Right. And then she comes. Then she brings you in the room. And what happens next? Then we fuck. That's it. Just like that. Yeah. You you don't kiss. You don't. We start kissing first, very slowly. Yeah. <laughs> then we start to fuck. Aww. That's what I'm talking about. Well, before you fuck her, you got to get her lingerie off, right? Yeah. Right. Slip it off very slow. And, and does Mark Consuelos join in? Does he, like, fuck you in the ass while, uh... Like no, she's... no, he's not involved. <laughs> he's not involved at all? No. He's not anywhere around? No. Like, she's sick of him, she's having marital problems, and she decides she wants to be with right. you. Right. And she begs you to please, please keep this quiet. Yes. Right. Is she saying she loves you? Because I don't want to kick my ass. Right. Does she love you? Is she saying I love you, Eric? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's a per- to personality like I am. Right. What? So that's why we we would get along so well. She has a similar personality to Eric. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. She's that. bubbly and vivacious. Yeah. What if Mark Consuelos walks in and just wants to rub your shoulders while you're fucking Kelly? So what the fuck are you doing here? All right. Yeah. You would yeah. tell him to fuck off. Yeah. All right. You wouldn't let him rub your shoulders. You're fucking his wife, and you're not going to let him rub your shoulders. No, absolutely not. All right. Are you? Absolutely do not. you satisfy her? Yeah. So what happens next? So like she starts. She starts to like. Uh, <laughs> Will's rubbing high pitches his shoulders. <laughs> oh, right. let me hear so, so you, so you're in the room with Kelly, and before you fuck her, you're making out with her. Who t- do you take off her lingerie, or she just disrobes in front of you? No, I take her lingerie off. And then you what? You start to squeeze her ass. Squeeze her ass. Maybe fuck her from behind first. Right. Wait another ten minutes and fuck her like regular style. Regular uh, ten minutes. What ten, is that? <laughs> ten minutes. Do you eat her ass? No. You don't. No. You go down on her. No, no just fuck her. She, you, she doesn't sit on your face. No. It's fucking Kelly Ripper. You don't want her to sit on your face. No. 
And did she, could she handle your cock? I mean, doesn't she blow you first before you fuck her? She blows me first, yeah. Right. <laughs> give me, she'll give me hard first. Right. Yeah. Jerk you off, play with your balls. Yes. All right. And then you put it in her. Yes. With a rubber? No rubber. No rubber. No. Ooh. It's a fantasy, Howard. Right. Well, who needs a rubber in a fantasy? <laughs> you know, in my fantasies, I'm wearing a rubber. <laughs> what do you think, if Kelly Rip is listening to this, I know she's a fan of the show. What do you think's more insulting, that he jerks off to Kelly Ripper or that he, he says he has the same type of personality as her? <laughs> I think that he has the same type of personality. What if Kelly Ripper is listening to the show and wants me to come down to her TV show? Right. I, I would love to see that. All right. Now, there's a fantasy. Wow. <laughs> well, good for you, man. It sounds pretty You fuck her, and then after you fuck her, you rest for 10 minutes, and you fuck her again. Yes. Wow. She fucking and she twice. she just, thank you, thank you. You're right. so wonderful. What did she say to you? And you're so wonderful, too. Right. <laughs> and now, where do you blow a load? You're in your shower that you share with other people. Do you, where do you blow the load? Um, like, all over the wall? No, like right, there, like right down the drain. Right down the drain it goes. Yeah. <laughs> all over Joey. Because <laughs> he's putting a Q-tip in your ass. <laughs> and then you Clorox Kelly. <laughs> after you fuck her, do you Clorox her? No. Nah. No, I, after I fuck her, I, I clean her up with baby wipes. Right. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Yeah. Uh, what are the There's odds of that happening? Big happened? mess all over. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, for me to clean it with baby wipes. <laughs> Wow, we that's some fantasy. Oh, she's an attractive woman. I could see she one. is. Yeah, sure. She is. Yeah, she's very slight though. Very. She, I don't think she weighs a hundred pounds. Yeah, if, if you that. probably could kill her. Eighty pounds. But she probably weighs about eighty pounds, and you weigh like three hundred forty something pounds. Yeah, yeah. three forty four. Kill her, Eric. I would pay. I would pay millions to see this happen. Oh, jeez. How did that make it happen? <laughs> How bad of a drug habit does she have to start? Right. And I'm paying it, Eric. <laughs> I would love to. Do, I would love to. My. I would love to do a show right next to her. But honestly, it's really disgusting that you blow a load in a communal shower, where other. And I, and I know you claim you Clorox, but I don't believe it for fucking five seconds. I know Even you don't. Even if it's a Kelly Ripper load. I it's think this. Yeah, and I, and I bet you it's a massive load from an elephant-sized man like <laughs> no, yourself. No, I'm thinking really. about Kelly. It's not a big load. No. Like but a fire I, extinguisher going on. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I was at his old place, Howard, yeah. and his old place was so disgusting. He acts like he cleans things. Yeah, and that, right. He's lying. Yeah. Let me tell you how, how gross his, clean? his old place was so gross that he had a cat, and I swear to you, the cat chewed a hole through the screen in the window so it could jump from the third floor down to safety. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, I mean, the cat tried to kill itself. Eric, everyone who has been on this show has been in your apartment, and it smells, and it's dirty and gross. The idea that you Clorox the bathroom after every shower is just not even... Swear on the life of your mother, you Clorox after every single shower. Yes, I do. On the life of your mother? Yes. Until your mother's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I guess that doesn't work. Howard, I know you're lying. I know no, you're lying. Howard, Lieberman came to my house a few months ago. Gross. No, my apartment in the Bronx. Yeah. Where he followed me and Joey Boots. My place was spick and span. All right. You can ask Lieberman. Lieberman was in my apartment. John, is that true? Spick and span. Spick and span. Howard, his old place, he had the cat litter and his laundry hanging in the sh like in the same yeah in exactly. the tub in the tub basically was his apartment spick and span clean his apartment was clean he had an economy size one of those big jugs of clorox oh he did which makes me believe he does clorox it down every time wow really? but when joey and and high pitch were reenacting for me putting the cream in his ass yeah i mean they had it down. It almost appeared as if they had done this multiple times. I mean, they Tell had the it down. How they I, I, were doing I, I, no, it happened once where he put the cream. You know, they put the cream in his ass more than once because how do you get rid of that? And what was and what is he talking about? You have to you have to do multiple applications to get rid of any itch. Well, he did it once. Yeah, and who did it the other times? One of the girls that live in my building. That's a lie, isn't it? No, one of the girls. Her okay. name is Rachel. Uh, Rachel came into your apartment and put cream in your ass. Yes, yeah, she had yeah, okay. with the Q-tip. She wasn't the one you threatened her life, right? No, that was that girl who wouldn't leave me alone. That, that was the one who had keys to your apartment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
There's a lot going on. Do you believe there. anything anything he says? I do believe some of it because I corroborated it out there when I spent the day with him. The masturbation in the shower is 100%. I don't I, believe he Cloroxes every single time. I, I believe he Cloroxes most of the time because, I'm telling you, he had but an economy. But how does he apply the Clorox to the shower? Like a, what he does is he has a bucket, and he mixes it with hot water, and then he throws it on the wall. Yeah, yeah, he hardly oh. does. Yeah. He, he just he tosses it. He said he it. had a sprayer. He's lying. I know. I, well, of course no, he's like lying. A bucket, like a spray, with it, and I put it in the bucket. <laughs> no, no, no. You said you had the spray bottle. Yeah, like a, sp- a spray bottle with the Clorox. <laughs> you're, you're lying. And you're I, lying. And I, and I, but you're, I open You're it. breaking down and your story is no, changing. I, I, yeah. I open the bottle, right. put, put, put half and put a little bit of it in the no, bucket no. with oh. hot water. Oh. All right. And I put, put, put clean up the shower. All right. <laughs> it's a co-ed. It's a co-ed shower. So oh, women God. women use the shower oh, also. My God. It's a co-ed situation. Oh, it's so vile. Well, not only that, you're saying this woman Rachel. I mean, what's going on in her life that you come up and say, "Can you put cream in my asshole?" And she gives you a thumbs up on. Is that girl here? No. Yeah, that's right. Of course what I not. The cream I saw in your apartment was the butt paste. <laughs> it was yes. called butt paste. It, 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 it was in a white tube. Right, it's for babies. It's for diaper rash like, for babies. Oh, my God. It's like Desidin. Monkey butt. Sort of, except it's called butt paste. That's yeah. the brand name of Would it. Would you buy any? I mean, you know. <laughs> I've gotten that for my daughter. Have you butt paste? Yeah, yeah. I've gotten yeah, that it's for, for her diaper. Rashes. It's yeah. for diaper rash. I mean, what a name from a marketing standpoint, <laughs> butt paste. I mean, it just seems kind of crazy. And the monkey yeah, butt paste. People- and the monkey butt powder, too. So my guess is you're not wiping correctly. That's I am wiping the correctly. There's all that itching going on. And, and, and I, I can't believe there's a girl in your building willing to put fucking ass cream in your asshole. I mean, that's just crazy. Have you interviewed her? I've, I passed her in the hall that day, right, Eric? Can yes. You She's her? in her 50s or 60s, right? Probably 50s. And you walked yeah, up she, to her and this said, is... I have an itch in my asshole. Could you please put some cream in there? I, I asked her to look. Yo, am I behind? Oh, my God. And, and she did. Let's be clear, though. I mean, the people that live in this building... Right. Um, Are what's, what's the right word mentally to describe challenged? them? I wouldn't say mentally challenged, all of them, but let's just say this woman was clearly willing to look in Eric's ass. Right. So that shows you a lot. Right. <laughs> wow. And, and Joey and Eric used to live right next to each other. I see. And... I, wow. I don't know. Joey said he thought that Eric got aroused when Joey put the cream. When I interviewed Joey, that's what he said. You think Eric got aroused? He thinks Eric got aroused. When when I interviewed Joey Boots, he said he believed Eric got a little bit aroused when he well, applied the I can see why. No one paste. ever touches you, so any t- any human contact is going to arouse you. I no, no, I was not aroused when he did that. Not did he get a little time. bit? No. Joey putting something in your asshole didn't stimulate some desire? No. No. And then Dr. Rachel, besides her doing my, you know, my ass, she also had to clip my toenails, too. Oh. Oh. Because it's hard for me to bend down and do that. Yeah. She and there were that's a you. giving woman. <laughs> and she did it in his room, and there were there were toenail shavings oh. on the floor oh. surrounding his oh. bed. Oh. It was clean other than that. But John, everything was, like, so clean. Like, I wiped everything down, Why too. not date Rachel? No. She's gross. <laughs> <laughs> She's not hot enough for you? No. Wow. She's like the building stud. <laughs> She's no Kelly Ripa, huh? No. No. You're Can you imagine yourself. if Eric hooked up with Kelly Ripa? Would not be the greatest story of all that time? That would be mind blowing and would be on the cover of every newspaper around the world. Yeah. And she's in red lingerie, <laughs> blowing him. Red, the could, love of my life. Could Kelly's career survive if she? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, she'd be huge. Huge. Um, Michael Strahan can't be with me today, so I brought my husband, high pitch Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so what did we do last night, honey? Well, we had a good time. We had a good time. We had a candle at dinner. Right. We went to bed after that. Yeah. You put cream in my ass. Could be a new Hollywood thing. <laughs> like uh, hot chicks marrying nearly retarded guys. Yeah. That'd, be so, that'd be so awesome. Right. You would have a romantic dinner of SpaghettiOs. He has SpaghettiOs <laughs> and Chef Boyardee right. ravioli piled up to the ceiling. Why? Because you don't know how to cook? Well, I have a microwave in my room. Right. All you have is a microwave, so you have to buy cans. Yeah. Food. Yeah. 
Oh, can you imagine what's going on there? Well, you know, him and Joey used to go to this Chinese buffet. Yeah, oh. and they, all you can and eat. They, and all you can eat. And boy, this guy, I mean, <laughs> how they, many rolls of sushi did you eat in one, one sitting once? Like maybe 60? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, your voice can sound like that too after you eat a whole bunch of Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what are those bowel movements look like? Oh, oh my God. Like they come out like whole cans of <laughs> Chef Boyardee. <laughs> like they're canned. They come out in ravioli shape. But I Clorox after. All right, man. You're you're officially the grossest person I know. <laughs> no, 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 my apartment is clean. Yeah. <laughs> it, with toenails and all in all, it was clean. It smelled like he poured cleaning fluid everywhere prior to me walking in. Right. But the to- other than the toenail shavings, oh, and God. you know, other than that, it was clean. Yeah. Toenails. He's had the gout like numerous times. I know. His feet must be black. She must have worn like a welder's mask. Do you have like blackened those? feet? No. No. Are they overly like like? What are those toenails look? Yeah, like are they gnarly? Like are they like green? They were like yellowish. The the slivers that I saw were kind of like yellowish green, right? Uh, Do you have a toenail problem, like a fungus? I I have had toenail problems in the past. Yes, yeah. <laughs> like, in, like ingrown toenails. Funny you should mention that, Howard. Yeah. What's your best physical feature? Do you think? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, just your all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to throw up, so I'm going to end this, all right? All right. Had you in here a long time. Sorry, Howard. That's okay. Robin, who would you rather cut, like Gary's toenails or Eric's? Because Gary's are hideous. I know that Gary is clean, so I would cut Gary's toenails. Yeah, but his toenails are weird. I know, but I'm I'm not going near Eric's. Did we mention it was with your teeth, Robin? We don't have nail clips. That's right. (laughs) Hi, Pitch Eric's uh, AGT interviews. We heard them, and now he's doing this beautiful epic walk for the American Cancer Society's Breast Cancer Walk. It'll be fun to watch you walk and see if you drop dead. He's going to cross the finish like two days after everybody else. Yeah, I mean, no, five, it'll can be he like walk, a marathon for anybody else. John, can he walk five miles? I have never seen him walk more than, what did we walk to that diner? We walked about three blocks the three day blocks, that I yes. spent with you, and you were huffing and puffing and sweating. Yeah, but I, lo- I did lose some weight. So. Eric? I would I would get to a doctor before I did the uh, cancer walk. No offense. I don't th- I don't see you going five miles. I can do five miles. You know, he, can, he can just stop. You Howard. have no he concept of what five miles is. You get winded from the elevator to here. Yeah. I can do five miles. Drink a lot of water. Drop dead. No. Fuck Gary Ripper. Howard, why do you have Howard TV follow me for the cancer walk? Because nobody cares. <laughs> because we want to see you when you fall. Just to see me five miles. Well, if you, if you guarantee you'll die during it, I'll, I'll put Howard TV on. Well, we have an ambulance follow you. Yeah. Look. <laughs> Howard I, TV. I can do it. All right. Uh, unless you got anything else to say about him, John, I think I'm going to wrap this segment up. And that's all I have on Eric. Yeah. All right. All right, Eric. Good, good job. Thank you so much. You, know, you were very entertaining. Right, Will? If you say so. Right. <laughs> oh, you're always entertaining. All right. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome. All right. Robin, we'll be back right after these words. All right. All right. Eric. Yes. I'll talk to you for a minute. Yes. You were very revealing about some of your routines in a communal space. I mean, you live in a complex where, obviously, as Howard alluded to, you share a bathroom with people. Now that you've just announced on the air that you like to masturbate in this communal shower, although you are very diligent about Cloroxing it, are you fearful that some of your neighbors are going to start looking at you differently? Maybe be uh, no, a absolutely, absolutely not. No. Why? You don't think that the thought of you masturbating in the same place where they go to get clean might be a little bit off-putting for them? No, they don't even know. I'm in there before everyone. But that's what I'm saying. Now they know. Half of them don't even have serious. <coughs> What about the other half that do, though? I mean, the, the, this, these are how rumors start and information gets shared. I mean, you're... But that's not the, if, 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 if half of them know, who can? I told you I'd have high pitch Eric, and he has absolutely nothing to promote. Except the fact that he now brushes his teeth and he has a job. He does look better, I have mm. to say. I passed him out there in the hall. And Gary doesn't agree with you. He comes in, he goes, Eric's fatter than well, I've ever fat, seen him. but he looks clean. Yeah. Oh, so Daddy. fat. Stand up, Howard. Yeah, stand oh, up. Dear. Oh, my God. He's limping. Can't yeah, you walk? Do you still have gout? No, I don't. Why He's are you so limping? fat, Eric. Because my feet hurt. I, you know, 
I, uh, I get home from work late at night and my legs just get tired. Yeah. Well, look at what they're holding up. I have two jobs at the stadium. What do you weigh now? It's got to be way... I'm, I'm going to guess three... You want to go on the scale? Yeah, 340. You might, might not be able to count that high. Yeah, maybe the scale will go around <laughs> to zero. He had one of those really cool moves. He was sitting in a chair. And you know when fat people, when you say, hey, come follow me, most people just get up. It's like a three-move thing. Like, it's it's one move just to get his ass from the back of the chair to the front of the chair. It's then like he, tuck and roll. And uh. then he's got he's to move one way to get the momentum to go back the other way to oh, get up. Yeah, like i got to watch that. Up, huh? Can you sit on the couch and then get up so I can see what that looks like? <laughs> yeah, it might be hard. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have any, any handles or arms. Let's see. Go ahead, now get up. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there you go. What'd you get, a new tattoo on your arm? No, I always have these. Let me see your forearm. The other one. Oh, wow. That's the Howard logo. And what's the other one? That was my softball team I played for. But it's in you Arabic. You used to play softball? Yeah. Wow. High used pitch. Play, used it, to play first base. The thing in your arm, is that in English? What is it written? It's, what, in, it's in English, yeah. Let me see. Hold out your arm. What does that say? That was my softball team I played for. Yeah, but that's no fucking way. That's English. I played first base. Gary, is that English? Yeah. yeah. It's what does it say? It's so bad. It is so bad. What is that? It says, it it's says two words, I think Debarsh. 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 Yeah. I have a tattoo here and a tattoo here. You're that into softball that you tattooed Debarsh on you? Yeah. Yeah. You just you admit it. You had nothing to tattoo. You have nothing to tattoo on yourself. You never belong to anything. <laughs> I mean, you should just drive by a sign and tattoo that on yourself. <laughs> wow. How fat are you now? Go ahead, get on that scale. All right. Jesus Christ! What was it? What did you weigh the last time? Like three sixty? Three sixty. Three sixty. Go around. Right, Gary? Didn't he weigh three sixty? Oh yeah, come on, runner. All right. What? No. Oh no. He was never three sixty. Get on. You're not on. The You're scale. not on it. That's one oh. foot weighs two hundred eighty pounds. <laughs> oh, my. oh, here we go. Oh, he's still three six three sixty one. You realize with one foot, you, with one foot on there, you weigh two eighty nine. <laughs> That's funny. Do you know what? Even, do you understand that Debosh means I'm gay? Uh, no. That's the that's the translation of it. No, I didn't know that. This guy's tricked you. Did you know that? No. So they goofed on you. They never and told you. You go proudly by holding out your arms, saying, "I'm gay." I'm not gay. <laughs> Have a lot of guys been hitting on you since you got that tattoo? No. No. I don't know what the barge means. What does it mean? Do you know? My softball team. Yeah, but do you know what it means? No, I just got uh, just got the tattoo. So when you get a tattoo, doesn't it have to like like like? Don't you want to know what you're putting on your arm? Like you, for all you know, the barge could mean something stupid. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, just, I just got it on for the hell of it. I mean, that could mean I eat feces. But that wouldn't bother you. Might be true. <laughs> <laughs> so, High Pitch, why are you here today? Tell everyone. Just to, just to say hello. I know I haven't been here in a while. Right. And, you know, you know, I, you know, I have two jobs at Yankee Stadium. I've been there for my second season. Right. So you don't work in the off-season, right? No. Off-season, um, I just sent out resumes. So after the season ends, I hope to get a job after the season ends. So you have two jobs now. Yes. Uh-huh. And that's what you wanted to tell us, that you're doing the right thing and your mother would have loved to have seen it. Yeah, you know, how I, I do miss my mom. Yes. Well, I know she doesn't miss you, right? Because you gave her a lot of aggravation in life, didn't you? When, when I was living with her, yeah. Yes. So. And she could, she would have only have loved to see you go out to work every day, right? Yeah. Yeah, Eric, one begs to ask, if you loved your mother, why didn't you do this when she was alive? No, but I did have a job when she was alive, but I wasn't doing this well when she went, well, you know. I just didn't have two jobs when she was alive. Eric, I see you getting emotional when you think of your mother, right? Yeah. Was there any chance of you crying today on the air? If you keep talking about his mom and how much he misses her. I should be happy with what else I'm doing, too. If your mom could see you now, what would you say to her if she could listen to you right now? I would tell my mom, Mom. Go ahead, say it.
I'd see the day where she'd well, be she was so angry. Is she, is she on the phone right now? Is she? Yes, she is. Do you think you cry? Do you think? Yeah. How did you know that? <laughs> Do you think? Um, no, but I do. well, her husband went to a game a few weeks ago. You can, and her husband will even tell you how I did. All right. Do you think you'd cry if she got on? Because I really want you to cry. She's a friend of mine. All right. Marianne, go ahead. Eric, I was never mad at you. I'm very proud, Howard. He's doing awesome. He's got a long history with his family. His mother passed away. It was very hard. He was homeless. He had to give up his animals. He was on the wrong track. But no now- offense, honey. You're not making him cry. You're giving him breathing room. Yeah. yeah. Howard, she, uh, Marianne came to my mom's service, too. That's nice. She's a nice woman, Marianne. Uh, high pitch. This You're in luck. Your mom heard you. She's on the phone. Yes, uh, high pitch is mom. Go ahead. I'm funny, boy. Uh, I'm watching you from heaven. Is that her? No. It is not? You don't no. recognize her. I'm sorry. Voice. It said on my computer it was high pitch as mom. So <laughs> no, I, it's I fell for it. I could see you from heaven. I can't miss you because you're such a fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not your mother. Your mother would never say that. No. no. When, when it rains, those are my tears from heaven. Right. And, and those tears are coming from my eyes because you're such a piece of shit. <laughs> That's not Eric's mother. That is not your mother. Tell your mom how you're taking care of yourself. You're brushing your teeth. Yeah. Now, now what is this you're brushing your teeth? How did this come about? Yeah, ever since I started working, I've been taking care of myself. Good. I brush my teeth twice a day. What about this enormous belly of yours? Are you going to work on that? Yes, I will. Yeah, I mean, okay, but let me see your teeth now. Do you have red gums? No, look at your gums look healthy. Now, how did that happen? Because I, I, I bought brand new toothbrushes and... Toothpaste, and I brush my teeth twice a day. Are those new teeth? No. I see. Wow. Good for This is impressive. I'm proud of you. I don't care about anything else. I'm proud of you. I'm more important than anybody's mother. I'm Howard Stern, for Christ's sake. I'm famous. You are. That's right. And if I'm proud of you, that goes a long way. Howard, you know, look, even since, uh, since, I'm, since I'm working, you've been an inspiration of my life, too. Thank you. Now, Doug Goodstein told me you were bugging him because you're taking television. Are you all right? Yeah. You're crying. Just that was about my mother. Was so disgusting. You're schnotting all there over your arms. There's tears. There's yeah. tears. I think he, oh, okay. Let's get back to your mother if you're going to cry. If you're going to okay. cry, I'll talk about your mother. No, now I'm going right. to move on. No, he's, I see tears coming out. Oh. It's all right. What? No, I'm all right. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. I am. You are? Yeah. Your mother put a lot of work into you, man. She only prayed for the day that this would happen. I wish your mother was here right now to say, Eric, job well done. Because I know if your mother was here, I'm being serious, she would say job well done, son. She would have. She would have put her arm around you and given you a hug. Well, she couldn't get her arms around him. Robin, please, I'm trying to get him worked up. (laughs) You're ruining the mood. I'm sorry. You know what your mother would love? Remember when you ordered twat cream from the gro- from the uh, drugstore? That was, a, that was a good prank call, too. Yeah, it was your best. Did his mother like him being on this show? No. Not really. Mother, no. My mother doesn't like me being on the show. <laughs> <laughs> my mother wishes I'd been a lawyer. <laughs> your mother had... You know, I think about your mother holding you in her arms when you were a baby. What were her dreams? She must have had dreams, right? What were her dreams, Eric? Honestly, I don't know. What do you think they were? What did she want you to be, Eric? When you grow up, I want Eric. To be, she probably said she wanted me to be a good person. Eric, my son, I want you to be a good person. See, turn that into a song. One day, my little boy will brush his teeth twice a day. And now I do. And now you do. That's right. One day my son will have two jobs. Because whenever I saw my mom, she always told me to brush my teeth. She gave you lessons in life. She did. You've learned them well, Eric. Took a long time. It just took time, as Robin points out. I'm sure this song didn't go, One day... My son will be an immensely fat man. (laughs) (laughs) One day my little boy will weigh 361 pounds. Um, Now, Doug Goodstein told me from Howard TV 
that you're studying television production. Television studio production. Because he wrote me, he said, you want an internship here and you could follow the Howard TV guys around and, and if work. I could do, if I could do a one-day intern, yeah. after I get certified. Yeah, I told him absolutely not. Uh, he can't even fit into the studio. Right. I don't. We don't have enough room back there. It's a very small studio. I don't know if you've ever seen it. I've seen it in there. You have? You think you can fit in there? Yeah. Yeah, and not take up too much room? No. You want, you want to see me fit in there? Uh, no, I don't want to see anything. Doug, do you want him to intern for you? Yes and no. I think it would be funny, but uh, then that means we have to be around him. Right. You know, if you had pulled your life together, you wouldn't have lost custody of your dog, Sadie. This right. is what makes me sad. Do you have any idea where Sadie is? No, but you know, like she, I, I hope she's in a good home. Right. What happened? You had to take her to a shelter? No, they came and took her away. Yeah. Oh. The ASPCA said, they get this fucking dog away out of him. Just kidding. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, Sadie's on the phone. Hi, Sadie. Yeah. <laughs> Bark once for yes, twice for no. Are you happy where you are now? Do you hate Eric? No. No. Yes. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> Maybe. All right. <laughs> and Howard also, when, you know, when there's no games at Yankee Stadium, I also do a part-time job at the pizza place, too. Wow. Wow. Oh, I mean, you know, good for I, you. And you're putting some money in your pocket, right? And you're living your life and you're paying your bills. Yes. That's all I ever wanted for you. Hey, can I ask a question, Howard? Yeah. I, I know the question. Did you ever pay that guy back from the restaurant? No. No, he didn't. He's not, he's not, that, on, he's not that much on his feet. When I was living with, I mean, I'm not, I don't know if I can say the name on radio. Right. Name of what? The person who I was living with before. And no, it's irrelevant. Well, I, just, I don't even know what he's talking about. Because I'm not allowed to mention the person's name on the show. Huh? Remember when I, remember when I was homeless, I moved in with someone? Yeah. I was living with someone. Who you live with? that girl you're talking about? No. I'm not, I can't mention his name on the show. Oh, there's a he. He asked you not to? Uh, no. Oh. For, for, for... I don't know what the do fuck you're talking I about. I feel I, like his mother no, now. No, I don't respect that. I can't mention oh, this person. Okay. Hi, All right, so listen, Eric, as I said, you really have nothing to say today. <laughs> but I'm glad you're here. I like you. I like seeing you. I'm glad you came in. And I'm very happy that you got your life together. And I like what you had to say to your mother, even though I don't know if she can hear it, but maybe somewhere, somehow, she knows you're doing well. And you should be proud of yourself. Okay? Thank you. All right, buddy. Good luck to you. Thank you. And I'm proud of you. Instead of sitting around and scamming, you're out there, you're cleaning, you're working, you're making an honest living. And I'll tell you what, I don't know who else is, but I'm proud of you. He's Hi, cleaning, mommy. he's working, Are you he's proud eating. Of me? <laughs> I'm right. also making pizza at Pizzeria Note in Bayonne. All right. Good for you. I All will, right. I and follow High Pitch Eric on his Twitter account at High Pitch 2009. Actually, it's good to see you looking good. Yeah, Thank well, you, he's looking good. People, no, I meant, you know, just healthy. Don't he lie to the boy. He's healthier than right. he has. <laughs> and people could see me at the Hard Rock Cafe Yankee Stadium. All right. I like you. You hear what I just said? Yes. Thank and you. it looks like you like yourself a little bit better. I'm feeling good about myself. You got your own place now? Yes. Yeah. You got an apartment, you're paying rent? Yes. You're not late with the rent? No. No. No animals, though. Don't get any No. Animals. Yeah, that's right. Even Richard Christie has seen me working, too. All right. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Eric. Howard, thank you, Robin. All right. Good to, good to see you. Good for you, Eric. Thank Hi, you. Mommy. Are you proud of me? Hey, Brent from Bubba Show. Mm -hmm. He's pissed off at you because he says you stole his bit. What is that? So I'm going to put Brent on with you and let you guys take it up, okay? Okay. All right. Brent. Hey, Brent. Hey, good morning. Good morning. This is Brent from Bubba's show. He's Bubba's producer. What did Bob Levy steal from Brent? Well, well I mean, it's, 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 all, I mean all, it's all of our bit, but it came to my attention that Bob, and I don't know that it's, I don't know that it's Bob or, or who came up with it, that, that Bob does our shock collar bit on Kid Chris's show. This is where you take a shock collar and shock the, uh, the balls? Well, they, from what I understand, they put it around the neck, which is originally what we used to do. Right. 
And when we first came up with a bit, we used to put it on people's necks. And then what do you do? You shock them when they get something wrong, an answer wrong. An answer wrong, or they do karaoke. You do kind of like almost an American Idol where they do karaoke, and when they're bad, you know, the, 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 the judges <laughs> shock them. That's a funny bit. In other words, if someone comes in and says they can sing, and if the judges think they suck, they shock them. Yeah, right. I love shock collar karaoke. <laughs> That's great. That is a great bit of yours. That is and a classic we, and, bit. And we even went as, the far, went as so far as to trademark it back in 2003. It's federally trademarked. <laughs> Because it was such a good bit. Yes, absolutely. Because who knows, someday in the weird world of television, it could end up being a show. Yeah, you know, I, I really, you know, back then I, I didn't uh, so much sympathize with you, but now I really do that we've, been, you know, been on Sirius, and they've shown some of our bits on Howard TV. You know, radio assholes all over the country are ripping them off, and now I really understand what you were talking about. So Bob Levy goes on another show and rips off your bit? Yeah, and I don't know if it was his idea. I don't know if it was the show's idea. What I show is this? All, yeah, first of all, uh, that wasn't my idea, and uh, that wasn't the first time we we did it on a on a Kid Chris show. You know. Oh, so Kid Chris is doing shock collar karaoke. Well, no, no, we have no karaoke. No, we were stun gunning a guy's uh, penis and with a shock collar on him back in San Antonio. I mean, uh, that was when he was in San Antonio. I mean, I don't know. What, what about that, Brent? Maybe uh, Kid Chris developed this bit. What do you think of that? Uh, I, I highly doubt that. We started doing this bit and How far back does this bit go, Brent? We came up with it in 2000, 2001. Uh, when did Kid Chris, uh, when was he on in San Antonio, Bob, and when were you doing this? Uh, I wasn't in San Antonio at the time, but we, I remember doing it like I was doing it over the uh, internet. And that. And it was around like that time. I don't know. He was doing it in... I think he was around in uh, it was Kansas, too. I mean, I don't really know. I didn't come up with the bet. So I don't really know what he's talking about. You know what I mean? So this is really an argument for Chris and, and uh, Brent. Uh, yeah. I don't even think it's an argument with Chris. I mean, I, you know, I mean... Well, it is an original idea, and, you know, it's, it's an outrageous idea. So if whoever came up with it should be credited, at least. I mean, I'm a big proponent of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been ripped off all over. Hey, Sal, what do you want to say to this? No, I was with Bob Levy way back when, when we left uh, K-Rock. Mm -hmm. And Kid Chris has, has been doing it for a while. No disrespect, Brent, but they're not doing shock collar karaoke. Kid Chris used to shock people's balls with a taser gun. Exactly, and where, where do you think they came up with that idea, Sal? Well, I don't, I don't know, but shocking itself, Jackass, I know 10 years ago, used to put shock collars on guys, and they would shock them as Brent, well. That, I, Brent, that is true. I... Um Remember, I got a letter from Johnny Knoxville when he was 16 years old. He was not on Jackass yet. And now he's 53. So I don't know what well, he looks at. <laughs> but anyway, Johnny used to write me. He was a fan of the show. And, he, and I remember this clearly, and I'll tell you why. He wrote a letter and said he would like to come on my show. He was a high school kid. He said, I want to, I want to uh, shock my balls. He wants to take a, a taser gun. What do you call that? A taser, taser. He taser gun. He wanted to taser yeah. himself. wanted to taser himself. So I went to Tom. I said, this is kid right. And he wants to taser himself. I think this would be funny. And Tom said to me, under no circumstances will I allow a guy to come in and taser his balls. So I said, okay. And I was like, kind of. And then next thing I know, you know, about two or three years later, this guy's on Jackass tasering his balls, making a fortune. Working for like, the same company. W working for Viacom, which was the same company telling me I can't do something. You know something. what they didn't have that we did? Tom. Right. I mean, Tom, and I went, Tom, you motherfucker. But, uh, but, but Brent, so I don't know, but, but, but maybe, uh, maybe uh, a kid heard this on your, uh, your show and then took it. Yeah, but because to, 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 to be clear, though, I mean, when they're using a taser, uh, they're not really using a taser; they're using a stun gun. There's a bit, right. bit of a difference. Uh -huh. But I, I think where the original idea from us came is hooking up a dog shot collar to people. Right. Yeah, I understand that. And in fact, I mean, I've had many bits that have been uh, taken and like altered a little bit to make it look like they're being original. original yeah. Yeah. So I don't oh, know. Yeah. I know Chris. I li Chris is a friend, and uh, I don't well, know. And, and, and I, just, I like Chris too. I, I, I actually have a lot of respect for the guy, and I'm not. I'm, I'm not mad about it. It's just it seemed odd to me when when Levy was on getting so so pissed off at Artie. Right. That's what kind of set my radar up. I wasn't pissed off at Artie. I mean, I don't know. What you you know, it was a different argument. No, you were pissed off at Chappelle, but Artie I was, was you, yeah, know. Well, you know. He, did, well, he said something on the wrap-up show. It had nothing to do with the joke or anything. It was just something he said that pissed me off. All right, so in other words, there's no beef here, I don't think. Mark, what do you want to say? This is Mark from Jersey City, New Jersey. Howard, I can't believe that Levy would be involved in, in stealing material like that. There's got to be some kind of mix-up or something. Do we have a tape of that? Or something that we could hear as, as a verification of this? Bob? Marty, do you believe this? 
It sounds like, I mean, listen, it's a real funny idea. Do you think there's any way two people in the world could have thought of this? I think there is. Not two radio guys. No? <laughs> no. I, radio guys just steal shit from each other. I hardly mean, one. But I, 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 I want to get clear. Brent, what exactly are you saying? That someone specifically took the bit of putting a collar, a, a dog, dog collar, collar around. And yeah. Because, that's what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, because honestly, when, when when we came up with that bit, I don't know of anybody in the country, and I keep up with the business quite, you know, I stay up on it. There's, I don't know of anybody in the country that was doing that bit when we first started doing well, it. I know Brett is very thorough. He did, uh, he did. All right. Well, Brent, can I give you something? How about... Uh, uh, Howard, when Richard licked my balls, you guys went out and had a, a ball licking uh, segment but they, as well. But they credited us. Yeah, okay. We credited you. Okay. And, and, All right. And, we, and, and to be fair, we also we also uh, for these two guys in Jacksonville, we had a funeral back then, and we credited Howard. Then we said we think it's a good idea. Howard came up with it. This is Howard Stern's idea, and we're going to do it. Yeah, right. I kind of, I, I, I kind of like at least like when somebody takes a bit from the show, they. I mean, that's what pisses right. me off about Jay Leno. Jay Leno thinks because he's on TV, it's a different universe. No, it's a bunch of guys all taking my shit and uh, just kind of acting like they're, and then they burn it into the ground Sucking and they do it, it over and over and over again. And then when I do it, they go, "Oh, you ripped that off from Jay Leno." Oh, that that would just incense me. Yeah, well, it makes me nuts. Yucko, you're on the air. Hey. <laughs> Hey, Brent, you always start saying, remember you said that stuff about me on the, I said something about you on the message board and you were to get me in the bubba gun and all that stuff? Just need to calm down, dude. Shut up, you sawed off fucking clown. <laughs> I'll fuck you, you bald fucking mongoloid looking piece of shit. Okay, hey, looking hey, for hey, fucking hey, airtime. Any, any, any time you want to, any time you want to settle this like a man, Yucko, I will uh, fucking knock your throat. Everybody knows you can kick my ass. You can kick anybody's ass, you big fucking Neanderthal looking fucker. Any day you want, you pussy fucking child molesting clown. I don't want to fight anybody. You gonna fight him, Yucko? You gonna fight Brent? Fuck no, he'll fucking kill me. I just don't, I just want him to shut the fuck up. Yucko, it's so great when Yucko gets, because Yucko's got a big mouth. Right, but he can't yeah. fight. He no, knows he can't that. fight. And boy, and you can get him to apologize when you're in a room with him. Oh, yeah, we did that to him with yeah. the black guys. No, Sal, Sal, got, Sal got, Sal got two black guys. He apologized to me. What? <laughs> it's like you bitched out with those two black guys. When Sal brought those two black guys backstage, you bitched out then. Ah, uh, yeah, you would too. Okay. They made, hold on, they made Yucko say, I'm a white piece of shit. And he said it. And then he said, louder, motherfucker. He goes, I'm a white piece of shit. Yeah, Can I tell you? They, 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 did we put that on Howard TV? Yeah, we got to put it back up. It's yeah. so funny. That, that should be one of those things that just is always up there. A perennial. Oh. An evergreen. Sal gets these two black guys. Me and Richard. Knows, and, yeah, and they get these two black guys to show up, and, and they go, hey, Yucko, you used the N-word, didn't you, in your act? He goes, yes, I did. And, he, and, he, and the black guys go, well, we're going to kick your ass. And Yucko, Yucko's like, uh-oh. And he goes, uh, and Yucko's shaking. He's shaking. He goes, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. It was just an act. Yeah, and I then, think he fucking had a gun, though. And then, oh, yeah. Right. And then the black guys go, all right, if you want to apologize, you have to say, I'm a white piece of shit. <laughs> and Yucko goes, I'm a white piece of shit. And he goes, louder, motherfucker! Louder! <laughs> and Yucko shrugs his shoulders and he looks like a... I guess I'm a white piece of shit. What can I say? What I'm sorry. Say? <laughs> and he's got half of his makeup on still. Ow. The top is off. Hey. <laughs> I want you to tell me you apologize. You a sorry motherfucker. No, no, I want you to no, tell no. me that you a sorry motherfucker. You apologize and you a piece of shit, a piece of white trash. Say that shit right now. I'll get over there and beat your fucking ass. Hey, what the? Say that shit. It's an act. Say that hey, shit, you motherfucker. You this a clown. Fucking sad, man. Fucking sad. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. He's an act. Wait, wait, wait. Let 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 y'all go apologize. I'm sorry. It's just an act. I want you to say I'm a white piece of shit. Say, no, I, I want you to say I am a white piece of shit. I mean, that's no, I don't want to hear no fucking I guess. I want you to say, repeat after me, I am sorry. I am sorry. And I am a white piece of shit. That's all I need. Fuck that bitch. No, fuck you. Don't say No, listen, it's fine. And I knew it. Guys, guys, come on, man. Fuck them up. Guys, come on, man. Fuck them up. No, listen, let them. By the way, he's a shit. been pranked. I 
just got fucking pranked by a couple of fucking niggas on Howard Stern on demand. <laughs> Fuck you. So, Yucko, you're not going to fight Brent, right? Man, fuck no. I just want him to apologize. I, he knows that I didn't say anything about him. I'm like Gary. I kind of take things personally about the show, and Yucko gets on and says all kinds of bad things. When? When did I fucking say anything about Bubba or you or anybody, dude? You, you get on there and say, oh, I'd never, on the Stern Fan Network, oh, I'd never listen to Bubba. I, de- I don't even go on that fucking site. Oh, Okay. All right, you're dealing with Wendy the retard or Gary the retard. You can just tell me. I, n- I never, I never said anything about you. You produced the fucking emails or or posts or whatever the fuck you call them. And you, if I talk shit about you, I will do anything you want, fucker. Will you blow him? Will you get into the bubble gun? And blow him? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm not getting in that motherfucker. <laughs> well, you. I like Brent. I like Bubba. I just I got a note, Yucko. You. you should apologize, you motherfucker. Yucko, I just got a note that says you're on Stern Fan Network all the time. Well, I'm on Stern Fan Network, but I never said anything about fucking Bubba or Brent or any shit. But like you said that. you never go on there, right? Yeah, I never posted anything about him. <laughs> oh okay. well, what is it then? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Hey, yeah. So if he finds a post about him on there from you. I say, you Yucko. Got, you got to go in the bubble gun and blow Brent. <laughs> I go, <laughs> no fucking way. I, yeah. I say, Yucko walks through Harlem with a t shirt that says, I'm a white piece of shit. <laughs> he ran the video you know, go in the bubble gun. <laughs> I didn't do, Brent, just, just you didn't know I didn't do anything. All right, uh, okay. And, and you're never on Stern Fan Network, gotcha. I am on Stern Fan Network. I never said anything about you. I, I post on their dates and upcoming gigs and shit like that. I never post anything saying fucking shit about you. I know that fucking much. <laughs> the only way to get the We just bottom. counted. Yucko has 1,512 posts on Stern Fan Network. <laughs> <laughs> right. None of them are about Brent. I post about We're going Brent. through each and every one of them. About, about the show. The show. I take, I take when people say bad things about our show, I take it personally because I, you know, I'm a fucking comic. I pick, make fun of everybody. All right. Well, then I'm making fun of you, you sawed-off fucking bastard. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'm a sawed-off fucking bastard. I'm a white piece of shit. You happy now? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Yucko. <laughs> my God. Don't backpedal that. <laughs> Uh, Yucko's getting used to saying he's a white piece of shit. <laughs> I'm a white piece of shit. The shoe fits, you know. <laughs> he's a shit that's albino. Uh, All right. Well, Yucko just backed down in my argument. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yucko's, Yucko you took over your whole argument. The only way to get to the bottom of the other thing is you got to talk to Chris. Like, what, what year were you doing it in San Antonio, Bob? Uh, we, I, when I was down there with him probably in 2002, and, and then I know that he was in Kansas before that. You know what I mean? Doing that and, bit? I, I believe he was doing it in Kansas. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't. You know what I mean? I did not write. No, that we bit. don't know what you mean. And how would how would you know the stuff that Chris done out there? Because he would tell you stuff that he was doing out there and what he wasn't allowed to get away with. And that. I don't know. I don't know anything about and, this. And at that point, we we were also on XM at that time. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I didn't even know. No I love you guys, but I didn't even know who you guys were until uh, Howard mentioned you. There's really. something very um, harsh in the world when you create something. Yes. And other people mm-hmm. take it. I, I, and I, you know what? What's killing me right now is this I'm Smarter Than a Fifth Grader show, the guy oh. from Long Island who developed yeah. it. And that's been a running gag on our show for years. And now I can't even do it anymore. And not only that, somebody's making a fucking fortune off of it Fox Network, everyone. And it's, uh, you know, it's. I remember hearing that bit on your show in the early 90s. Yeah, we've been doing it forever, and it's like, the, the, it was, you know, I've sued, actually, over certain bits and won, oh, whatever, you it, know. And that's why we started trade, federal, you know, if you look, I sent Gary the email, we federally trademarked that bit, and we put it up for public opposition. Yeah, shocking the balls and puss. And, and nobody yeah. came forward. Nobody came, nobody came forward. And by the way, i got to give you guys a compliment. Bubba sent me a T-shirt that you guys made, and sometimes I think the T-shirts aren't, you know, they missed the mark. This one's really nice. What Wh- is which that one? Which one is this one? Um... It's it's like a, a Bubba sent it to me. It's a gray sweatshirt, like it looks like a gym sweatshirt. It's got the serious dog in the middle, and it says Bubba. I'm gonna wear it. Up to, oh, it's the uh, the university shirt. Yeah, University of Bubba. Yes, yes. I like that shirt. Who made oh, that th- one? Thanks. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, actually, that's a, a common theme among college shirts, and 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 Bubba kind of saw one one day. He goes, "Man, we need to do a Bubba shirt like so." That. Bubba, I got a sh- I got a shirt like that. I'm kidding. So Bubba stole that from a college, Brent? <laughs> ah. Hey, Howard. He was inspired. Yeah. You know, it's really weird. Benji just forwarded me a note. This is sort of interesting. You know, Benji pitched an idea 
a January 22nd of 1998 where we should have people come in who try to lose weight. If they lose weight, they get like some sort of sexual reward. And if they gain weight, they get a non-lethal electrical shock. Yeah. So Benji pitched the shock idea in 98. I know. We weren't allowed to use it. Every time I'd go to Tom and say we want a shock. Right. There was no shock. She actually, us. Brent, we invented that. <laughs> but we didn't get a chance to put it on the air. <laughs> so All I'm saying is that proves that two people could have had the same right. idea. You know? Hit, well, fucking Hitler you know invented the shock. I mean, Well, back I the day. actually have invented everything in radio. It's just I can't <laughs> prove everything. All All right. Right. What I'm talking about, though, is specifically using a dog collar. All right, Bob. Oh, all right. Oh. St- stop stealing Brent's material, please. Yeah, and, 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 Bubba, and Bubba's incensed. That's why I'm on, I'm on the phone this morning. He's, really? He's out, yeah, he's just out of his mind. He's out of wow. his mind. Yeah, Bubba, so said, calm down. Just let me, let, let, let's get to the bottom of it. And let me tell you something. Bu- Bubba, Bubba's incensed. Let's get him on the phone. Really? Bubba should uh, wrestle Bob because Bob was a professional right. wrestler. That's you right. know what? That would, that, that would actually be good. Bob, you I'll could kick it. Bubba's ass, right? Sure, if I stun gun him first. <laughs> no, but seriously, how the fuck? I mean, you're out of shape. I mean, how the fuck were you? A Why am I out of shape? I'm not out of shape. You're not? I mean, no. You I mean, can still you know, wrestle? For, for, for somebody my age, I mean, with, if I trained a little bit, I could get back and do it. No kidding, Bob. I am shocked that you were like Did a tough guy. Did you have guy. a physique, Bob? I, I wasn't huge, but I mean, I was in decent shape. You know yeah. what I mean? Why are you out of shape? Let me every weekend for four hours every Saturday you throw up blood. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that's my gimmick. I spit it in his <laughs> eyes. That's how. That's how I close them. Yeah, I were, never saw someone. There's times where Levy might die in front of you. He's coughing. Oh he's, a re, he's a wrestler that does coke every weekend. Oh, well, that's what it is. I can go 20 minutes in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Even Kid Chris used to wrestle too. So this is pretty funny. We should have a big thing. See? I and she. Chris, me, and against Bubber. 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 All right. Hey, hey, Brent. Yes, sir. I don't know if we got to the bottom of anything, but... You are gay! You know what? And, and before, I, I just wasn't wasn't that upset about it until I, until I heard that argument with Artie, and I was like, okay, this is kind of odd. Right. It wasn't an argument with Artie. I mean, me and Artie are friends, man. There's no, I understand. Artie. Friends. Now you're friends. Now you're friends. He but forgets the air, argument. Was an argument. You had a huge yeah. argument, Bob. You weren't going to even... Stern show you argue on the air. You don't argue off the air. I right. mean, you know, that's how the show is. I mean, you know, I mean, we're friends. And yeah, we, we invented that. We invented arguing. <laughs> well, I don't want to hear you. And- we invented arguing on the air. <laughs> I pitched arguing. I remember January January of ninety eight. I pitched if two guys have a disagreement, they should yell at each other on the air and give their opinions out at the top of their lungs and yell over each other. We never called it an argument. Quite exactly. frankly, we did but- invent that on the radio. I'm telling you, nobody you really did. Nobody used to argue on the air. All right, hey Brett and Bob, thank. Thank you very much, and uh, and uh, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Listen to Brent today on uh, the Bubba Show from two to three, s- three, to, three seven. to seven, seven, and then tomorrow tomorrow morning live. We're going to have a, a black guy versus a white guy panhandling and see who comes up with more money. White guy, white guy. Yeah, oh, so I, you, say, I say that too, and we're going to have the white guy dress like a bomb, and we're going to have the black guy dress nice and see if he can. Uh, still, we can even see. Know. That's what I I consider that the weakness in the argument. You're going to have the black guy dress nice, so nobody will think he needs anything. Right. <laughs> have him wear the same thing, so there's a control group. Yeah. Okay. Plus, we're doing that at three o'clock today on the Kid Chris Show. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Uh, uh, thanks, Brent. Thanks, okay, Bob. Thank All you. Right, bye. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I, I hate missing up a, any Bubba incensed opportunity. I wish Bubba would have called. Yeah, him. Bubba should have yeah, called. All he, what was he incensed about? I can't. I'll, I can't even talk, Brent. Do this. Because <laughs> yeah, Brent comes on, he's all rational. Well, uh, one thing I know for sure, because we copyrighted this, Sal and Richard invented ball licking <laughs> on the air, like licking each other's sack. So far, nobody's. Stepped up contesting and that. <laughs> right. Nobody's contesting that, and they won't even do it. No. Nobody wants to steal it. <laughs> Here is the actual copyright shock collar karaoke that Brent and Bubba filed. <laughs> actually have the trademark, so actually. How do you copyright <laughs> that? It's trademarked. Shock, shock collar <laughs> karaoke. There's the deal. Oh, oh, he's still here? Who? High pitch Eric wants to sit in on the news. I forgot all about it. All right, let, he's funny. Let him sit in. Hey, uh, hey, uh, Casey. Hey, look at this note you gave me. He, he gives me a note. Any consolation prizes for our losers? How do you spell consolation? You've got to really learn how to spell. 
Consolation. You know what? If I didn't know how to spell consolation, I would just say any prizes for our losers. Well, no, you know? I, I wrote it real quick. Run uh, for, you know. That's not an excuse. Spell it. Spell consolation. Can I have that paper to write it down? No. <laughs> consolation. C O N S E L A T I O N. Consolation. Consolation is with an O. Well, see, Console. I think if I was writing it down, I would probably know it. No, you wouldn't. This is how you spelled it when you wrote it down. C O N S E L L A T I O N. L L. Consolation. It's just it's a turnoff when you can't spell. Oh. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a good speller. <laughs> yeah, there's you no that's enough. You on the internet, obviously. <laughs> yeah, there must be a consolation.com. Poo <laughs> poo. All right. <laughs> and you, hypercharge, you're really dumb. Why? You know, ten percent of two hundred. No, I didn't. I'm a good speller. Are you sorry you missed out on that girl's butt? God, she's yeah. hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't seem too broken up. He's still yeah. here. You know, he should be a lot more upset for a virgin who had a chance at her butt. What's he gonna do? He just doesn't. He should be upset. I mean, well, well, how do you know he's not? Because he's got. Well, what's he gonna do? Cry? That big goofy smile he's always got on. Well, he's on the air. Papa, I, would, I mean, I'm a little upset. I still didn't get her to get the banger. The banger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But if I did get to win the banner, I wouldn't know how to put a condom on in the first place. No, I feel bad. He's trying to be funny now, but you're funny when you're not trying to be funny, but because what's funny about him is he doesn't even know what's funny about him. He, like, hangs around with the cops precinct in his neighborhood and, like, invites the cops back to drink wine with him. And I still think you're gay. Well, I have a few beers with him. That's why I think you're not that upset about Kendra. How come you don't hang around packs of women to do that? Because I don't know that many women at all. But you found some men. Yeah, you found true. a group of men. Well, maybe it's safer. Safer for what? Well, you know, he's probably just he's just trying to make you friends. <laughs> I love making friends. I'm a friendly guy. Yeah, so when you when you go up to the cops and you say to them, hey, officers, would you guys like to come to my apartment and drink some wine with me? Yeah. And, and they say yes? And either yeah. yes or no. It depends on what they have to do after work. Right. Because half of them are married. Right. So they don't want to be married well, to you. No. <clears throat> you like the single ones. Yeah. <laughs> and they come over in their uniforms? Uh, no. When they get off. No, when they get so off, they're not though. in their uniforms. No. no. And then what do they change in their locker rooms at the police precinct, and then they come over to you? Yeah. Has anyone ever showered at your place? No. There's <laughs> <laughs> probably no shower there. No, but however, I... You haven't. don't give them roofies or anything, do you? No. Let me rub your neck. <laughs> so very tense from the frisking people. How was your day? How was your day? <laughs> it's one of the best precincts where I live. Right. And what do you do? You just, you like, they come over and they, what do you guys watch? Some tube? And... Watch the tube, have a few beers. Do you console them when there's bad press about police officers in the news? Yeah, do you talk like, like about the Amadou Diallo shooting? And... Yeah, someone asked me about that. Yeah. yeah. One of the cops? Yeah. yeah. What did he ask you? He asked me what do I think of the case? And I said, no, I... I mean, I'm happy. Say, hey, all cops are pigs, man. You know, they're watching <laughs> Billy Club. Well, I said, to, I said to them, you know, I'm happy for the cops that they got it off. Right, good. You know, the jury did a good job. Right. All right. So that's what the cops like to hear that. You know what to say, though. Yeah. All right. Are you like a big cop homo? Do you know all the numbers oh. and stuff? Like numbers for different things? Like you know, the crime? different crimes? Yeah. No, but I, yeah. I know all the websites for the cops. Oh. You, do. you like the cops. Yeah. I mean, you like them. You just like them. Yeah, cop yeah. groupie. Yeah. Are you ever attracted to any of the cops? Be honest. No. Oh, come on. I you... just love cops. Man. See, he's going to be like an elephant boy who didn't know he was gay, but he loved wrestlers and he loved right. being in the locker room. Do you have a scanner and stuff? You know, are you yeah, ever... I do. Not the elephant boy is gay. Uh, Did you have a police scanner? Yeah. I listen to it every night and every morning. Yeah. You listen to it. Well, yeah. Like, when I listen to you, I have you on and the, and the scanner on at the same time. And what happens if you hear about a big something going on? If something big happened by my area, I would go run downstairs and see what happened. Right. You would go to the area yeah. where the trouble was. Oh, yeah. 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 He shows up. Like, what, what's the last thing you went to? Uh, nothing really happened, but actually a few weeks ago, someone jumped off a building by where I live. And you went back to look? Yeah. Did you see the, the body? body? It was scary. It was all over the street. Really? Yeah. Oh. Scary. You know, Howard, you know he's one of those guys we're going to find out in a year, either like, he, he like lights fires or he's, right. there's something weird with him. No, there's, there's a lot well, weird I with him. I that he's not a serial Good killer. killer. The silence of the lambs. <laughs> How many cops have you had over once? Uh, at once? Probably about three or four. Really? Oh, so you must have been in, like, cop heaven. Yeah. All right. I mean, cops, I mean, cops always call me. They want to see how I'm doing. You do a circle jerk with a cop. I'll be the pivot man. You look by yourself? I'll get the Oreos. 
<laughs> I mean, you're you, unemployed. I'm unemployed. You should sit there doing a home. I'd sit on the computer oh. talking to girls every day. Yeah, and then when they hear your voice, they dump you. Yeah. Oh, that's but, you know, it's a good life in <laughs> America. He's unemployed and he sits on the computer all day. Yeah, I'd like to do that. How do you get paid? <laughs> Unemployment. Really? Yeah. And you can live on that? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. I'm trying to find a job now. Yeah. Why Why ruin it with a job? <laughs> what is it, Doug? You know what another really bizarre thing that he does? He calls me at work, usually around 7, 8 o'clock at night, and he, he conference calls in local news talent. He's conference <laughs> called in with me. He goes, call me at once. He goes, hey, you want to you wanna hear me talk to Chuck Scarborough? I was like, yeah, why not? Yeah. Next thing you know, he's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next thing you know, Chuck Scarborough is talking with this freak. How do you get on with Chuck Scarborough? I call NBC and I ask for Chuck Scarborough. He, he knows them all. He talks. To, for, he likes news people, what? but he's got a big thing going for weather. For weather, yeah. He, he like called me who? another time and for Sam Champion yeah. and then Janice Huff. <laughs> and, and what's that Bill guy's name on ABC? You like that Bill guy? Um, Bill Buto. No, the, the weather guy on ABC. Uh, Bill Evans. Yeah, Bill Evans. Yeah. So wait a second. So, so you weird. call call up and you say, let me speak to Chuck Scarborough, and he knows you? He knows you as high-pitch Eric? No, he doesn't know me as high-pitch Eric. He knows me as Eric. Right. And you just say Eric's on the phone and Chuck picks up? I think they think it's a little kid. <laughs> oh, that's what it must be. Yeah, they must. Hi, oh, Chuck. Oh, little kid's call. Oh, hi, Eric. So what does he talk to them about? Are they talking to I couldn't believe that Chuck Scarborough gave him so he like five minutes. I was like, "What? Wow. Is Chuck Scarborough talking to this freak?" And what is he saying to Chuck Scarborough? Because Chuck thinks it's a little kid. Yeah, he was like, "How's it going, man? I like you. Um, things are good. The news is okay." And, and Chuck's like, "Answer, answer." Yeah, because Chuck must think it's a little kid. He doesn't want to blow him off. It's gotta be it. Yeah, we, should, we could ruin Eric's. Life. Did you ever ask Chuck how old he thinks you are? No. <laughs> hi, Chuck. The two-year-old. Oh, hi, Eric. The weather people probably think that too. Um, plus, he's he's kind of idiotic, so he talks like like he yeah. really talks like a kid. He, yeah, he, he talks gets, on a juvenile so like, level. Hey, how do you like doing the news? How's the news. <laughs> Why I like it a lot, Eric. Maybe it's something you'll do someday when your voice changes. Is it going okay? <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on down there, Chuck? What are you doing tonight, Chuck? <laughs> Want to drink some wine? Very strange. Then he also calls our office just to talk to to anyone who picks up a phone, basically. Mm -hmm. And what we do as soon as we hear it's him, I think he's figured this out by now. We just transfer him to another line, and sometimes we have him for at least a half hour transferring just to phone calls. Yeah. Phone? Well, he's, just he's, bounce him around, but he's, he sticks I in. Think... Yeah, Barbara, you're, so you listen in on the conversations? Hi, yeah, we just, we just uh, keep bouncing him around well, the office. Barbara, go ahead. Hi, uh, uh, Howard. First, I'd love to say, I, I mean, I'd like to say I love the show. I love you. Thank you. Um... I was actually, I think a high pitch Eric lives in my neighborhood, and one day I was uh, shopping at a local drugstore and saw him purchasing uh, hair supplies with uh, <clears throat> a male friend. And uh, <clears throat> they, were, they were shopping around and uh, discussing the relative merits of uh, different kinds of shampoos. And uh, the young man that he was with had uh, actually flowing long hair. And uh, they look quite cozy together. Is that right? Do you, do you know anything about this, Eric? No, I don't. <laughs> um, uh, uh, well, uh, do you have a, a friend with long hair who drives a blue car? A blue oh. car? Yeah. Which no, store was this? Uh, Genevieve's Drug Store on Woodhaven Boulevard. You go there, Eric? No, yeah, I go there. Park. Uh, what, are you spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> It wasn't Fabio, was it? <laughs> uh, it could have been. He really? was a little shorter. I was I was uh, actually shopping around and I and I saw this dude sitting there. No, he likes uh, to hang around with friends. So, Eric, you can't come on this show and keep things like that a secret. Hey, you should have said something to me. Melvin, you're on the air. Yeah, uh, Howard, doesn't it sound a little strange what this guy's doing with cops? I'm, my brother's a cop for the 83rd precinct, and I don't I wouldn't see my brother going out and having a. Uh, you know, drinks in this guy's house. That sounds kind of gay to me. What do you think? Doesn't sound right to me. But I, I don't why think not? Shouldn't cops be doing something better than that? <laughs> yeah. Want to just lose his house to have drinks? Well, no. I mean, cops can hang out wherever they want. Yeah. But uh, with Eric. Well, hey. Crackhead Bob doesn't hang out with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> don't you see something wrong with our police force? I don't know. Maybe you got something there. I don't know. There's something wrong with that. I think either these cops are gay or they're sick in the head. <laughs> wow. yeah, I'm trying to figure out why would a cop go back to Eric's? That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Free drinks. He, yeah. probably, he probably gives good oral, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got to do a cavity search again. <laughs> Thank you, Howard. Where's your billy club? I got a nightstick. <laughs> well, good for you, Eric. This is Bob Levy, day one, Wind job. I got all these freaks here. 
somebody wants his song played on the radio, let's see what he, they're willing to do to get it played. So, this is going to be fun. So what do you have in store for us? It's, uh, it's called You Bet You're a Bitch. And he's betting his bitch on to make out with one of these three right here. Even it could be him, so she might get lucky. But look at this. Right. This is going to be the grossest oh. game. Somebody's <laughs> vomiting today, and it might be me. Reverend Bob Levy has a whole week to try to get John's job. We're almost done with this thing where you guys are going to start voting soon. I think one more week, right? Yeah. Bob's uh, second to last. Bob won a contest here already. Remember, he was the... Uh... Yeah, he was what the was that? World's contest. dirtiest comedian. World's angriest World's listener. Angriest listener. Hey, Bob, good seeing you. How you doing? What's happening, bro? Bob is like so freaked out. Like he says, I ha you don't understand. I have to get John's job. It's not a question of like, I want it. I yeah. have to get it. Really? I have to win this. Yep. I'll be homeless very soon. He's oh, going through dear. a divorce. Yes. And <gasps> it's unbelievable what the, I mean. But don't you make a lot of money being a stand up or things really bad? Because, no, you, you, I do good, but I mean, on the paper, she wants 3600 a month. Wow. And then you got to pay money for her to spend, you know? Right. And I got to pay her credit cards. I wow. thought you I two mean, were going to live in separate bedrooms forever. Well, I was thinking that too. I didn't want to leave the couch, <laughs> you know? But now that's what she wants. And it's, it's are you Are you guys arbitrating or are you going to lawyers? I, I got a lawyer recently. Yeah. Good. Where and are you living? I, I live in, I'm we're at home still. I'm on the couch still. Oh, you, you're still living there? Yeah. And you guys are di divorcing? No, we're divorcing, yeah, yeah. And like, is it really vicious and ugly? No, it's not It's not too bad, but it's just like I'm getting screwed. I feel like I'm getting raped slowly each Yeah, well, day. join the By club. By that person I, you're smiling at. Exactly. <laughs> one of the things I, I overheard. It's unbelievable. Howard, one of the things I overheard him talking about this weekend was that his, his wife wants to send, is it one kid or two kids? One kid. One, he wants to send the kid to private school now, which is going to up his... You know, monthly bill to a ridiculous proportion. It's like, well, why can't the kid go to the school he's always gone to? Yes, and now it's just extra stuff. And it's like, how am I supposed to live? How am I supposed to come out? And I don't know. I that's mean, what they don't understand. In divorce, they don't care how you it, live. Exactly. It, it, the laws are so bad for guys. I mean, it's unbelievable. So when are you going to start banging other chicks? Are, 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 you, are you waiting until you move out of the house? Probably about two years ago. No, oh, really? No, yeah. no. I mean, uh, I would say I'm, I'm not ready for well, something. Are you, gonna, are you even going to have sex? I mean, can you bring dates home? No, unless I bring the couch in the backyard. <laughs> yeah, wait, where's she going to go? <laughs> but so she's now, not dating either with you in there on the couch. No, I so guess now, it's when I'm away. So now you're paying... Now you're not having sex. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Uh, nothing's changed. And right. now I'm homeless. So I got to win this job. I have to. I, there's nothing else. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I feel bad for you. Now, so I got now. the job? No. Uh, it's not up to yeah, me. Know, they they got to vote. I know. But I mean, I, it's it's, 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 you know what? It's good enough. Yeah. You got to pull out all the stops. This I week, am. I Believe me, I am. You are super motivated. Yes, I am. What do you got for us today? What are we going to be doing? I got a, a game. I'm going to do my game today, the bet. Yeah, Gary tried to explain it to me. I don't understand. Now, what happens? It, it's, it's called You Bet Your Bitch, right? Okay, You Bet Your Bitch. I like the name. Yeah, so this right. guy, you know, he wants to get his song played. He's a rock guy and that. And he's willing to do anything to get it played. So I How'd you meet this guy? I know him from, we did a, a concert, like we did an outdoor thing, they had bands and they had comedians, and I met him there. What's this guy's name? Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, how you doing, man? What do you got? You got a beard hair, but you got beads on your beard hair. Yes, I do. I'm thinking of going to that myself. My girl did it for me uh, today. Now you got a band. How long you had the band? I've, this is a, my first solo project, and it's been in the works for about a year now. And um, I've been in band for about 15 years. So, like, you're desperate to make it. Yeah, at this yeah. point, I'm not getting any How younger. old is he? Yeah, what? Are you, how old are you? I'm 28. 28 years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's time, man. Either it's do or die. Definitely. Now, who's that? That's your girl. Yeah. How you doing, baby? You must be pretty frustrated. Oh, she doesn't seem to know she, why no, she's she, here. No, she knows, but I'm she's nervous. upset. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? What's going on? All right, tell me the game. What does Pasquale got to do okay, here? Okay, well, I'm going to ask them questions, uh, right? She'll be blindfolded the whole time. Yeah. And if he gets it wrong, she has to make out with one of three people without knowing who they are. She'll pick one, two, or three. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to stop because the yeah. sound here is abominable. Okay. All right, what's going on with your wireless over there? Nothing. You I don't hear the hissing? I haven't moved. No. You don't hear it. I swear I don't. You don't hear it. You don't hear that. I hear it. And now do you hear it's gone? Here, listen now. Nice. Now listen. Yeah. That's all your microphone. All right, let me try turning this one Tell down. Tell Scott, we're going to, as usual, we have a problem. Every time you turn, you guys use those microphones, it's a problem. Now, is this one better? That's better. Except the other one is still on, isn't I turned it, it off. You sure? Positive. All the way down? All the way down. Right Check here. Check it again. Down. It's down. All right. It's the up. other one has a little hit. It's up. It's All down. Right. All right. I don't care. <laughs> I get so involved in the technical aspect yeah. of the show, I can't be creative anymore. I'm out of here. All right. Yes. Now, where were we, Pasquale? Yep. I'm All right. Bo now, Bob, you were... You were just, All right. Go ahead. Uh, so, she'll be blindfolded. If he gets the question wrong, she has to make out with one, one of three people. Either Pasquale... Yeah. 
High Pitch Eric or Jeff the Drunk. Oh. Wow. So this girl really, oh. she's doing this for him to get his band played, and this is huge for him. All right, now he has to answer questions. Yes. And if he gets it wrong, she has to make out with either High Pitch Eric. Yeah, she'll pick one, two, or three. Wow. Without knowing. It, wow. could, be, it could be Pasquale, but it could be High Pitch Eric or Jeff. Okay, yeah. good. I like it. And Jeff's in rare form today, Howard. Oh. We, think he, we think he may have already soiled himself. Yeah. Oh. All right, bring the guys in. <laughs> All right, High Pitch and Jeff the Drunk. Why do you say he soiled himself? Because Ronnie said he saw a big giant stain on his yeah. pants and it smelled really bad. Yeah, Ronnie was Why screaming Ronnie? at him that he stunk. Hey, Jeff. Don't curse, Jeff. So bad. <laughs> Jeff. It's true, Ronnie, the bitch. All right, Jeff, did you so, soil your pants? No. Be honest. It's really good, dude. It's humidity. Yeah. Don't, don't turn, around. turn around. I'll turn around and you get sick my left one, bitch. Let's see, there I is a stain. There's a round stain, dude. Where? <laughs> Whatever. Believe what you fucking want. <laughs> Jeff. Hey, well, Jeff, you can't curse. Sorry. Believe what you ever want. All right, do not curse. I know yeah. you're drunk, but don't curse. Never. All right, you understand the game, boys? High pitch, how are you? I understand. I'm doing good. How are you, Howard? All right, good this lovely you. woman over here, her name is Stephanie. That is Pasquale's wife. She's going to be blindfolded. Let's blindfold her now. Yeah. And um, she will be blindfolded, and she will have to make out with one of you three guys <laughs> if Pasquale gets the question wrong. All right, that's a good game. Can we have a bucket in case she gets sick? I don't want her all over. You know what I mean? Well, Stephanie, I'm trying to talk to you. I know it's hard for you to talk, but uh, are you nervous? Honey? Extremely. Right. You're in love with Pasquale, obviously. Not after this. <laughs> you want the band to make it that would benefit you oh so much. Lunch is on him. All the way. All right, now that blindfold is not put in place. Right. Yeah. You got to put it all the way down or this isn't going to work. Right. Yeah. And you got to like face that. the wall. Where's the wall? There. There it is. Should we mix these guys up now? Mix them up. Okay, move them all around. Shuffle in the deck here. Shuffle the deck. And you can't put your hands on them. Just, just kiss. No touching, boys. All right. And she can see. I yeah, yeah. Put the thing. It's coming I up can't again. See? Can I see? Face the wall. I don't trust you. Yeah. Now mix them around. This isn't gonna work if you can see. Ah, oh, dog shit. Oh, oh, you can't no, say you that. can't say that. You can't right, say that. Here we go. All right. Well, go ahead. You take over, Mr. Okay. Mr. Reverend Bob Lee. Here we go, Pasquale. The first question. They're the only two planets in our solar system who orbits cross. Orbit their orbits, what? Their orbits cross. All right. Yeah. Two Whatever. planets orbits cross. Yeah. <laughs> two planets. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah. I'm making them easy for them. <laughs> <laughs> like, you even know that no, answer. No, I got to read it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pasquale. What, what two planets? Jupiter and Uranus. No. Nope. Nope. I know the answer. What is it? It's... Earth and the moon. No. Oh, those aren't. Those are planets, dude. Planet. Turn around. Don't know. let your wife turn around. Well, I'm going to yeah. mix them up again, I realize, because she might be able to hear where they are. Right. Okay, yes. Yeah. So he's wrong. He's wrong. All right, so now she's got to pick one, two, or three. One, two, or three. three. All right. Go ahead, Stephanie. One, two, or three. Uh-oh. One, two, or three. One, three. Three, you said? Three. Well, that would be your husband. Yes! You got off. Oh, you man. lucked out. Yeah. Go ahead. Go make out with him. I can't believe she got lucky. All right. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she Jeff was hitting on her, his mother in the, in the room. Oh, it's God. sick. Oh, God. Okay, here comes, she here comes bottle, an easy one. Howard, she got a bottle of smeared off in her hand. <laughs> Just in case. Hey, hi, Pitcher, but you want to make out with her, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, no. Yeah. And Jeff, you what the hell? You wouldn't mind sucking face with her. No. Why not? Why not? Let it happen. Okay, question two, Pasquale. Down, All right, question two. Here we go. State capitals. This state capital is located about 2,500 miles southwest of Los Angeles. How's he ever going to answer these? That's an easy one. This state capital is what? That. It's located 2,500 miles southwest of Los Angeles. Now, Stephanie, don't yell out the answer because if you do, you'll have to make out with Hypercharic's ass. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. That's a whole nother story. No. Pasquale, you got an answer Only for chicks, him? Yeah. Only uh, chicks. Honolulu. Honolulu, we got it right. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, now, what do I have to do? Yeah. Play some of his music? Yeah. No, no, we're not done. We got five questions. Five oh, questions. Okay. All right. He's got. Okay. Can we get three. 
No. You no. make it three. Oh. Wow. We got to have him make out with somebody here. Yeah, gotta make out. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Gems and Julie. Pigeon blood is a type of stone found in Burma. What was that? Pigeon's blood is a type of stone found in Burma. True or false? No, it's a name. You need the name of it. It says. Do you what? understand the question? Oh. I don't even. What do you want? Wait, asking? say the question again. It says pigeon's blood is a type of stone found in Burma. And what kind of was it called? Stone? stone? Yeah. Pigeon's blood. No, no, it has a name. It has a name. Pigeon's blood, blood is a type of stone ruby. found Go in Go ahead, Burma. Pasquale. What is the answer? Ruby? Is it a ruby? He got that right. He got it. Yeah, you see? God. You know, as dumb as these questions are, he's Thank doing very well. God. This yeah. is a really dumb game. <laughs> it would be but if it works, if he misses it, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. All right, go ahead. One more. Okay, the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 occurred during this month. What month was it? Cuban Missile Crisis. What month? April? No, you're wrong. Now, turn them around and let's go. You turn this way. All right, arrange the guys in a new order. You have to pick one, two, or three. You'll either make out with High Pitch Eric, Jeff the Drunk, or your husband, Pasquale. Pick a number. Lux on my side, one. Yeah. All right, let's go. You got to make out with him. Let's number go. One. Turn this way. No. You, wait, oh, you turn this way. No. no you. Okay, come on over. Come no. on over here. Make out with number one. Let's go. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. That's not Megan. One second. Oh. That wasn't good. You're supposed to do five. Five seconds. Eric. Oh, she's down in booze. How'd, how'd that taste? Oh, that, that was great. <laughs> Stephanie, you all right? You didn't do five That's seconds. It. No, you got to make out. Five yeah. seconds. You Get don't over. Want your husband's song playing. You don't want to yeah. play? I'm going to throw oh, everyone out. God. Come on, five seconds. I'm you got to do it. Out. Eric, get back over there with Stephanie. She's going to puke. Make out with her. She's going to puke. That'll be Come great. On. Go ahead. Yeah, five seconds. Go I'm going to count. Go ahead, Eric. One. Open that mouth up, Open Stephanie. Open it up, two. Let Eric in there. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, she's yakking. Did she make it? Yeah, uh, she made it. She's going to throw up. that microphone over there, Gary. Stephanie, what's going on? Talk to me. Oh, God. What are you doing? Lose it. She's rinsing it. I'm sorry, baby. Oh, God. Was that horrible? I can't do it again. One more question. One more. Come on. better get Come on, baby. Okay, you ready? Eric, how was that for you, by the way? She's almost throwing up. Yeah, it was great. I just brushed my teeth. Uh, Howard, you know what? I was right there on top of it. I it's hope so nobody weird. At home is she, really listening. He's he's like a rapist because she's moving her head back. He yeah. knows how to get the head, and his lips just like yeah. mm, 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 right on her. Yeah. Thank oh, man. you for the vocal on that because I can't see it. Oh, <laughs> Eric, you will. I'm sorry. She was a sweet little honey, huh? She is. Pasquale, uh, that had to be hard for you to that watch. That was way hard, and I'm going to have nightmares <laughs> now. And oh. All right, let's have one more question. I, I can't wait to see her make out with uh, Jeff the Drunk. Oh, that would be great. That's yeah. be, could only that guy's a master at making working. out. <laughs> okay, we got a baseball Jeff, question. Jeff, you could use a little love, huh? You know what happens Sports when is not I my make thing. out with girls. What happens when you make out with girls? Come on, I don't have enough tape. alcohol left, Howard. You got a shot back there for me? Jeff has enough. What happens? Please. Where's the tape, dude? They throw up, right? <laughs> They cry. No. They cry. Right? <laughs> they cry. The girl cry. They cry. Right? Yeah. Why? Why did that girl cry? I forget. Wouldn't she's you? A dumb bitch. So that's why she yeah. cried. She started crying. Yeah. She know she was she she sort of woke up and saw what was happening. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, baseball God. question. By 2002, he held the all-time record for stolen bases, walks, and runs scored. Wow. Mm. Go ahead, Pasquale. Give me an answer. I don't know sports. I'm going to have to say uh, Mark McGuire. I don't know. You are wrong. Ricky Henderson. Yeah. All right, let's move the guys around. Move around. Make sure she's <laughs> against the wall and her eyes are covered. It's the only way this works. Okay. Pick a number. Pick a number. One, two, three. One. <gasps> oh, number one. Uh, you go okay, number one. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Who um, is it? Oh. Turn, just turn it back. No. no. Number one, and, and, and yeah. tell her who it you is. You do it. I'll kill you if you don't. No. Tell her who it is. Tell her who it is. Oh, God. Oh, she can tell. She can smell his breath. <laughs> <laughs> she can smell his breath. Who is number one? Wally, I'm sorry. You got to do it. Oh, you got to do it. Come on, baby. You got to do it. Come this on, band will baby. never be we heard. Jeff. We need this play. Jeff, kiss her. Five seconds. She's oh, down and more. All right. Five seconds. Open mouth. Five now. Seconds. Oh. With the time. Uh -huh. Let's go. Come on, boss. Five seconds. 
Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. She did it to me. I'm sorry, babe. Uh, Kiss him now. What's going on, five. Stephanie? Oh, my God. Oh, 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 what happened? Oh, Nothing has oh, happened. Yeah. Nothing has happened yet. Jeff just got his tongue out. Jeff, let's yeah. go. Stephanie, no. Stephanie, you got to do it. Come on, baby. You got to do record. this. Yeah. For the record, yeah, I'll play it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Ready? Go. Ready? One, One, two, two. No, 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 no. You can't talk during it. Give me that much. <laughs> Come on, give me that much, guys. No. This is my mouth. Do it. Do it. This is horrible. Five, this is horrible. <laughs> Stephanie, you want to back I out? I love it. No. I'm doing it for him. No. You're doing it? No. Come on, baby. It. Stephanie, are you crying? Oh, I'm throwing up. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, don't touch her except with your mouth. Yeah. He's starting to kiss her and stuff. Mm. Come on. Give her a kiss. Come on. Oh, nightmares. I'm going to throw up. No. Oh, my God. All right, I'm trying out. to hold back. Stephanie, right now, what's God. your thoughts? You want to back out? No. Don't play your Come on, baby. You got to do it. I, I need you to do this for me. I owe you big, I know. Take the blood. Pasquale right. saying. All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Well, go. 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 Oh, man. One, oh, two, nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. I'll count. All right, Gary, you count. I'll count. Nothing has happened. She every time she gets close, she backs away. Come on, God. You know, what the fuck? Oh, oh man. And he looked in the mirror. Do you just have that. any clue? Take a bear. Take a bitch. Let's go. Get bitch oh, me. Oh. I'm getting ready to say it. All right. Don't you. say f you. Don't you dare. I'm ready to. Come She's on, working. In. I love you, Steph. Come on. Stephanie. Yeah. You, you want to back out? No. Don't back out, don't back out babe. You, you got to do this. If you play it, I'll back out. No, I ain't playing nothing. <laughs> I can't do that. Come on now. Stephanie, just, just kiss him and get it over with. Come Here on, babe. Just get it over right. with. Ready? Yeah, I'm, I'm right. counting it, though. I'm, I'm counting it. Can I count it? No. No. You don't do it. Bob's got to count it. Do it right, bitch. All right. Ready? Go. Come on. Ready? Ready. Oh, man. One, oh. two, <laughs> two, that ain't <laughs> not three, that ain't not four, that ain't not five. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 I, oh. I think and it's something. It my wasn't God. Zero. I'm zero. All right, Stephanie. Oh my How was that? Oh, God. Are you going to throw up? <laughs> you all right, babe? I'm ready to throw up. God. Yeah, Pasquale. Can I take this off now? Yeah, take it off. I love you, but it's hard going home to this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. Are you going to break up with I'm going to need therapy. You, might be, you guys might be divorced. Oh, God. Oh, well, Stephanie, you did it for your man, I have to say. Howard, I, you, I did it for you, too, because wow, I just baby. wanted to come here. Wow. I want to say that. There's your man, Jeff, and high pitch. You, have you made out Do with each other? Do me a favor. Don't ever put this on TV. No. Oh, we will. Don't make this cry. No, come on now. Oh, it's Please. happening. Please. It's going on. It's no, on. the boys at work are already going to burn no. the DVD, and I work in a... I sell TVs and I've got uh, big screens all the way across. Well, we got to put, me on, to put on your TV now. It's not right. You can't. Oh man. Now, uh, <laughs> why? It's, what, what are you saying about these two guys? What do you mean it's not right? I broke a sweat. So what? I don't. <laughs> yeah, right. Who else would guys. do that? <laughs> <laughs> Who else would do that? All right. I don't think nobody else would do that. What's the matter? Are you, so. are you insulted, Jeff? I am very insulted. Yeah. She put a type it's Eric for Christ's sake. And she was like, Ugh, F you bitch. <laughs> right right. Back at you. Oh, man, right back at you. Yo, oh, come on. I mean, look what she's got to do to what, what, What's your name? But you know what? His music like, is I'm worth so it. What's uh, your name? Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. You know, if you're faithful to your husband, then you should do stuff for him. Yeah. And, exactly, Eric. And I did. She did. No, she did. You've always backed out kissing Jeff the drunk. You didn't back out to kiss me. That's one thing. Yeah, you ain't feeling. You know. You're saying that Jeff oh, kisses Jeff before he kisses right? Eric. <laughs> I'm not sure Look, I kiss all three of them. <laughs> I want right. I want a double dog dare that I want to see any one of you. Jeff's leaving. Do. Why are you leaving, Jeff? Jeff? Oh no, he's going to beer. Oh, he's getting a beer. <laughs> oh, I thought he was insulted. It's breakfast time. <laughs> All right. Well, you've. I guess you've completed this game that Bob put together yeah. called "You yeah. Bet Your Bitch." That yeah. is not right. Uh, it was hard for you to kiss these yeah, guys. Man. It's hard for me to watch. God. <laughs> I'm going to the bar directly. All right. Well, you Period. did it. You did it for your man. Yeah, we're gonna need a whole lot of liquor. What a woman. All right. Like a whole let's bunch um, of scope. let's uh, listen to your music. After all, your wife sacrificed her virgin lips to these. Two gentlemen. I love you, baby. Thank you. Uh, Pasquale, what is he? We got words. Like we got plenty singer. of words later. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, now he's kissing her after that. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh. There you go. Take the tape out, Howard. Don't even play it now. There. <laughs> I'm going to throw right up. up. <laughs> you want one, Howard? No, thanks, baby. You sure? I'm sure. Can All right. Sit on your lap at least? No, thanks. All right, listen. <laughs> let's play this record. What does Pasquale do? Is he the lead singer or something? I um, This record that you're playing, I wrote, produced, uh, recorded, and played all the instruments on oh. the album, except right. for the last track, uh, Hole Again, which that's I'm going to probably be Do you that. sing on it? Yeah, I do. I sing on it. And all right. What is it in, Gary? CD what? CD one? All right, here we go. This is called Hole Again? Yes, Hole Again. Let me hear what the hell all the fuss is about here. Nice Th this is actually track one. Um, oh. Well, you didn't it right. Yeah, he wants no, I might have reset itself. All right, that's all right. it. I'm sorry about that, but... That's three. good, too, just to give you a heads up. All right, here we go. Hole Again. Uh. Nice. Is that Hole Again? Yes. Oh, okay. Thanks, Howard. You're playing all the instruments? On this track, I just played the guitar and I sang, but on right. the other tracks, I played everything. So you send this to the record companies? I just got done uh, recording it, and you're the first person I've ever played it for. Yeah. 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 Howard, what do you think you right now? I'm listening to the music. Give me a shot. You're thinking. I'm thinking what I think of the music. I'm trying to get into it. Shh. Restless, restless, but not horrible. Nice uh, song. It gets better towards the end. Has a nice guitar solo. Kind of nice. Kills the song out. You got time. Give him number one too. Honey, we don't know all. I don't yeah. play any. I just, I've already gone too long. <laughs> That's a good sign. That's gonna be the wedding song. This is your wedding song. Key <laughs> West baby coming up. What do you think here, Robin? Was it worth her making out with High Pitch Eric and, and uh, Jeff? And Jeff the Drunk? What? She didn't even make out with me. Uh, you, you had your no, tongue on her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I saw what she did. What she and, to and, do. And, and quite honestly, Jeff, you kept talking during it. You stopped to talk to her three times. Because <laughs> he's drunk. Yeah. What do we think? In unique sound, definitely. It's not like something you hear everywhere. So. But unique doesn't tell you one thing one way or another, Robin. What do you think? <laughs> Here's what I think. It's not my cup of tea. Right. But I could recognize that someone might like this. It's, it's kind of uh, in the evanescence mode, would you I say? I would say more like in the darkness mode. Uh, you know, like it's different like that. You're talking about the tone of his voice? He is dark. <laughs> Birthdays are two days apart. We're very dark. April Fools. I was missed it by two days. What's she talking about? <laughs> Say, I guess they were born on April third. Oh, I don't know what's going on. She got drunk from Jeff's tongue. Ah! Tell yeah. me, I guess if you make out with Jeff the drunk, you get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, you really want to know? See, I like this part right here. Yeah. yeah. Rocking. Good, good stuff. Well, let us be a uh, real professional, Fred. Fred, any good? Has this guy got any hope of making it? Or I, I think she needs to divorce him and marry Angus Young. From <laughs> <laughs> He's a cloning dude. I tried, baby. Yeah. I tried. He's not going to make it? Fred? Not with this. I mean, maybe there's another song on there that's better than this. This one here sounds... I don't like the slow. I like, yeah. I like more upbeat things he does. 
bad choice, I think. Hey, so what do you think? Bye. Yeah, this song sucks, Howard. You gotta get him up here now. All right, uh, Tim, what do you think? No way. This is the worst crap I've ever heard in oh. my life, Howard. Give me restless, restless. All right, Maria, go ahead. Eat dirt. <laughs> Hi, Howard. Hi, baby. I just want to tell you, not a Bob Levy's game sucked. Oh, get him come up on. Here. He's terrible. All right. He sucks. It's my wife. <laughs> no, you're bad. I'm great. I, it's over. I don't even want to listen today. Then go you. kill yourself. All what? right. Maria, go ahead. You suck. The game sucks. He was terrible. So, 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 Bob hit a bomb today. Yeah. How did I hit a bomb? Terrible. Don't. Don't don't even don't even consider him, please. I All won't right. listen anymore. Frank, go ahead. Hello. Horrible yes, hi. It's Maria. Yes. Oh, Maria, hi. Yes, Frank. What do you have to say? Horrible, unoriginal. All right, unoriginal. The song or the game? I think he meant both. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. Listen, you got to rely on the audience to vote mm -hmm. you in. I yeah, know you sure. need the job very badly. Okay, this was your first uh, entry mm -hmm. into a whole long week. This yeah. is a game that um, that you uh, that you devised. Yes, yeah. Vinny. Hey, Howard, I think the, the segment was pretty good. I just blew up all over my car. It was so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I was working okay. towards that, God damn it. Well, oh, thank you. Sorry about you got, that. Thank you, you Stephanie. Got the short end of the stick. Thank you, Pasquale. Yeah, What's you know, the name of the band? Let's give it a plug. Pasquale I'm be and next Sadistic week. Youth. Sadistic, Pasquale and Sadistic Youth yeah. is the name of the band. And uh, I guess you get the CD on the internet or something? Um, it's going to be in stores in the local area. All right. You know, local chains like that. All right, real good. And uh, Bob, uh, we'll yeah. see you tomorrow. You got it. High pitch. Uh, yes, can you want to. Can I say something? Okay, if you have to. Well, every Thursday night I do a comedy. No. I do. I did my OJ voice over the weekend. What is your OJ voice? Want to hear me talk like OJ, yeah. the deep voice? Yeah. Hello, Howard. I'm OJ. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh Very my good. God. Nice. So, uh, do you do any kind of jokes? <laughs> uh, or just impressions? Just impressions like Robert De Niro. Let's hear that. All right, hold on. He's got to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes a difference. <laughs> oh, God. I see a big fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you talking to me? You talking to me? I know you're not talking to me. Not bad. Wow. You got some talent. Wow. Do you, how many impressions do you do, would you say? We've I, wasted a lot of time with it. it. I, I, I could do Darth Vader. No, just tell me how many you do, Eric. I don't want every I, I do about three or four. Okay. Why don't you just talk like OJ in your real life? Because you sound more masculine. Like, why don't you just walk around saying stuff? Because it'll hurt my voice if I talk like OJ. Well, let me hear that again. Hey, Howard, this is OJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeff, you going to be appearing anywhere? Um... No. All right. I'm but I want to be appearing at my bedroom. All right. Thanks for coming in, Jeff, the drunk high pitch, Eric. And we'll be back right after these words. She gets sick, but I love fucking. Fuck her. Cut. Fuck her. She's a cut. Why? She can go fuck herself. Wait here. Wait here. Wait right there. She can't type it, she can't catch me. Fuck her. Fucking bitch. Wait, she's right behind you. I don't give a fuck. How'd it feel making out with high pitch? That is so much fucking It was better than uh, feeling a dying liver. Uh, okay, so, so so what were you thinking about, like, as soon as you realized that thinking, you had to make out with someone? Yes, I was do. thinking I had my airport bottle yes, in do. my pocket, and, you know, it's empty. It didn't last for the second oh, time around, that's yeah. all. It's, it was sort of like getting one number in the lottery. It's <laughs> hard. I should have got a fifth, yeah. but, you know, <laughs> time so, did so, not a lot. We were running late today. So tell us, what was it like uh, kissing high pitch? High pitch. Bow. Really? Bow. What kind of a kisser is he? I don't know. I didn't try to get too deep. I, uh, I enjoy this one right here. Oh, and that's the little Jeff the Drunk left over on that, too. Oh, God. Please. Thank you. <laughs> and he will be tasting it forever oh, and ever because I'm, I'm not brushing my teeth. God, He's no, got to deal with it all week. Now now let me ask you. Yeah. What, what was it like making out with Jeff the Drunk? <sighs> I don't know. You can be honest. Go ahead. I need therapy. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Jeff? <laughs> really? Now, now, what was something wrong about it? Um. Try not to yak. <laughs> was it the alcohol? I've got no answers for that. Was it, did you smell a lot of alcohol on him? Yeah, that's 
That's uh. Now what's now what's wrong with Jeff? Is he no, just the way he smells? What's wrong with him? I think I kind of pretty much said it. You know, check out the mirror, take a bath, brush your teeth. You know. Psych my left fucking nut, bitch. Ah, uh, if you've got one. Who, who, who's a better kisser? Who's a better kisser? Oh right? God, they're arguing now. Oh, oh, I don't know. Who's right. a better kisser? Let me ask you something. If you had to pick. Okay. High pitch or Jeff as the better kisser, who would it be? I'll go with high pitch. I was a little more willing there. Jeff, be quiet for a minute. No, I'm fucking Jeff, be quiet for a minute. Jeff, shut up for a minute. I don't need that fucking shit. What's the matter? Every fucking time. Fucking yeah, show. Don't hit the camera, Jeff. Every time I come to this fucking show, everybody talks bad about me. Fuck her. Fuck her. Fuck her. Maybe you deserve it because the way you talk to people. Yeah, maybe fuck you. All right? Yeah, baby, fuck you, bitch. So you're going to leave? You're going to walk out crying? No. All right, then. Then I'm sit down and be right. quiet. Fuck you. Now, now, bottom line, was it worth having your woman come down here and make out with these two guys? Mm, I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that's... She's saying no. Uh, I think some of it's still going to have to set in, you know, and, you know, right now I'm, I'm half ready to throw up thinking about it and... I'm sure once I say it, I'm going to yak, but... Because when you kiss I'll her, be... you're going to be kissing Jeff and Eric. Kissing yeah, her. and I've already done that I'll twice. I'll be really now. drunk in about an hour. Now, were you watching? Really while drunk. Kissing drunk. No, I definitely wasn't watching. Yeah, I just try to, to not have that memory in my brain ever. What's up, Ronnie? So we got high pitch Eric here, who has a job now. And he's got his business manager. He has a business manager. And he's got some other guy with him, so we're going to bring him in. Dump him in the green room. Eric, let's go. So high pitch. Hi, Isaac. What's going on? I'm here because I'm, cause, I don't know, I'm scared of fish, and I don't want I don't want to be tortured by fish. You're here to make a statement. Yeah. What is that? That, that I don't want to be tortured by fish. I'm sorry that I fucked up a couple of times by not coming in because I hate being tortured by fish. Eric. Hey, John. How you doing? You made it. Yeah. So, so, dude, so what happened yesterday? You told me you told me you were going to be here. Yeah, scared of fish. I know you're scared of fish, but you called me and you said that you wanted to come back and and do the fish thing so you can get back on the show. I thought I could do it, but I can't do it. So what, so you're saying now that you're not going to you're not going to do any of the, the fish, uh, you're not going to wear fish mittens, you're not going to land a bit of fish? No, I'm just scared of fish. Yeah, but, but you called me, though. I know, I know. I told you. I thought I can do it, but I still can't do it. I'm serious. So you tell me now that you're backing out? Of the fish then? Yeah. Yeah. So if it was, if you had to make the decision between never coming on the show again and putting fish mittens on, you tell me that you'll never come on the show again? I don't know. I just can't deal with the fish right now. But that's, that's the deal we had, though. I know. All right, High Pitch Eric is about to be thrown off for the show for the for the final time. Really? Yeah, I've had it with this guy. He contacted us. He said, uh, I want to come in and do the thing with the fish. We so fish! I want to come in and spin right, the wheel of fish. Talk. I'm ready to do it. Did he call last night and canceled it. <gasps> so I'm telling him he's off the show forever. So he's not doing any fish thing today. Yeah. I don't know why he does this. Here he comes. Dude, I don't, I don't have any fish on me, dude. I'm just right here. No, look, I was wearing look gloves because the Jesus twin was bleeding, so just come over here. Come on. Come in here, you big baby. Come on, just go right there. Hi, Pitch, why do you do that to me? Why do you say you're coming in and you're going to put on fish mittens <laughs> and then you don't do it? I'm sorry, man. I screwed up. But yeah, why, just don't make us buy fish. You tell us you're coming in to do Wheel of Fish. I'm excited about it. It's fun when you do it, when you conquer your fears and you show me you're a real man. And then you, like, like two seconds later, you're, uh, you're such a pussy. You just, I don't care if, if you don't do Wheel of Fish or not, but don't tell us you're going to do it and cost us money. We've got to go out and buy these huge cods, get them shipped here, pack them in ice for two days. We went to all the trouble again, and then at the last minute, you backed out. This is the second time. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. What's the matter with you? What's going on? I hate, I hate fish. Yeah. But you're uh, the one who said you were coming in to do We didn't call you. I thought I can do it, but now I can't after what happened Friday. But what don't, happened Friday? What happened Friday? I was at a bachelor party with Beetlejuice, and 
They tore, these people tortured me with fish. They chased me around the whole hotel, and I couldn't stand it. <laughs> he said he was attacked by a dead fish. The people, atta- the people chased me and wouldn't let me out. Do you know what it is about fish that freak you out? When, when I lived with my parents, they had fish, and they wanted me to take the fish out of the tank, and that scared me. They didn't want you to take the fish out of the tank, and it scared you? Yeah. No, they wanted him to take the fish out of the tank. Let me ask you something. I'm banning you from the show. You're never going to be on again. Because you cost me money, you waste my time. I'm sorry, man. You make us put a lot of energy. I like you and everything, but you're gone. It's it. You're done. I hate fish, man. Now it's your chance. I want you to put on the fish gloves and be a man. No, no. Wait uh, a second. Eric, Look at me. It's time you're for not you. Listening. No. No. No, no, no. Don't run out of the room. Look at the fish. Let him look at it. Let him look at it. Come here, Eric. Come look at it. Eric. <laughs> come and look at it. Eric, come back here and be a man. I'm not going to put him on you. I just want you to look at it. Come here. No. No. Come and look at it and be a man. I'm not going to put it in front of you. No, just, we can't hear you. Come on, Mike. No, no. Let me show you the fish gloves. Come back no. here. Pretty fish. I swear I won't make you wear them until, until you're ready. He's not, we're not going to touch you with it. Just come on. No. I'm not kidding. Come on. <laughs> no. Eric, no, no, Eric, you come in here. Oh, put the fish down. We gotta get put the fish the down. Put him back in the put it back in the freezer. Look at the fish. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's 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 back in the cooler. It's in the cooler. Come back. Come on. Sit on the cooler, Doug, and show him you're not gonna do it. No. Come on, Eric. There are no fish in the room right now. <laughs> Eric, all I'm suggesting to you is listen to what I'm suggesting. I'm not gonna torture you. I want to help you with this because I'd like to see you be on the show again. But I'm telling you, I'm banning you from the show. I'm sorry. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to look at the fish gloves. No one's going to put no, them near you. No. Hold, hold, hold. All right, don't, we're not doing anything. I'm discussing it with you. I just, Wait a minute. No, I just, I just saw it from where I was standing. Okay. Okay, but I'm going to open the top of that no. and have you look at it. No. Why? Because no, I just saw it. No. Eric, no. do you never want to do this show again? Wow. No. Don't, don't bring it closer. Don't take them out. Don't take them out. Let them see them. Show them the gloves. You've seen it before. You've been here. You've seen the fish. No. That's just a fish. Are you seeing it now? <laughs> just let them look at it. What no. do you think of that? No, no. What don't you? What are you saying no to exactly? No, I don't like the fish. That's it. Eric, you're ready to say goodbye to the show. <laughs> Eric. I can't believe you can't face your fears. Can he hear me? I can hear you. Oh, then you're ready to say goodbye to the show. No, I don't want to do it. I would have looked like he was going to cry before. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't get Put the fish back in the in the freezer. I don't get something. He's, but he said he was going to come on and do it. So what happens? I thought I can do it, but now I can't. What is it that goes through your mind? All you got to do is slide into the fish gloves, close your eyes and do it, yeah. and be done, and then you're on the show. See, I don't think he believes that you got to be a, You don't want to be a part of the Howard Stern show anymore? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm kicking you out. I don't think he thinks you will. Oh, he's gone. Trust me, he's gone. I don't think he believes yeah, that. Yeah, because he raised Cabby once, and, and then he said he'd be off the show, and, and then you let him... No, 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 no. This is affecting me now. Do you understand, Eric? No more show. No Just more one call. hand? One hand. <laughs> in one glove. Five seconds. Come on. You put your hand in the glove. Show him the glove. Don't put it near him. Okay. Show him how it works. No! No! It's no. not, <laughs> it's not near, near you. you. Oh, no, don't worry. Show him how it works. You see the glove? <laughs> you just slip your hand you in. You slip your hand right in. You do that for five seconds, you're okay. back on the show. Like a but how is it going to stay on? Just you just put your hand in it. Yeah. You got to keep it on yourself. You got to like wear it for five seconds. Like that. How Doug is doing it. <laughs> okay, can I wear gloves? No. No, not like, like that. that. That's great. You got you to face your fear. Look at the fish's face. <laughs> must- Let Eric think about it. I'm offering him an opportunity, but he is gone for... It Square must- business, it- you're gone from the show it if must- you don't do it. But there's fish cuts in there, too. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, it's cleaned out. Is it cleaned out? Yeah, for All his right. hand. It's cleaned out. Okay, think about it for a little bit. No, no I'll give you. It. I'll give you thirty seconds to no, think. No, 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 okay, think no. About it. What right now, it? right now, I got to go to news. So you have thirty seconds to decide whether you ever want to be on this show again. How about two seconds? All right, two whoa, seconds. Whoa, you I have two it, seconds. If I do it, all right, two seconds are up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You if said I, you wanted two seconds. Hey, if I do it, can I stay in here for the news? Yes. That'll be your reward. Oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold I, on. I, I just have to put that on my hand. You right? have to put it on your hand for five seconds. I will time it, and no. I will be honest. Can, can, you, can someone hold it while it's on my hand? No, you have to you put have it on your hand. It's a fish glove. <laughs> I have to put it on myself? That's 30 seconds. Yep, that's it. <laughs> What's your decision? Or goodbye just go to the do show. It. Goodbye, goodbye. No, I, I, I don't want to touch the fish. 
How are you going to put on a fish glove if How you don't touch it? Put it on your hand. Can Wacko. someone put it on for me? All right, you'll put it on for him. No, what's up? What else is in there? There's other, there's another there's other fish. You want more fish, or you want to just to get this over with? If you if you don't do this, I'm going to make it worse. I'm going to make you lay down with fish and kiss them. Okay, so you yeah. said you said you were going to do the better fish too, and you're not doing it. Okay, he's letting you off easy. So how? If but I, he's off the show. If I'm telling you, you're off the show. If you don't do this, so you, you wasted my time can again. Can someone put the fish on me? Yeah. Yes. But how would it? No. How how would it stay on? With your hand. Your hand you will hold, hold it up. You gotta hold it up like that. It's fish factor. Roll up your sleeve and get it over with. Come on. And uh, can I wash my hands or come back in here? Yes. Just put your hand inside the fish. Now. Come on, Eric. Come well, five on. seconds? Five, five seconds. seconds. Can I put do it for two seconds? No. no. Five, five seconds. Five. This isn't meant let's make a deal. Just do it. Is there blood in there? Is it a no. It's a, f it's a fish. Just one? Yeah. One fish glove. One fish. Okay. It's a fish. I want him to overcome his fear and get the hell off this show. But for it good. is a fresh fish. All right, let's do it now. No, but there's no blood in there, right? No, I, it it's some fish. What do I know <laughs> what's in it there? Is it dripping, Eric, now? He's holding it right there. Okay. Can you do it? Like, put it upside down? Right, let me look inside. <laughs> Bring it to him so he can look inside, no, but no, don't no. taunt him with it. No. Let him get close. You got to get close to it. Take a look. No, not close. Not close. That's <laughs> right, a fish. It's been clean. For five seconds? Yeah. yeah. You make a fist and you put it in the fish. That's it. Five seconds. No blood. All right. Either you, your answer now because I have to go to news. He's doing uh, Look at uh -oh. him. The oh, sleeve oh, is getting rolled up. Hold on, hold on. Good man, Eric. There you get go. the fish closer to him so he can get no, accustomed no, to it. No, 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 no. Not closer. Not get closer. it closer. Can someone put it on and stay here? Are you going to do it right now? Right. Stay here. Stay no. It, it, right. you got to hold on to it and for five seconds. I'm just going to I have to hold him with the skin? Yep. You gotta what? hold on to it. Yeah. You gotta make sure it stays on your hand for five seconds. Can't wear gloves to hold this. No. No. Just get the thing on your hand. You are gonna be wearing gloves. A fish glove. <laughs> no, but I don't want to. You can use another no. fish can glove. Can I cut off it. my arm first? <laughs> You know what he can what use? What if I hold it up like this? Fine. Yeah, that's what you're supposed I, I don't to do. Have to hold it. I don't have to hold no, it. No, however you keep it on. You, you could use another fish glove to hold it. Like you're a champ. Do you want to put on a fish glove on your other hand so that you can hold no, that fish glove? No, no, no. Okay. Fish power. Oh, my God. Are you ready now, Eric, to overcome your fears or leave the show for good? So I don't have to hold the fish with this hand? No. no. But you got to keep it on like for five seconds. All right, here we go. Get it close to him so he can no, see it. Get him no. close to him. Get it close to him so he can see it. Am I ready? He needs to be nearer it. My knees are shaking right now. I know. Get him closer, Doug. Move in. Come on! All right, here he goes. No, hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez. No, 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 not closer. Okay, we get a little closer. Are get a little you ready, closer. Eric, or not? Doug, get closer. It's okay. Get closer. No, no. no. Okay, hold on. Get a little closer. <laughs> I think you're pushing too fast. No, no, no. Go a little closer, Doug. No. Show it to him. He needs to see it. He's got to overcome his fear. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> the fish is getting mad, Eric. KC? No, no, no. Do it. Get your put hand your in, there. in there. Put your fist in there, Eric. Look at it. No, look at. Look, take. Put, take a look in there. You just go ahead it's and time, go ahead Eric. Go, look. Look at that. And that's it. That's it. That's five it. Five seconds. seconds. No, two seconds. I five. said five. Well, the soon it'll be over. ten. Put All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to count to ten. If your hand isn't in that glove by the end of ten, you're oh. off this but, show. But they will put it in on for me, right? You're good. He's you holding it. Put your hand in. in there. Right. Put your hand wait, in. Wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, what are you looking at? Describe what's going on in there. Uh, so I'm just doing, making a fist to put it in. Yeah. Yes. As long as it's and on. I can wash my head to come back. Yeah. Fine. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. Put no. your fist in the fish, you fruit. Wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb fruit. No, what if I... Come on. What, what if I put my hand in the fish and it falls off? Then it, then it doesn't count. You gotta start then over. You gotta start over again. Can I put it on him? Can I put it on him? You can put it on him. Eric, hold your hand like that. Alright, like put that. the fish on. And when you hear wait, me count... When I count... Listen uh, so to me, Eric. When I count, when you hear the number five, you can let go of the fish. Just drop it? That's right. Yeah, right on right, that plastic. Make a fist. Just make a fist. On the plastic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna Overcome help. Overcome your Just fear, make a pal. fist right there, okay? There you go. You ready? <laughs> just, uh, what's Eric, the matter? What's going through your mind, Eric? Just no. stay. Just, just relax. Yeah, because they're pressuring me. Just relax, Eric. I'm gonna help. They're pressuring me. Do it. <laughs> no! They're pressuring me! <laughs> <laughs> Casey, no. Casey, stop. No, 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 no. They're pressuring me. All right, so you can't right, do it, so you can leave now. They're pressuring me. You didn't even count. Get the fish close to him. Let him see it, Doug. Let him see it. Let him see it close. Look at the eye. How about this? Close your eyes. Put your hand in the air. We'll count to five, and then we'll take it off, and you won't even never, you'll never even know it was on there. It would just feel like something cold. 
All right, we're done with you then. Right. All right, I think he's he's a pussy. He, well, he can't do it. Howard, he can't do it. He's not Howard, a man. Howard, You're not a man. Stop it. So if he calls Howard. in, Howard, so so we don't take his calls anymore either. No calls. Okay. No more so, to show. So five. As soon as I put out my hands, you can count to five. Go ahead. Start. All right, just do it. Can you put my hand in gently? Yeah. Oh yeah. Give me your hand. Gently. Gently. Okay, ready? Right, here we go. He's doing it. God, oh my God. Here it goes. <laughs> Get it in there. Get it, Get it in, in there, there so it stands there. No, it's not. Get it in on its own. All right. One, two, three, four, five. You did it. Your face disappeared. Now don't you feel like a man? Yeah. Let's see. Well, let me hear what he has to say. It felt kind of cold, and the bones felt fucking weird. Oh. Weird. <laughs> Don't use the F one. Sorry, man. <laughs> the bones what? It, it, dude, it felt weird inside. You did it, though. It felt weird. But you did it. Yeah. Now you can't. You don't have to be afraid of fish yeah. anymore. And by the way, I was just kidding. Get out. I don't want you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, you faced your fears, and now you won the right to sit in for the news. Can I wash my hands first? Go wash your hands. Yeah. Okay. Don't touch them. I'm proud of you. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That's too funny. No. Yeah. They're pressuring me! They're pressuring me! <laughs> now you have to wear sardine earrings for the news. <laughs> well, there you have it. Eric finally oh, he faced, his, faced fear. his fears. That was great. That was great. Uh, uh, next week, we should, we should have him, like, you know, line a better fish for, like, a... Uh, Hell, next week, I'm going to make him F a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, man, you just conquered your fears. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Are you a little grossed out? What? Are you a little grossed out? Kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, that wasn't so bad, Eric, was it? No. No, I did it. You seem, seem kind of grossed out. You seem like you're a little... I am. Look scared. at my hands. Why are your little hands? You going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I just need to wash my hands. All right. Hey, hey Josh. Josh. Woo! Wash your hands. What are you doing, man? I'm my hands. How long should I wash my hands for? So you get the smell off. Yeah, no problem. Okay, that's good. You got hurt by that fish, actually. You got you got hurt, caught by a dead fish. Yeah. Let me see. Right here. The effing fish. Bobby. I hope it's not going to be too long, buddy. Let me wipe it on you. What's going on? We'll make you look like you really got hurt. Look at that, man. Thank you. He got cut by the fish. He's all upset, so we'll, gonna, we'll fix him up. Well, the, fi well, the fish thing is over. I overcame my fear. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ronnie. That's Dr. Ronnie right there. Oh, here comes High Pitch Eric, who won the right to stay in oh, the... Oh, wonderful. His because tape on his hand. What is that? We were serious about this. Oh, did he get scratched by the fish? What happened to you? Cut myself. You cut yourself how? When Doug, when the case when Doug put the fish in my hand. Oh, get out of here! You can't get cut from a fish. It was bleeding. Let me see. Ro Ro Ronnie taped it up. It was bleeding. Ronnie taped it. Ronnie. Yeah. That's he fish blood. Doctor Ronnie. It's fish blood, silly. It's not your yeah, blood. Yeah, not your blood. So stupid. Bleeding. Yeah, I cut my myself. Oh, the bone! I felt the bone in the fish caught my hand. And maybe you'll be like Spider Man. You'll become Fish Man. <laughs> Hey, it was a really like the fish. I'm Aquaman. I'm Aqua <laughs> Eric. I'm not high pitch Eric. I'm Aqua Eric. <laughs> I, I, I overcame my fear. You did. Good for you. So can we bring a bunch of fish in here now? Sleep let's no. see. Let's go one step further. <laughs> let's get some fish, two fish gloves. There you go. Put a fish in your underwear. Now, you could do, no, yeah, not do now. it. Come on, you're not afraid of your fish new anymore. No, not now. Oh, How about putting one pussy. over your head? I come on, I overcame my fear just now. Man, your teeth are bleeding again. <laughs> no, they're not. Jeez. You know, eventually my plan is to have him living in an aquarium. He's going to be so comfortable <laughs> with fish. <laughs> He'll swim. He, he gave up walking. He just swims now. No. I <laughs> don't want to be in an aquarium. Wendy the retard, you're on the air. Hello. Hello, how? Yes, Wendy. What is this? Fellow problem uh, with fish. I've been, I've been, I've been fishing ever since I was born with my dad, and I don't understand why is he scared of fish. I'm not even scared of fish. I've been fishing for quite some time, and I am not scared of fish. Well, Eric, do you want to talk to her? Well, Andy, the reason I'm scared of fish because of the way they look on the outside. Come on, you can't be scared of a little fish. 
I am. I'm crying out loud. The fish is dead. No, I'm still. I'm scared of dead fish. I'm not. Well, that's you. Then I'm not. You. If Howard, if if I was on Howard Stern show right now, um, I if Howard Stern um bribed me with a thousand dollars, I would do it. Oh, I love this. <laughs> this is great. Now you need to quit to being me. scared of dead fish because I've been, I've been handling. Um, I saw a dead bird, a dead bird in my yard yesterday, and I handle it with my bare hands and bury it. And I'm not scared of anything that's dead. Well, go ahead, and answer her. Well, I overcame my fear of dead fish today. Could you, could you have handled that dead bird? Yes. Well, I'd be. Well, I don't have to. I live in an apartment building. Can you handle a dead kitten? Wendy, I gotta go. I'm learning way much about high pitch arc. I found out that high pitch arc eats sushi. <laughs> what? I, I eat sushi, Robin. But you hate fish. But you can't see the outside of the skin. Like the really? eyes, the mouth. I love sushi. Hmm. Who knew? <laughs> thought I'd share it with you. I realize he told me that in private, but I don't think he minds. Yeah, he might start that. screaming at you. Not my private life. <laughs> I have a private life about my sushi. My personal business on Just here. don't say what kind of car I drive. No, but oh. sushi I love. I I always order 24 pieces of sushi. Oh. Always. 24. Yep. Why 24? Because it doesn't fill me up. And if I have sushi this afternoon, I don't have to eat till tomorrow. You have sushi or you have the rolls? The sushi rolls. Oh, the rolls with the roll of rice. Yeah. Oh, okay. But if you eat 24, you don't have to eat until tomorrow? Right, because the sushi fills me up. Okay. All right. <laughs> See, isn't he a fascinating wow. guy? <laughs> the, the 24 pieces of sushi with rice fills him up. <laughs> you know that's not a drop in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it, right. Fills him up for that minute. <laughs> he says he won't eat till the next day. The rice expands in my giant belly. Yeah. Oh, I have the sushi after I leave from here. I eat some sushi, then I go home and have some tushy. <laughs> no, you want to know what I'm going to have? Tushy. Spicy salmon and spicy tuna. Aww. Yeah. For where at McDonald's? No, a sushi place by where I live. See, that's the new McDonald's sushi. <laughs> would, you trust tuna, that? Please. would you trust the sushi place he goes to? No. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It ain't no boo he's going to. Yeah. Did you know that sushi is fish? <laughs> it's raw fish. Raw fish? With rice. Rice? But I can't see the skin. I don't see the skin. Robin. <laughs> I don't see the eyes and the mouth. Oh. I don't see the eyes and the mouth. I never freak out over sushi. Sushi yeah. can't hurt me. Would you wear sushi gloves? If so, I can make sushi gloves. All right. All right. All Hi, right. Pitch Eric. You, Eric. You're definitely welcome back on the show. You did your gloves. You, you wore them like a man, and I'm proud of you. And you should be proud of yourself. I am. Hey, uh, there's a, a craptacular tomorrow. Joey Boots Ooh. and High Pitch Eric. That's, that's tomorrow. That's starting up? Yeah, that starts tomorrow, so you can be listening. We'll get updates mm -hmm. and stuff. They, I guess they Is guys... it 24 hours, the craptacular? Yeah, right, guys? Joey Boots and High Pitch Eric yeah. on the phone. Hey, Howard, good morning. Good morning, Howard. 24 hours, right, guys? That's, that's right, right, Howard. Starting tomorrow at 6 a.m. till Thursday, 6 a.m. Yeah, and by the way, you know, pace yourself, you know. You guys are, like, if you just start stuffing yourself, you're going to drop dead of a heart attack. No, we got to start eating today. Yeah, Howard, you said you were supposed to food for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so how's that going to work out when we got to start eating today? I don't know. You know, I'm so not involved in the craptacular. Like, I know that, uh, of course... What are they saying? We should be helping them prime the pump now? Uh, Hell yeah, Robin. Oh, okay. That's exactly what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I don't know how much thought has gone into the craptacular. Like, maybe we should start feeding you guys a month ago. Listen to what they're saying. They want us to... Give them money to buy stuff they're going to shit out tomorrow. Right. <laughs> right. I, I, well, listen, you guys, listen, you know what? I hate to say this, but I agree with these two guys. It's, technically, it's, it's the budget. <laughs> That's it true. It's the budget. But anyway, they may be on to today, Howard. I'll have Tim Sabian talk to you guys. <laughs> He's going to have to carry it over to my house. You know, what, though, though, you know what, Joey? In a way, though, I'm a little kind of turned off to the contest, only from the standpoint that I wanted you guys to just eat your regular food. And then I would have weighed how much tur like in other words, if you guys are just gonna eat gross amounts, it's like uh I wasn't kinda interested in that. I was just kinda interested in what no, this is like high pitch and jo and Joey eat every day and what goes on. I right. mean, think of it like Beth running the marathon and she has to load up on carbs. 
No, no, no. no. Not the same thing. The after sh- the yeah, it's the same thing. It's a sporting event, and you got to load up on food. No, but you no, see- Joey, Joey, it's not. You're missing the point of the contest. Right. Since I'm the originator of the contest. I was just curious that you guys are so fat. I go, I wonder like how much a turd of theirs weighs. An average shit, you think? Yeah, I mean, this is an average. I just well, Howard, you're saying you dropped the ball. Then you, you should have been more hands-on involved. Yeah, I should have been because it's like I'm just kind of curious, like with what you like. You guys are 300 something pounds a piece. You got to be eating quite a bit of food already. You don't need to eat extra. Look, I'd get into this if I wasn't so no, grossed out by it. No, you don't need massive, to eat extra. Massive quantities of shit equals funny. No, not necessarily. It's just kind of interesting to see how, how much... I think so when Julie has to weigh it. Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I, I Something tells me you guys shit plenty. Like, you guys are just trying to... They're getting free meals. Yeah. Right? Who's got the radio on back there? I have a TV on. Turn it off, Eric. Right, hold on. I'm watching about the stock market. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're so much I'm so on. <laughs> you're, wa- you're watching the stock market? <laughs> yeah. What do you have in the stock market? I was just watching how the stock market's doing. He's Where's it very going? Interested. Going down. <laughs> That's going where I'm going tomorrow when the shit up. That's um, that crack whore who blew me. I just watched him, you know, who to vote for president. Who are you going to vote for? Barack Obama because he wants to extend the unemployment. What? <laughs> he wants to extend unemployment. <laughs> he's vote That's for why he's voting Barack Obama. Yep, and he knows what he's talking about. He has to watch the debate. And not only that, you know what he wants to do? He wants to take money from people who like have jobs and give it to you. No, but he wants to lower the taxes. That's too. all right. No, he wants to. He wants to. Yeah, he wants to, anybody who works really hard. He wants not to, anybody, just you people that make over two hundred fifty thousand a year. Right. He's going to tax the shit out of us. So, so that we can make sure that you guys get a lot of money. So we'll have no money, and the yeah. country will have its first black let me, president. Let me thank you in advance. And I'll have its first black. <laughs> what? I'm pretty excited let about me that. Thank you in I'm advance. Pretty excited You're thanking us about that redistribution of wealth that Obama's all about. Thank you very much, Robin, Fred, <laughs> Howard. You're welcome. Marty, thank you. Yeah, no problem. How? So how is this going to work out with the food for you know, tomorrow? Uh. Yeah, we need to, we need to, let's make a decision right now, Howard. All right, here's what I want you guys to do. I would like you to eat your normal food, which is, by the way, an abnormal amount of food. And we'll pay for it. Um, no, I don't, listen. Thank I you, Arnie. I just want them to right. eat their normal amount of food. But I think they already okay, have we scheduled. Eat a lot of food. And, Joey, and be then, quiet and then for Joey, a second. And Joey, don't listen to Artie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have... But, Howard, I think I heard in the planning they already have plans to take them to an all-you-can-eat buffet tonight right. or something. That's fine. They can go to the buffet, See? but as far as uh, now sitting this morning and eating, like, absurd amounts of food, that's not what this is about. Mm-hmm. But we need money to go to the all-you-can-eat buffet because they've well, been the, I think, for a few days. But I think that um, whatever Tim has planned is what you guys should do. Well, Tim, give us a call, damn it. Uh, is, is, it, is Tim on this thing? Yeah, I, I believe so. Dealing with these two, who's who's got the who's breathing like they're sucking for air? You hear it? The hyper No, it's not me. Oh, is that you, Joey? That's Eric. No, it's not. No, it's Joey. Who I just took Joey. that breath, Joey? Yeah, Joey, Joey, boy, you got to lose some weight, dude. Shut up, Joe. When's the last time you had gay sex? Uh, like three weeks ago. Really? really? With who? Well, well I, I'm fascinated by that. Like, uh, just some dude I met on the internet. You blow him, or you? you well, how? What happened? Uh, he blew me. And that's it? Yeah, that's all. We didn't do much more. How come you don't get together some more? Because it was just a one-time thing. He lives out of state. Lives in Jersey. When you say you guys met on the internet, was it like a dating service, or are you like on Craigslist, like uh, be he here in three be hours? A little instant messenger. He's a fan of the show. He's from Jersey. Ah, what a shame. Uh, do you get, like, really scrubbed up down there for that, or, uh, like, how does that work? What do you mean, do I get scrubbed up? I mean, a guy's going to blow you. Do you, like, yeah, wash? Yeah, shower beforehand. Uh, it cleans up. Right. Now, what kind of guy do you like, Joey? Is he, uh... I like, twink? I like, I like young, cute guys. Twinks? Twinks, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Twinks. There's, there's no, there's nothing to the rumor that it was Teddy, my former assistant. No, I like, I like, you know, Kevin, Kevin Kraft. I like him. That's yeah. your type. He was, like, he was literally. I really like Greg Carmel. He was sexually harassing Kevin Kraft to the point where we had to ask Joey to stop. Do you swallow when you blow a dude? Yeah, I have, yeah. No. <laughs> That'll help the crap come out of you. <laughs> Did you know that Howard has some nice surfaces in his place? <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to it. I guess it, it kicks off at 6 a.m., and we'll be checking in on the weigh-ins and stuff. Right. And Joe. Jody. I, be I believe Joey Boots will win. Really? Don't I have a bet on him? Yeah, you have $200 on me, Howard. Yeah. Did I bet somebody? I bet. Then I have Eric. Yeah, All right. Right, I have the bet with you. Robin's got two hundred bucks on me too. Right, I think you took it with all of us, Artie. Yeah, Hi, Artie. Let me ask a question. I'm the book here, Eric. Artie, let me ask a question. What? Since I'm supposed to be serious, will you can we do after the show? So give me money for no. You? So I can get the food. No. Yeah, we need to, Artie. We need to go to no. the tonight. Yeah, I don't want you guys eating anything I can't out do of the it. ordinary. Howard's orders. I can't give you money. Come just on. Eat, just eat your usual amount. You don't have enough money for a fucking one buffet and a, a no, wedding? Come, come and check the eight till the first. What's going on, Gary? Um, it's what the craptacular tomorrow starts at seven. Right. We figured we'd interview him for an hour, and then the next day we'd have an hour right to the end. Okay. In case you know we wanted to hear any live are, crap. Are you, and, is anyone taking these guys to the Chinese buffet? You know, t Tim's handling right, that. Tim's going to get in touch with you. Guys. Guys. Would you have We're to going to the one. It's right next to Dominic's office, baby. He can go with us. Yeah, tell Tim to handle these. I will. Two. Can I, Eric? Can I ask you one question before you hang up? Yeah. Um, are you going to do that other event I asked you to do? Yeah, I'll call you after the show. No, but are you going to do it? Um, I, I can't think of that during the show. No, no, no. You, I gave you the whole weekend to think about it. Uh, probably not. <sighs> He's not going for five thousand bucks. Nope. I, wow. I saw him outside right after our meeting last week. He goes, give me the, let me think about it. Then I spoke to him on Thursday. He goes, give me the weekend. We have this bit going. We got 5000 bucks mm. from a sponsor. I offered it to High Pitch Eric. Yeah. I'll do it. Listen to this, Joey. So we said to him, it's called the Wheel of Panic. Panic. Mm. Okay, now here's the bit. <laughs> Artie's already left. High Pitch Eric <laughs> comes in. He spins a wheel. Everything on the wheel has to do with fish, which he has a fear of. Yes. Like, if he, it might fall on just touch a fish. It might fall on, hey, you don't have to do anything. Well, we had like a. It might fall on. Fuck a fish. It's all clothing. So it's fish shoes, right. fish suit, fish mittens, right. uh, fish scarf. So he might have to put on a fish scarf or fish pants. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, whatever it lands on, he'd have to do. And he gets five thousand dollars but he'd only have to do one of these things well no it was each one is a thousand. Oh, okay. yeah. so he could spin it five times he and if spin, he just he can spin the wheel five times put on his fish pants his fish shoes fish mittens now, here's your guy's got no money he's back in he's behind in his rent like almost two thousand right. dollars already he's got all kind of problems legal and otherwise this could clear up the whole rent deal and he won't do it right eric That's a, no i won't what eric, wrong you're with stupid you? man no, I just want to get the crap tackle over. Eric, you're stupid. Five thousand dollars? No, I don't. No, I'm not going to do it, Joey. But it's free money, Eric. Free I know, Gary. But you know, I, I just have to fear a fish. I'm not going to do it. But this Eric, is you're this, how many felonies you got to commit for five grand? Just wait a second. You got a fear of fish, right? Do you know where it comes from? The ocean. No, I mean, uh. do you know where? <laughs> do, you know where <laughs> do you know where your fear of fish comes from? Did something happen to you with fish? So you had a fish tank in your room, and there were dead fish in there, <laughs> and that's why you can't touch fish or... I don't like to look at dead fish. It upsets you. Yeah. Because your parents made you sleep in a room with dead fish. They made me sleep in the room where the fish tank was. Because the fish tank was in my room. Would it be better if, if I did this with live fish? No. Oh, so don't what, do that I don't live know, so fish. How long did the fish lay in the fish tank dead? Was it for, like, weeks? I just, because when they, I, I, I told them to take it out, and I didn't do it. And they left the dead fish in there for forever. <laughs> oh, no, because when I came back into my room, I... The, the dead fish were gone. I didn't take them out. All right, so your parents cleaned out the dead fish? Yeah. So then you, you weren't there with the dead fish for a long time. No, but I just hate the, the look of them. Right. Sure. Makes, love you. He makes it sound like his parents left the corpse in his room. Like it's a dead fish. And, I don't know. It freaked him out. What? have a fish tank in the room. What? Uh, how, how old do you think Eric was when his parents realized, oh, my God. He's an idiot. <laughs> like, probably, probably by the time he was five. I would say yeah. five. I would say like hey, at five Eric, years old, you see a kid that's obese and Eric, weird. were you always fat? Uh, as a kid, yeah. Yeah. And like, did you, were you always sort of like retarded? Oh, uh, I was in specialized classes, yeah. 
Like, what did your parents start to realize? Like, there was no way you were going to be a success. Shut up, Sadie. What? The news that daddy's in the crap tank again. Phone. Do the fish thing, you stupid. Oh, get out of here. Get out. Do the fucking fish thing. I'm on the phone. I know you were. I talked to Howard. No, hold on. Do the fucking fish thing. I'm on the fucking phone. I know you were. Come on, we're going to do it. I'll take you back. Go. Go. Who is that? That was her neighbor. Did your neighbor just burst into your apartment? No, I just, he knocked on my door. And you opened it? Yeah. He's a friend of me, me and Joe. Mine and Joey's. And he just walks in and starts yelling at you like No, he knocked on my door. I opened it. Shut up! And I got the dog all upset. Hey, yeah. The dog's pretty good. Gets protective. Hey, who's the, um, who, you're at the boarding house, the flop house out? Yeah. And that's your neighbor? Yeah, that's that's my, that's my neighbor, Rogby. <laughs> Robbie? Robbie. No, Robbie is good people. Oh, I thought you said rob me. <laughs> he has a serious radio? Yeah. <laughs> In the flop house? Does anyone yeah. with a job out there, are you ashamed of yourself for not having serious at this point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These two guys have yeah. serious satellite radio. Well, at least we give it to Eric. The other guy's paying for it. Right. Yeah. All right. You know, Artie, fish thing. Artie brings up a good point, though, Howard. Like, when you have kids and stuff... Your kids start playing around. Like, at five years old, you start to see who the weird kid is. Yeah, you know when they're off. Right. And Eric, you could see Eric was off at an early age. But don't you deny it for a while. Don't well, you try to tell yourself. Well, I haven't had that issue with my kid. Right. But, I see, yeah, with other kids, you start, the parents start to talk and you go, when like. You were, when, you were, when you were little, did the other parents, like, not want you to come over to the house and stuff? No, that never happened. Never? No. Did you have a lot of friends? Yeah. And really? Then you, and then as you got older, your friends started dwindling, right? No. <laughs> nah, Where are your that. friends now? We never see any friends. Yeah, Rodney. Yeah, Rodney. Yeah, Rodney's my friend. I have a lot. Of, yeah, I got friends. Mm -hmm. Do you have a hey, big, I, I'd love to see a picture of him at like eight years old. <laughs> yeah. Eric was never bar mitzvahed. Why he is that? Wasn't? Eric, no, I, I never wanted to go to Hebrew school. Because you weren't bright enough to learn Hebrew, right? Right. So that, that's the hardest language ever. <laughs> <laughs> Parents probably gave up. They're like, "Wow." Yeah, if you're given up by 13, it means you're really given up. Right. Like yeah. at 13, they said, "Just, just leave them alone." Do you have brothers and sisters, Eric? I have a sister. Were they bar mitzvahed? No. No. Is your Are sister... they older or younger? She's a little. She's a little younger than I am. Is she hot or is she mess like you? Uh, I could say this. She's kind of hot. Yeah. Yeah. Ew, Eric, you said your sister's hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see her on Thanksgiving. I'll take a picture of her so you can see her. All right, that would be kind of fun. I'm sure she looks forward to Thanksgiving. And maybe bring in some pictures of yourself when you were younger. If I can find them. So, Eric, no chance that you change your mind on the fish thing, because it's coming off the table. Five grand coming no. off the table today. No. Free money. No. All right, fair enough. Wow. All right, he's out. No wheel of panic for you. So... So listen, so it's Tim. Right, yeah, Tim is going to get in touch with you guys. Tim, please call these guys so they know what's going on for the crowd. Yeah, Tim, please. Give us a call. We need All money right. for the food tonight. All right, thank and you. We need money for food tomorrow. No, don't eat anything special. Mm. Just... See, I don't think that's right, Howard. I really don't. Eat your normal food. Just trust me. You guys... what I ate last year. Because there's nothing, there's nothing spectacular about that then. Just normal shit. Tim, are you going to deal with these two guys, or do I have to sit here on the air for the next hour and deal with this? No, we had to, we were our plan was to bring food with us tomorrow. Good, and have them eat all day. Yeah, I don't need them eating the, uh, right uh, t tonight. Right. What about the Chinese where you can eat buffet tonight? You want to take them to that? We'll, we'll take them if you, yeah, if you want to. But we our plan was so they didn't overeat themselves and eat themselves into a frenzy. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, I'm afraid you guys are going to make yourself sick. I don't okay, want but that. just the buffet tonight. No, because you're going to eat too much. No, we won't. Yes, you are. No, I, listen, I'll eat the normal amount I eat when I go to the buffet. What do you eat at the buffet? I eat the crab legs. I love the crab legs. I, I don't eat the crab legs because they're too hard to break for me. That slows you down. <laughs> <laughs> it takes too much time breaking those crab legs. Yeah. Well, Tim is going to decide. He'll get in touch well, with you. I mean, Thomas later. can take us out to the buffet. All right, I'm done with these two guys. Go take care. I, 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 go ahead and deal with them, okay? What do you say? Bobby's father can take us to... <laughs> Rodney's father. Do the fish thing. Do the fish thing. Five grand a guy turns down because he can't wear his fish. Unbelievable. We were going to make him fish pants. <laughs> Just add up all fish heads. Fish jacket. <laughs>
fish jacket. Fish hat. We had fish, fish hat. gloves. Can you imagine him trying to like get the fish thing off him in that the one bathroom no. they share at the flop uh, house. Like you imagine him spinning the wheel and it, like it's, you have to wear a fish shirt. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. No, Kenji. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. Craptacular tomorrow. Thank you. All right, Sal. let me let me, uh, let me get to high pitch Eric Gant. now. <laughs> Hi, Pitch Eric. Uh, the other day called in. He told me that he got a blowjob from a woman. I didn't even believe it. We talked to her on the phone. Yeah, but she's a crack whore. She says it. And uh, I guess Eric gave her a couple of bucks, and uh, they said they'd come down here and we could meet her. Did she say she was a crack whore? Howard? I don't know. I, I think that's what she, she implied. I don't know. I think Eric said it. Eric said it, yeah. Hi. Oh, hey, baby. How you doing? Come on in. This is, uh, what name are we using, Paulette? Hi, Paulette. And Eric. Heartbreaking. What a nice couple. Paulette, uh, you seem like a lovely lady. I, I felt felt bad for you. Hi, Eric. How are Hi. you? Let's get some headphones on, Eric. Okay, there we go. He's got a microphone. You guys met because you live in the same building. Is that correct, Paulette? No, correct. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Paulette, you look like a lovely lady, and I felt bad for you the other day when I heard that you had to blow high pitch, Eric. It was. Uh, it seemed like a big chore. What did she get for it? I forget. Yeah, what did you get for it again? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Forty dollars. <laughs> and Eric, where did you get forty dollars? When I was working. <laughs> when you were working, you got the forty dollars. Yeah. And how did this transaction come about? Paulette would be in the hall. No, no, I, no, no. No, I moved in. Yeah. Then, yeah. then she asked you, why, why? Why are you moving into the building? Right. And why would she ask you that? Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> why did you ask him? Because I want to know who is moving into the floor. Why is he moving into the floor? I, he said he moved from a, a building we we have on 40-something street to this uh, floor. On 44th, 45th. It's like uh, flop houses, right? Yeah, there are a few buildings. So he was living in one on 40-something, and he moved into the one. When, when you first saw Eric, were you attracted to him right away? Did you find him handsome? I just wanted to know whether he wanted his dick sucked. That's all I was interested in. I see. So How do you approach him and ask him that? <laughs> I just say hello. You just said hello. She and... said hello to me. And then one night, she said, you know, like the same night I moved in, she <laughs> asked if I wanted to have some fun. Right. Yeah. And I said, yeah, why not? Sure. And what if she wanted to play Scrabble? Now, when you look at him, like, I notice, I look at Eric, and I don't mean to put Eric down here, but, like, I even see, like, his gums are bleeding, his teeth are oh, now Jesus. covered in blood while I'm talking to oh, him and stuff. God. He's, he's, yeah, he's not in real good health, is he? Uh, you have to ask him that question, but yeah. I think his dick was fine. His dick worked fine. Not, How long did it, it take? Not sick. So that no. night... I, I, was, I, I would say that it took me about maybe two or three seconds to come after she did it. Wow, you're very good at it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. Where did you learn this uh, technique of I yours? guess I practice. You do. Yeah. Uh, I, have you blown a lot of guys for 40 bucks? Not quite. Right. Where do you meet most of the, Is that your profession? Well, I had a boyfriend already. You did. So I spent a lot of time with him and I practiced right. that. And, and where do you... Uh, are you a prostitute? No, no. I stay home. I sleep a lot. You're no. not a prostitute. Well, why with what, Eric are, did you accept money? Well, you have to do what you got to do, and you have to survive. Because right. things are a little bit tight right now. Are you into drugs at all? Are you into no, crack? I or? No, no, I drink beer. You drink beer? Because I, I thought for some reason you were into crack or something. No. Nah. Not at all? No. All right, that's good. Okay, I stand corrected. I thought maybe you were a crack whore. Oh, no, no, no. She yeah. looks way too healthy. I, I, I'm being a uh, real here. She's way too really? healthy for a crack I wouldn't whore. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, no, 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 no. I just don't know what a crack whore might look like. I, well, some, I don't know myself. <laughs> are, are there other people in the building whose penises you've sucked on? No. He was the first one that took you up on it. Yeah, I slapped it around. Yeah. So, uh, what drove you to this? Why did you need $40 so bad? Are you out of uh, work? I, it's to, yeah, I'm out of work. And um, the pressure of rent. The pressure. What? I have to. I have to complete my 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 business first. You know, rent. Yes. My bills. Yes. Sure, you've got bills yeah. to pay, and right. uh, why not? Right. I right. And there's nobody in my life right now. No one. Right. Uh, how much is the rent over where you guys are? Well, I've been there 13 years. Uh huh. So, what do you pay for a month of rent? 400. 400. So that ain't easy to make when you're not working. No, I don't even see that money. Everybody says it's nothing. But I don't even see it. No, that's a lot of money. That's like I 10 think BJs. It is a lot. That's 10 blowjobs. <laughs> Let's think about it. Especially when it comes. <laughs> now, when. <laughs> You okay? me. You've got a bit of a cold or something? No, I smoke a lot of cigarettes. Too. You do, I see. You have a They're expensive cold. as well. I know. I know. If you <laughs> stop smoking cigarettes, you no, probably I would have... stop smoking tobacco. You would never stop. You love it. You love yeah. it? Yeah. 
All right. Well, let me let me understand what's going on now in this romance. Have you guys hooked up since the initial blowjob? Well, we did it again a second time. Forty dollars, yeah. same yeah. price. Yeah. How did you like it the second time? It, it was the same. I mean, how adorable. She was played with it and sucked it, and it was good. When you say played with it, what did she do to it? I fondled a little. Really? Yeah. And she, you, she really admired. Her. I have to ask this question, Eric. I don't mean to embarrass you, but did you find him smelly down there? No, no, no. He, he smelled good. Yeah. He did. And when you say fondled, he, she, he, she tickled your balls? Yeah. And, wow. Look at the romance. Now, is he there. wearing a condom when you do this? No. No. That's why, that's why he came <laughs> all over our face. Oh. Ah, I see. Now, aren't you worried that Eric could have a disease? No, no. And, and Eric, aren't you worried that Paulette might have a disease? Oh, uh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> no, you're not. You feel she's clean and uh, you're not going to get any disease. Right. It? Eric doesn't that's look it. like he has a disease. You get thin. Eric is clean. No. <laughs> he takes a lot of showers. He right. bathes every morning. Eric Eric, does she do it as well as a guy or or? Uh, Jeez, I thought oh, come on. What's better, a guy or a girl? <laughs> she was. She was better. Thank you. Okay, good. Howard, I asked her if she wanted to go on the Sibian. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jeez. Do you have? Does he have the smallest penis you've ever had in your mouth? Uh uh. It, it wasn't. It's short. It's short and fat. Yes. Okay. It now, wasn't big. It was. was <laughs> when she first thought it, it was small. Right. Right. And then it got so big after she. Played with it. That's did you? Happened. Do you guys? Did you? Yeah, that's what usually happens. Do you find Eric to be somewhat dim-witted? Do you find him to be slow at all? Well, he's a little bit slow. Right. That doesn't bother you. No. Is it hard to have conversation with him? Well, he haven't spoken to me after. I don't know what happened, but he never spoke to me again. Not until he said he wanted to take me on your show. I see. After High Pitch Eric finishes, after he comes, right. does he just get right out of the room? It's done? No, he relaxed a bit. Does he want to talk? Does he talk a lot to you? Well, yeah, he relaxed. And, uh, tell me about yourself. Did he tell you his problems? I know he no, has No, many. no, no. He just, he, he just um, was relaxed and think it was cozy in my place. Do you think it day could come when you would give him a free blow job in other words where you might actually fall in love with like him. like you two would hook up right like fall in love right you might fall in How, love with him this question, if that ever happens again do you would you want to film it we're just friends here. would i want to film it sure i'd film Jesus are you two Christ. doing that why not the high pitch eric sex tape no, I, I don't know if we we're i don't know if we could do that on excuse me i got to, what's going on over there are you dying sound like henry hill <laughs> you know what i, I think I'm I'd, like sorry. To, I'd like to film the pillow talk like uh, so I'm stressed. I got this crapathon coming up. <laughs> no, the thing is, he after dinner with his mom, I think he just stopped by. He dressed nicely. He had a nice white shirt on, a nice right. black pants. So he just came from dinner, and he would stop and see me. Right. Well, let me tell you. This would you like her for a girlfriend, Eric? I don't know. I mean, you know, just for fun. Eric just for fun. How much is it to be his girlfriend? Was it eighty dollars for that? <laughs> will you ever have intercourse with him? Do you know what intercourse is? Yeah, sex. Yeah, what the actual sex. The right. actual putting the penis inside, inside the vagina. The thing, thing, thing. Yeah. Would you ever do that with him? Why should I? What about for like 80 bucks? No. 100 bucks? No. There's no, no price for that, huh? Blowjob, you don't care. You but... don't go around running. Right, I don't care for, for head. Right. The head is not a sex act to you in a way. It's fun. It's, it's a fun. game. Okay, it's a game. Play. All right, but when you put it inside a woman, it's got to be Jesus for, Christ. For no. love, yes. Jesus Christ. Eric, were you, were you hoping that you could have intercourse with her? You could fuck her? Were you hoping? Well, <laughs> not, not, not when I first met her. Right, you now it, you are thinking about it. But now you're it. thinking about it. Oh, you want to see her? Give me your hand drops, see how hard it is. Jesus Christ. I don't really want to see that, no. I don't want to see that. You know? Would you give him a hand job right now? I think... <laughs> When you blow, you said you're unemployed. <laughs> oh, when there's you, no money. Yeah, when you blow, <laughs> I'll pay you for it. I'll pay for his hand. Oh shit, that's funny. <laughs> when you blow him, do you get fully nude? Oh uh, no, no. You keep your clothes on. Yeah. You don't even play with her boobs or anything. No, you can't. No touching. No touching. No touching. There are rules involved. Yeah. So you said to him ahead of time, forty dollars, I'll blow you, but I don't want you to touch right. me. Right. Why don't you want him to touch your breasts? Uh, if he wants, he's got a tip. Yeah, no. no, no not, you're not yeah. into that. Uh, is there any kissing that goes on? Uh, You've never kissed Hyper no, Shark. No, no, no. So you have strict rules. You, he can put his cock in your mouth. Right. And come, Does he, but no touching. No touching. He, you made him pull out, though. He says he came all over your face. Right. So you don't swallow this stuff. Uh, mm. That's not for you. Mm -mm. Right. Eric, did you just try to shoot it off into her mouth? And not even <laughs> no, it just went to all over her face. I thought it was done. Right. No, it's funny. And when it was, it was funny when it was all over your face? 
Oh, it's fine. It was fine. It was, like it. It was a money shot. And how, and how do you get the, the, the jism off of your face? What By you water. Do? Water. You go over the sink, you wash up afterwards, and, uh, and, and no harm, yeah. no foul. You know what's a great way to make some extra money for you is after he comes on your face, if you could learn how to do some mime. Because you'd have, you'd have a white face for mime. You can make a lot of money doing that. Yeah, a lot of people, all they have to do is stand still yeah. once they get that. <laughs> and, you're not, and you're not racist at all. You don't mind that he's a white guy. No. That's not a big deal no, to no. you. Where are you from? What country? I'm from the Caribbean. The Caribbean. And do you like it here better? In the United States of America? I like both. You like both places. I don't know if this is the American dream. I, you can say that again. Yeah. That's not the American dream. I did come here for that. When you came here, did you, think, did you think things were going to be different? I mean, now you're blowing high pitch, Eric. I, mean, I know, I know. But I have experience good living here already. And that's where I am right now. So. How old were you when you came over here from the Caribbean? 18. 18. And what did you do? What, what, was, your, what was your goal? I was running around working for the little fast food joints. I see. So you worked at fast food restaurants. Hoping for the American dream, maybe meet yeah, a good man. Yeah, and I did meet a good man. What Headed happened? to a ranch. He on his own business. He And what happened to him? Well, he left the house because he trashed his father, who took him off the wheel, and moved out of uh, the house. You lost your man? Well, no, I still correspond. We're still in contact. I see. Well, I'm not sure I follow that whole I story. I don't know what happened. Well, yeah. right. I want to marry her. Right. He so, did. So now you're on your own, and yeah. to make ends meet, occasionally you'll blow a high pitch, Eric. A bit, yeah. Right. Well, I, haven't, makes... I haven't blown Eric in like maybe going in a month now. Right. Because when he came in, I did it. Eric, you miss it, right? You wish you had I more do. money. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. would like it every day, wouldn't you? I wish. Yeah, you wish you could have it every day. Well, Eric, I'm, I'm excited for you that you have a romance going in a sense. <laughs> it seems like the two of you are hitting it off. It's starting. You're starting to become a couple. She was very shy. Yes. To, she was very shy to come up here at first. Is that right? Yeah. I really weren't interested at all. I'm not here to publicize that I go around sucking nobody's dick. I see. Whatever. You I know see. what I'm saying? Right. I bet she gives a great blowjob. I do. Trust me. You oh, do. Oh, I almost oh, want to do it. Oh, you want one from her? I'm single. Oh. I can do it. <laughs> have you? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, have you masturbated to her, Eric? No. You have not. No. Who do you, you think about when you masturbate? I think he's about me or us. <laughs> <laughs> You're thin, Howard. Probably you. Yeah. What do you think about when you masturbate, Eric? No, well, she's like lately, like I just masturbated to get another blowjob from her, but I can't. Right, because you don't have the money. Right. Do you think of her blowing you? Do you ever feel bad for Eric and say, you know what? Maybe I'll give him a free blowjob. No. no. You want to do it for the show, like on camera? Why would she do that, Eric? <laughs> don't you dare give him a free blowjob, sweetie. No, you stick to your guns there. Right. She ain't going to be blowing that thing for free. Yeah. Maybe for your birthday. When's your birthday? April. April. Do you think in April you might give him a free one? I don't think I run around doing this. Yeah. Do you brush yeah. your teeth immediately afterwards? Do you go and you get mouthwash? And... Uh, you have Listerine. You rinse out. Of course you have to rinse out. Yes, of course. Well, <laughs> of course. You're so, tr you're so right. <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you know this. High Pitch Eric will be bartending. Really? At Jordan's Bar and Grill at Levy's Comedy Club this Friday through <laughs> Sunday during the Killers of Comedy and Show. And Double A and Irish John will be there. And let's hope you get paid for that, and let's hope it leads to more romance Yeah, for maybe you. you'll come home and... And you can check out Eric's Voila. Internet Radio Show at syndicated ra Syndicate Radio dot TV. Syndicate Radio dot TV. And Zola, Zola, too. <laughs> Zola is on there as well. Yep. Zola. That's very nice. You know what I'm going to do for you, too, because I like the two of you? I'm going to... I have $500. I'm going to let you split it. Each get two fifty. How would you like that? That's fine. Thank That's you. fine. Would that be nice? Thank it's you. All right. I'm just, what do you I mean? It's just all right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. You don't have to suck anything up here, sweetie. I know that. Do you want to go in the Sibian? For what? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Eric, don't be dumb. You sit on it and it vibrates your vagina. Oh well, why would I want to do that here? Oh, you might feel know. good if you do it. You might like it. Eric's but these right. are toys. These things. Yeah, you sit on it. It's like a button. Try it. Come on. Show it to her. No, no, why you want to show me? I'm not going to sit on that. You're not. Who's going to watch me? No, I'll please. watch you. Oh, come on. You, come on. You'll be famous if you Why go. don't you go do your Twilly on there? I prefer a jacuzzi. A jacuzzi. <laughs> you masturbate in the jacuzzi? Yeah, well, the water pumps it. It massages it. I see. Well, Eric, show her how to do it. Sit on the oh. Sibian and yeah, get Yeah, go show me. <laughs> Who's going to buy the new Sibian? You've won $500 cash courtesy of IFC's new comedy series, Z-Rock. Rock Band by Night, Kids Band by Day. Z-Rock airs Sundays at 11.30 Eastern and Pacific, only on IFC. That's the Sibian right there. Right there's the Sibian. Come on. That's a Simeon getting a Sibian. 
Is that a lover's quarrel we're hearing, Robin says? <laughs> yes. Go on there. You feel so good if you, after you do it. You, and he'll stand behind you so you're you don't gonna, fall. You're going to release a, a, an orgasm, don't you? No, you do it. That's for females. Yeah, but she comes. Yeah, you'll come from it. Right, so why would I want to do that so, here? So I'm not good. doing that. You're a decent lady is what you're <laughs> really saying. That's... What fast food restaurant you work at? I worked at um, um, McDonald's. Oh. I worked for the, um, what are they? The donut shop, Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, no. Then I moved to Citibank. Then after Citibank, I moved, I had a bar, a BMW bar oh. on 21st Street, which I run, a cafe, a European cafe. And now you blow out it. No, I blow Eric. Man, why, can't you, why are you not working? Sounds like you're a hard-working woman. Sounds yeah, like... I've been working a lot, and I'm tired. I you don't want to work anymore. I, I do. I have to. If I don't have to. What about cleaning houses or something like that? Is I, that... I could do a little. Yeah, sure. Instead of blowing Eric, I would think... Uh... I could... There's many things before blowing Eric. I know. I mean, you're not that yeah, bad. Like suicide. A little fun. What else? A little fun is fun. All you're right. having fun hey. with it. As long as you had a good time. That's what yeah. I This is rude to ask a lady, but I'm just curious. You could say, no, how old are you, sweetie? 44. Oh, you, you look good. You're in good shape. Looks yeah. great. I would have thought you were much younger. Go ahead. You look, you're looking at Eric there. Do you see his stomach? Wait, he's got to be the. F you've got to be the fattest you've ever been, right, Eric? What? I think I've lost some weight. Are you at like? Are you over three sixty? No. Look at that belly. Uh, you, you want me to go on the scale? Yeah. What do you weigh? Like three fifty, three sixty. That didn't I turn just you said, off. Are you three sixty? And you said no. I'm. Between 350 and 360. You want to go on the scale? You're so fat. Is Ty Cobb's lifetime average higher than your weight or lower? <laughs> go ahead, go on the scale. We'll weigh you. Did, that, did that didn't turn you off when you saw him so heavy? No, it's fine. I mean, yeah, what's wrong with, other... with him? Nothing is wrong with him. No, you find him attractive? Yeah, because men go to change his ass, they grow. Yes. Uh, let's see, he weighs 333. Oh, not bad. 333. I, lo I lost some weight. Did you? Wait, yeah. no, wait, wait a second. Now it's going. Oh, you're just stepping on it, Gary? <laughs> Three hundred thirty-three. Three hundred thirty-three. All right, thank you. That's much lower than Ty Cobb's back. Well, I got to tell you, it's fascinating. I uh, wish you the best. I really do. It was nice to meet you. It was I, nice I, meeting I, you too. I, I always like to meet Eric's friends and see what he's up to. Thank you, uh, Eric. I he's believe he's a good neighbor. Yeah, he's 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 fine. He's quiet. He doesn't play his music too loud no. or anything like that. You don't he's hear him. He's all right. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, Eric, uh, congratulations. Uh, I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I thought you were going to drag in some ugly crack whore. Oh, God. And here you got this nice lady, I mean, uh, blowing you. Uh, granted, it was for $40. <laughs> Eric, do you ever pray for the day when you don't have to pay a woman where a woman will do it because she loves you? I wish. Yeah, I pray wish. for that day, Eric, too. Well, just, yeah. I think Eric's nature, does not, he's not interested in, um, in that. No, really? You'd like I think he's yeah. going to be single. No, you'd like a, you would like a girlfriend, right? Yeah. You would. You would like it if, if uh, the beautiful Paulette said to you, you know what, Eric? I like you. I like you, and I want to I want to do something to please you, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think I see this happening with Paulette. <laughs> not right now. You know, you know what's yeah. depressing is I, I, I'm not that much different than Eric. Oh, stop. I, I, I pray for that day, too. Wait, wait, Paul, let me ask a question. It's all right, stand up. Yeah. Well, well, now, would you do? Would you give him a blowjob if you want the one? Why not? Wow, I love her. But it would cost how much? Not one Miss Howard TV is said. Forty bucks. Forty bucks it would cost. Yeah, you keep the, your price at forty. <laughs> yeah. What about I you think did? I think I have to put it up a little bit though. <laughs> really? I'm I'm higher. I'm I'm flattered by that. Well, no, man, I'm not flattered. Forty is fine. <laughs> forty is fine. That's yeah. very nice. What do I get for ten? Ten. Um. Hmm. What do I get? Hand job. Mm -mm. No, not even. What's a hand job? Twenty. Twenty for a hand job. Hardy, <laughs> uh, Hardy, when the hand job? I'll give you the, I'll give you my ATM card and the number. You no, no, that? I don't use ATM. I, I don't. I only have fifteen bucks on me. Eric will give you Boy, a hand job for fifteen trouble. bucks. <laughs> Eric, would you give uh, Artie a hand job for fifteen bucks? Absolutely not. You would not. No. You don't want to rub Artie. You don't want to charge no. him. Well, Howard, mm -hmm. can you also say something? Sure. Howard TV is the best. Right. Yes. Yeah, well, I, I, there's a Howard TV. There's a TV. Howard. There's a Howard TV. Special coming up for Halloween. Yes, that's right. All right. You're going to be you. a part of that? Yes. Oh. You don't want to miss it. All right, Erica. <laughs> well, Erica, you're doing well. I'm happy to see you. I'm uh, happy to see Paulette. I thank you for bringing her in. Uh, enjoy the $500, the two of you. Do you think you'll be uh, having fun with Paulette again, Eric? 
Yeah, in, in, in the near future. And yeah. Eric, Eric, don't go around telling people she's a crack whore. You right. said that on the phone. She's not a crack whore. Yeah, why did you say she was a crack whore? Because he's stupid. You thought she was? Yeah, when I first met her. She's a beer whore. There's a yeah. big difference. The woman, <laughs> yeah, you told me she was a crack whore, and she's not. She's a beer and cigarette whore. All right. All right. She says she doesn't do crack, right? Am I right, Paula? You're not lying. No, no, I don't smoke crack. You don't. Well, Eric, uh, I want to thank you. I what is your boyfriend going to think of you blowing Eric? Don't tell your boyfriend. I don't have a bud somebody in my life right now. But you said you're still in touch with the guy. Oh, he's he's out in Seattle. He doesn't mind. That's oh. yeah. He was tongue in tongue yesterday. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I didn't want to come here. He didn't tell me to come. Nice. Did he have sex with you yesterday? Oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. I was married to that man already. Oh, you've been married. Okay. I'm I'm confused about your life. And yeah, well, it's, yeah, I understand. You got parents? You got a brother and sister? Where, where are they? They're out in London. In, in London. London. You got parents in London and a brother and sister in London. Can't they help you out a little bit? In, uh... they, are, they are adults. I, I'm older than them, right. my, except my mom. My right. mom, my mom. I take care of myself. You take care of yourself. All right, whatever that means. What's well, great? You know, my my uh, cousins and stuff, they would never. They would ask me for money way before they'd go out. <laughs> right. I, I mean, I think that's nice that uh, you don't bother your relatives or your friends for money. You're just nope. like, fuck it, I'll blow Eric. I mean, yeah. If you could have any job in the world. What, no, is it, what, was, what is your dream? What was your dream? <laughs> sit back in a nice home somewhere. She doesn't in... want to work. <laughs> you, want to married, you want to be married. You want to be married to a man while he goes out and work, and you would take care. Well, of he him. doesn't have to go out. He he knows how to do simple living. Right. All right. I was already in that world. Okay. You, well, you don't mind because a simple life. Right. If you married me, would you be faithful to me? Would you? Of course. You would, but I mean, even blowing guys, you would. No, you... no, no. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Unless, Unless you have to have a. A shared relationship. We have to know what each other wants. You into girls at all? Do you ever go down no, on girls? No, no, no. that's not your thing. Not you like my men. thing. I, you... I think it's right. Could I cheat? Could I Guys cheat on you and you not cheat on me? Or you could use a rubber. Yeah? I could fuck another girl with a rubber. Right. And you'd agree not to fuck anybody. No. Really? I won't fuck anybody. Oh my God! Well, do you have a number over there? No. <laughs> Artie might want to marry do you, you. Do you think you and Artie might hit it off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what, what is uh, Eric's load taste like? Is oh, there a taste? Jesus. That, is it smelly or just like every 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 comb? Really? It's clean. It is clean. I'm gonna throw up. I think thinking. Oh about God, it. please. I mean, <laughs> don't, don't don't talk about it too all much. All right, it's all right. Clean. Well, you asked the uh, question. Yes, and his penis was clean and it didn't yeah. smell. Okay, wow. And Artie, you don't mind following Eric. Well, I would have to just take you to the Mayo Clinic, you know where that is, <laughs> and just get you scrubbed up. Robin, and, how much I, money would it take for you to blow high pitch, Eric? Really? Is there, uh, is there a number? Several million. Several oh, million. Please. <laughs> there is a number. Well, there right. is a number. So there's a number. Five million, you'd do it. Uh, Don't say not It would probably be in the tens of millions. Mm -hmm. Tens of millions. Would Richard or Sal do it for money? I think for $40, they'd do it. All right, listen. Uh, you're a lovely woman, Paulette. Thank you, you. And thank you for coming down. You're very brave. To admit that you uh, were that you blew Eric. I mean, uh, it's no biggie. How many no big women? Deal. No other woman has come in here. <laughs> no, oh, really? No. I don't we, think any of them exist. Years right? we know Eric. Well, we've they never must come. have a problem. There's nothing wrong with sex. Yeah, they're assholes. Well, who I do you think, think it's sex with Eric? Who do you is think is smarter, <laughs> Eric or Paulette? Paulette, you're smarter than him, right? I, I'm not here to compare. You it's would not, not compete with him. It, it's not even close. It's not even close. You I'm, think she's smart? Way smart. Yeah. Eric, you're not retarded or anything, are you? Oh, kind of slow. You're slow. Yeah. Right. You were always slow in school and in the slow Spe class. Special ed classes. Special you did ed. the special ed class. Yeah. Yeah. They worked out great. Uh, Paulette, you never were in special ed, were you? You were always... Special lab? Special education where you were slow in school. Oh, no, 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 no. I made it so... I, I, in school, you were smart. Yeah. Yes. And you went to college? Yeah. Oh, you went to college. Yeah. What college did you go to? I went to the um, PSS. PSS College. I What's never heard that? of that. Excuse me, so it's in the Caribbean. Ooh. In the Caribbean. I'm right. sorry about that. I got to. It's yeah, in the Caribbean. All right, you might I did four at, years. Look into that cough. I'm worried about you. All right, listen. Yeah, I need to spit. Next time he comes, gargle with it a little. Really? No, I need to spit a bit, but I didn't. All right, sorry. thank you. You're a lady. Uh, Paulette, uh, thank you. A pleasure to meet you. High pitch, thank you. Always good seeing you. And thank high you. pitch will be bartending, like I said, over at Jordan's Bar and Grill at Levy's Comedy Club well, this Friday. Where do you see yourself in five years? Huh? <laughs> <Where? laughs> I thought you were talking. I was, I was wondering. I'm saying, no, how about it's okay, Nima, with for job? Uh, uh, I probably could do a little something. Probably really blowing Irish John. <laughs> so let me rephrase the question. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, from five years, I may just 
Well, be relaxing out in Jersey somewhere. Oh, okay. okay. But not in Jersey, really. I got a place down there, right? You like well, jet skis and shit? Yeah, I like the waterfront area. Y yeah, I got, I'm on the water over there. Can you clean stuff? Like, uh... Check out Eric's Internet Radio Show at syndicate, syndicateradio.tv. All right, Paula, thank you, and thank you, uh, Eric. All right. Where did you uh, yourself 10 years from? I got out your century at a glance. 10 years? By the way, Eric, what's going on with these recent charges against you? Did you know Eric had some legal problems? Are you aware of that? No. Uh, uh, Eric had um, charges against him for what? Stealing your friend's credit card or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Crazy. happened with that? Uh, I got to go back to court in November. Oh, right. God. Is it going to be ironed out? Do you think it'll be fine? Yeah. Did you ask your friend to drop the charges? I haven't spoken to him since. <laughs> Are you mad? Are you mad at him? No. No. Is he mad at you? I How know. did you get your friend's credit card? It was in his drawer. Jesus. Oh, so you went into a drawer and I took it. That yeah. doesn't sound like you. You're not a thief, are you? I guess you are, huh? <laughs> I, I have quite I about the quit in November. Do you want to take a lie detector test with Ralph? <laughs> I, I don't think he denies the charges, right? You don't deny it. I, I don't think he really did it for you. He did it for some reason, didn't you? What was yeah. the reason? Well, I was behind. You were behind on yeah. things. Well, you got... couldn't ask him for it? Ask him for something? Or blow him? <laughs> yeah, like guys do that stuff nowadays. You could not blow him. Why did you blow him? You sound like Yoda. Uh, you know, I like to blow him. I like, you know, no, he's like short and fat. Very clean. Very clean. What, that was a nice thing. What happened? He was just sitting there in the in the desk and you said, oh, geez, why is he putting this here, making this temptation? But why are you going through his drawers? <laughs> I just did. That's so stupid. <laughs> What uh, what kind of money did you get out of it? I mean, did you how much money did you spend? I rather not say. You you keeping that to yourself? Was it a lot of money? Not until my court case. I see. Very stupid. Well, how you did are. you get the pin number? <laughs> Very stupid you are. How did you get the pin yeah, number? Yeah. yeah, how'd you get the pin number? Pin number? How did you get? Oh, credit card. You don't need a pin number. No, oh, no. Yeah, it's just like you got to just sign the guy's name. You oh. signed his name. You faked his uh, signature. What'd you do? I bet you went out to dinner, right? I bet you had a nice dinner. Mm, a few. You had a few dinners. Yeah. Yeah. Before How you long got... did you have the card? A few weeks. A few weeks. I rather not talk about it. How did you get caught anyway? Why didn't you call me? I rather not talk about it. You're embarrassed by it. You feel bad about I it. I didn't yeah. know. Right. Do you think you'll go to jail? Excuse me. No. Why didn't you call your friend and apologize? Since you feel bad about it, I just haven't spoken to him since. He's a, he's embarrassed, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. My, I... yeah, but my, oh, my, my attorney told me not to. To have contact with him. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's I... that's smart advice. I would I would listen to your attorney. That's very good. Um, I hope you don't go to jail. You why, might. Why not? Why not? He's a thief. Nah, <laughs> he doesn't. He made a mistake. <laughs> He's not a thief. He made a mistake. <laughs> like was... I did when I came to the Caribbean. From the Caribbean, to this shit all. <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't the first time, was it? Though I mean, you've had other problems. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm not putting He's you... a repeat offender. I was oh. going oh. to have you over my house, but I'm afraid you'd take something. You Did know, I blow Dillinger? Hmm. Are there some people you wouldn't take things from that you really respect, and then there are other people you would? No, I, 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 I'm not doing that stuff anymore. You're I don't think there's one you're, person he wouldn't steal from. You're done with your life of crime. Yeah. Good for you. That's that's a good start. Would like you steal here. from me? You huh? it, what, now, what happens when you go in Paulette's apartment? Can she, does she have to lock she everything have up? To... No. Right. That's nothing. Do me a favor. Keep clapping your hands while hey, I'm in the apartment. Hey, Howard, I thought you wanted to do a Howard TV in my place. Oh. What? Do I do it from where I live and how I live? <laughs> yes. I thought you wanted to have Howard TV come to my place where I live. Can oh, I blow nice. Doug Goodstein? <laughs> Paulette, do you have any credit cards? No, no. You I do not. All right. Well, that's good. Then let it Eric may be in all right to yeah, let yeah. Eric in. I'm a big fan of Ganji's blog. Can <laughs> Ganji come in? Do you have any jewelry or anything like that? I have jewelry. Yeah, well. I have a pearl necklace. That Lock Eric it up. Me. <laughs> no, no, no. Eric didn't get it from me. Whose apartment is nicer, Eric's or Paulette's? Mine. Yours. Oh, mine's much nicer. Well, her, her room is a little bigger than mine. Oh, it's one room? Yeah. Do you have a toilet? <laughs> in the hallway. In the hall, you guys share a bathroom? Yeah. You and Paula. We all do. Oh, wow. Oh, it's fine. There are two bathrooms on the floor. Two bathrooms on the floor. One for the ladies, one for the men? Or yeah, the, yeah, but the, yeah. Girls, the girls don't use it. Yeah. What do you do, then, if you don't use well, it? They do what they have to do wherever they go. Where do you go? <laughs> I'm not disclosing that. 
<laughs> you have a bucket in your apartment? Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Where do you make your duties? I should have known as nice as I She uses the bathroom. No, where do you make your duties? I don't like sitting on a toilet bowl everybody else uses. I don't blame you. Where do you go then? I'm <laughs> keeping that to my privacy. Well, but where, I mean, you got. let's say it's the middle of the night and you got to take a dump. Do you have a place you can go to? Do you go to a restaurant? Where do you no, go? No, no, no. I go to the old fashioned way. In a box. Oh. In a box? Yeah. How can you do that in a box? What do you mean the old fashioned way? It has to be a bucket or something. Yeah, where do you keep the bucket? In your apartment? <laughs> and then you dump it out into the you toilet? Don't, you don't you just use the bucket. You have to have a cover for the bucket. I see. So you have so a you bucket have a in your cover? apartment? Not just the cover. You have to have something where this thing is going to sit in. You have that chair with the... You know, like when you pick up cat doodle or dog chair? Yes, yes. yes. It's similar. Oh, Jesus oh, she Christ. Used... Robin, explain to me what Paula said. I Paul think she saying. goes and then she scoops it up. No. Well, well, that's what you just said. No, she goes to those porta johns, right? Oh, you have, a litter you have a litter box. <laughs> yeah, I have a litter box for my cats. You do, and then you for go... my cats, but not for me. But where do you go? Well, I, you, I, I do not want to disclose that. It's in your apartment, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It is. She has a chair. Well, you have a chair. You shit on the chair. <laughs> Eric, where do you go? I have in the bathroom. bathroom. In the bathroom. Eric uses the bathroom. Excuse me. That's no. why she doesn't use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I don't think it's for like for a woman to just share this thing with every man. Right. I agree with you. There's got to be some sort of no, separation. Not. You're a lady. Yeah. Keep my ass clean. Now, where Jeez. do you pee? You pee in the same place? Yeah. Wow. Ugh. But then I the pee, then I take it to the bathroom. I see. So you pee in something, like a jar. And I, yeah, and I take it to the bathroom. What a right. fun trip that it must be. Everything. Yeah. It's, it's all right. It's good exercise. Right. right. I have to take my pee to the bathroom. <laughs> sometimes you can, sometimes you can't make it. Uh, I don't want to disclose that. You don't oh, disclose where you shit? I don't want to. It's well, in the same place. <laughs> I have another Andy Gump in my apartment. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I it's in you. the same place, isn't it, Paulette? Let, and you take that You can do separation place. in the same thing, yeah. Let, Let me separate. Put but but uh, you put a cover on top of such, and therefore it's easier to maneuver. Okay. Let me put it to you this way. Don't go near the garbage can on 9th and 7th. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cat doodle that goes in there. Boy, there's a lot of people shitting right yeah, in their in apartment. There, uh, Howard, yeah. there is shit well, all over the city. Well, there's cat shit all in the garbage can. The because list. that's where I put my garbage. But I, how the ass not do that? He, he goes in his room. Yeah, but that's but what I usually do is try to put it in the bag so they know that it's cat, you know, the cat bag food. After, after you make a duty, do you immediately bring it to the bathroom or does it sit in your apartment for a I, while? No, no. It depends. If I'm tired, I'm not getting up. Right, if it's the middle of the night or something. Yeah. Yeah, so you'll shit and then... But it don't smell. Because you have it covered with some sort of cover. Right, and I take a lot of vitamins. Right. Well, good for you. Do you uh, just? You mean you won't get up? You'll just shit in your pants? You're no, 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 no. Because no, no. <laughs> right. I've done that, I, like during a big game. Well, I that's just... an accident. Well, let me tell you, Paulette, I'm learning a lot about life in the city. <gasps> I'm learning to move to Connecticut. Yeah. Uh-uh, Connecticut uh -huh. is boring. There's nothing there. There's nobody <laughs> shitting there outside. Uh, well, but there's Paulette, nothing there, a stupid old uh, No one said life's easy, and you're certainly I a know. testament to that. I know so you're... you don't want to move to Connecticut? No, no, no. no. Good news for Connecticut. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, high pitch, congratulations to you. Sounds like things are going well. Thank you. Sounds like your court case will be settled soon, uh, and uh, you're going to... Give up your life of crime, and yes. you're going to try and get more money together so you can <sighs> get blowjobs from Paulette. Paulette, listen. Uh, with the 250 you made today, maybe Paulette will see a little bit of your 250, right? You th you're thinking about spending some of it on uh, Paulette? Yeah. You are. Well, let me see. 250. Now, if you get forty dollars of blowjob, how many blowjobs can you get out of 250? Let's figure this out together. Six. Six times. He's right. And you have That's 10 right. bucks left over. That's right. You got a pizza. He's already calculated. <laughs> Good for you. Well, six blowjobs. I see it in your future. <laughs> so really, really, if you look at it, Paulette, uh, he won no. 250 You no. won 490 <laughs> That's right. Uh, You'll get that money out of him. Yeah, if I get to <laughs> Eric, are you going to get a blowjob every day, or are you going to just wait, hold, like space it out? Space it out. Okay, good for you. All right, well, Robin, there it is, the I'm depressing story of High Pitch Eric. I don't know. I'm not as depressed as that. Paul, listen, with that money, could you take a bus down to Tom's River, New Jersey, go to 314 Hooper Avenue, and just the keys in the Bosnia Gold plan, just let yourself in and wait for me. I'll be down there Thursday afternoon, <laughs> and I want to just a blowjob. And you could stay there with Did me. you just give your address out on the air? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. 
Not, it's not your address. <laughs> There's no address. That now, that okay. poor person has Paulette no, sitting on No, that, 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 that address doesn't exist. <laughs> I was just about to ask him. Please give me the... I will show up. No, that address doesn't exist. I was trying to play a joke with... I was, I was thinking of legal problems. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I want to say to the two of you, good luck. And uh, Ronnie, uh, help uh, high pitch Eric and Paulette out the door. And guys, thank you. thank you, and I wish thank you a lot of luck. And uh, and thanks to my sponsor, uh, uh, the IFC's new comedy series, Z Rock, for giving High Pitch Eric and Paul that five hundred dollars to split between the two of them. Thank you so I much. That'd be nice. Yeah, All right, thank you. What? No, no, not right now. I've seen your it's dog. It's enough of a, an appearance. It's enough to see in you, uh, Eric. Oh, Bye, him and that Paulette. fucking dog you know, shut up about. It. You look very lovely. She does. She does. She's a good-looking girl. She, she got does. a nice belly shirt. All right, I got Eric go. has a nice belly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, okay, Lisa G's here. Sorry. All right, Lisa G, go ahead. You do your thing. I had something else I was going to talk about. And then we'll check it. Oh, we have to check in on the craptacular. All right, oh, big. that's right. It should be. We got to start it. You see, I start getting the craptacular. It's time for number two. That's craptacular number two. The Howard Stern Show. The Craptacular. All right. Uh, who's over there at the Craptacular that I'm talking to? Hello? Uh, Howard Shuley right oh, here. Oh, Shuley. Hey, Shuley. Hey, uh, and, there, hey, and we can see on the video camera, there's Joey Boots and uh, High Pitch Eric. Has anybody made duty yet? Nobody yet, Howard. These two went to uh, the Chinese buffet last night. That's correct. They, uh, they had. I think Joey said he had about seven trips back and forth. Yeah. What'd you eat last night, Joey? And by the way, again, I want to make the point, guys. This really isn't so much a competition, even though I have money on Joey. I just want you to know, I'm really interested on how you guys eat so much. You're both very heavy. I just wonder how much crap you put out on a day. Okay, we, we're not doing anything that we normally don't do. Okay, yeah. we, we're not. I'm not 315 pounds. For no reason. Right. Hey, Ron, what, kind of, what did you say about the steroid sc scandal? You uh, fucking? What? <laughs> What'd you say? What about the steroid scandal? And then yeah. he said, you monkey. Yeah. <laughs> what? Nice segue, we're, Eric. We're not taking no steroids. Oh, Why my God. Why are you making God. steroids? He's so funny. Mm -hmm. But what, what's, what's, what's with, with the, the monkey thing? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, why are you going to be racist? I was just mad. That's all. I'm not taking steroids. Between the two of us, I think you look more like... A monkey. A monkey. Robin, take him <laughs> off your Christmas card, Liz. <laughs> that, is, that was just the worst... He, he's already off. What's wrong with him? Hey, fix uh, Eric's mm -hmm. mic. It's hard to hear him. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's better. <laughs> yeah, now when you say monkey, we'll fix no, Yeah, we missed the monkey comment. <laughs> but, you know, it's... Who weighs more, actually, Eric or Joey? Oh, Eric by far. No, it looks no, like no, Eric, man. Look at him. In... Not no. no yes. No, because they weighed me. I was 333 pounds. And I'm 315 pounds. Let's get a scale right now. But, okay. but uh, Eric, <laughs> that Eric. means you weigh more. <laughs> Fucking retarded. I saw a scale in the kitchen. It's not Barry. No, Eric, if you weigh 300... now. Eric, if you weigh 333 and Joey weighs 315, you weigh more. Yeah, you just won... I think Joey's 315. You don't think he is? How afterwards, I got a scale here. We'll do it we'll, later on during one of the updates. Julie will check That's it. a horse of an entirely different color. It's probably her. So no one's made duty yet? No. Hey, no, Joey. I, I definitely have one within the hour. It's in the chamber. I have one before 8 o'clock. Well, yeah, well, we want to be updated right as soon as one of you guys go. And Joey... Um, Joey, you're admittedly gay, and Eric, right. you've done a bunch of gay stuff. Why don't you guys make out a little? Nah, that's kind of gay. No. It's, Eric's not my type anyway. I mean, we were listening to Howard. We went to the buffet. We had a nice dinner last night. People actually were there at the buffet waiting for us to show up. And what did uh, Eric eat and what did uh, Joey eat? Well, Joey, Joey says that Eric went up about 12 times, and, and he was just eating food that Joey would have to chew three times to swallow. And Eric he, was sticking the whole thing in his mouth. Yeah. Just swallowing food whole. He's, he's a machine. Uh, it's hard to hear you, Shirley. What are you wearing over your mouth? I'm wearing, well, you know what's odd about this, Howard, is we seem to be holding these contests in places that smell like shit before the contest even starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you did. It smelled good. So you're covered with a surgical well, mask? Well, I have, I have oh. like a painter's mask on right now, and then when the, when it really goes down, Joey used to be in the Army, and he has an actual Army gas mask that I'm going to put on. <laughs> so we're, are you at Joey's? Yeah, we're at Joey's apartment. 
And Joey's yeah. apartment smells like shit even before you. No, start. that's not true. It's that's... not. Sh- it's just tons of cigarette smoke, and and it's just there's not that's a lot true. of ventilation. And fuck that. And I have a cat. And there's dust everywhere. Yeah, Shuli, you kind of sound cat. weakened, like 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 you're almost down for the ten count. I do uh, the same thing, man, with the mask. It's bad, dude. It's, it's bad. bad. It wow. Really is. There's dust everywhere. And Joey moved in here three years ago, and <laughs> there's still stuff in boxes. <laughs> I'm mentally ill. Look at this window. Look, look, like Joey. You, you know what you do, man? Window. After the craptacular, take all those boxes, dump everything out, and just throw everything out. Yeah, I have some good shit though. I don't want to get rid of everything. You, you know what? The desk you have there is nice. Yeah, I, I got good stuff. <laughs> I, I got all say, the medals I got in the army. You see that? Wow, you're highly decorated. I am. I'm what What are those medals? Uh, I'm looking at the medals behind you. What What are those medals for? Can you point out? Um, uh, military Expedition Medal, uh, Army Good Service. Good Conduct, Army Achievement Medal. Is that a yeah, picture of you in defense there? Defense Medal, NATO Deployment Medal, Armed Forces Service Medal, Expeditionary Medal. And who's that a picture of in there? That's that's me. Wow, that's look me how right good right. looking you are. Let me see you. Look at that. Well, you want to get in shape, dude. Look how good he looks. That was to look. when I was like 205 pounds. Wow. Come in tight on that for a second. Keep holding that, Joey. It's coming in tighter. Can't see him. And they're going to miss it completely. Guys, get in tight. <laughs> it looks like Joey robbed the metal store. <laughs> yeah. He looks look like... Look at Joey. Look how good he looked. Good wow. Yeah. Yeah. You're a handsome guy. How old are you there? Uh, I was 10 years ago, so I was like 31. How much gay sex did you have at that point? I, I've had it since I was 15. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're a highly decorated veteran, and now you're doing the craptacular. Yeah, I'm, you know. We'll have to create a medal. Were you in a war? <laughs> I was in. I was in a military conflict. I was in. Bo- I, was, I was. one of the first 500 into Bosnia when that kicked off. Wow. I stayed there for a year. Mm. Went back to Germany for three months, and then went to the with the UN down to uh, Macedonia for peacekeeping duty. Why didn't you keep stay in the military? You were so good at it. Because I, I got. I, I, I was suffering P- PTSD. And uh, I just had a lot of mental issues going on, bipolar. It was they threw like, you out, or you just left? I, I I wanted to get out. They wanted they wanted me to stay in, but I just I couldn't perform my duties at that time. I Do wasn't you right. think the military brought on your mental problems? Or? I think I had issues beforehand, yeah. but I think the stress of the deployments I was on in two year period, I was deployed for a year and a half, and I was training before that, you know, and it just the stress and everything. It just kicked my ass, and wow. I wasn't strong enough to... Why is your leg shaking so much? Because uh, I just have a nervous tick. Yeah. You ready? You feel like you have to take a dump? No, not yet. Within the hour, though, it's definitely... I got a round in the chamber. It's going to get ready to get loose. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... You're going to win this thing? Howard, I'm going to win it for you. Thank you. You got $200 on me. That means you have faith in me. Robin has $200 on me. She has faith in me. I'm doing it for the both of you guys. I appreciate your... Uh, your your uh, your support. And uh, I'm gonna do it for Artie because Artie has two hundred bucks for me too. Eric, what did I'm you eat? Copying Austin? what I said. Yeah, why are you copying what Joey said? I don't know. I just did. <laughs> Monkey. Monkey. Yeah, just think of something on your own for a change. Yeah, hey Eric, <laughs> what did you eat last night? Just describe some of the foods. Well, I had some short ribs. I had some short had ribs. <laughs> Thirty pieces of sushi last night. Ah. Thirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had some, uh, what, what else did I have? Coconut shrimp. Wow. Oh, Isn't America amazing? That, what does it cost to go to the Chinese buffet? 16 and change. 16 and change. And look yeah. what you and could all eat, you can eat. And you can eat every fucking thing there. Everything in the whole world. Is everyone huge and fat there? It's got to be, Yeah, right? it's a lot of fat people. <laughs> <laughs> and this particular one that we go to is like half black. Eric, I think that's where you got the monkey comment from. Because he, he kept commenting about all the black people in the restaurant last night. You don't like black people, Eric? No, I don't. No, you don't. <laughs> he kept pointing them out. Why are you pointing out black people? <laughs> no, Joe, that's not true. Dude, you kept saying, look at how fat that black lady is. Not look how fat that lady is. You said, look how fat that black lady is. Never. I never said that. Eric, stop lying. You're a liar. You never said that. You're a fucking liar. That's never another black. Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> I th- is it weird? I smell the shit through the screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, maybe that's your own shit, so, so you had 30 pieces of sushi, ribs. Did you have any Chinese food, like like plates of chow mein or anything? No, like I did. I had, I had I had pepper steak. I had the, the the pork ribs that they had. I had a lot of vegetables for fiber. Joey's been drinking beer also all night. Wow. Uh, uh, I'm not drunk though, but I wouldn't drive. And I also had oyster black bean sauce. Oh, oh okay. 
<laughs> oyster black beans? He ate about he ate about twenty oysters on the half shell. Wow. Jeez. And you haven't taken a dump? Not no. It's probably before eight o'clock. I can feel it. Uh, you yeah, feel something started. happening. Yeah, I've been farting a lot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tracy Morgan's here. All right, guys, we'll check in on you Tracy later. Tracy Morgan. I, lo I love Tracy Morgan. Call him a monkey, Eric. No, no, Tracy Morgan, you might have to break in when I take a shit on him. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Hey, thanks, Howard. Thank nice. you, Howard. We love you. <laughs> thank you. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Uh, well, we'll see how it goes. There's 24 hours of duty that will be reported on here on Howard 100 and Howard 101. Do we want to speculate on how the poundage we think we're going to get? No. No, we don't. I have no idea what kind of poundage we're going to get. Yeah, craptacular. Craptacular is back again. It's craptacular, too. You didn't know there were words for this. It's craptacular Wednesday. Yeah. This is craptastic. Craptastic. <laughs> craptastic, that's right. And the uh, high pitch are oh, going to the God. bathroom. Christ almighty. So, high pitch, you've gone once, you had three ounces. Joey's yeah. nude and high pitch is nude. They're sitting on to like chair toilets. They're almost identical. Almost identical physiques. <laughs> uh, oh, Joey, Joey but I, I think I'm going to throw up. I'm not even in the room. I got to put my mouth. Oh, my God, yeah. I can't, oh, I can't see. Ugh. I just ate, and now I'm going to be sick. There it goes. It's coming out, Howard. It's the best diet ever. Uh, right now, high pitch. Oh, let, let, uh, oh Joey, yeah. Joey yes, Boots is going. Hold on. I'm done. You're done? Mine's yeah. still flowing. Oh. Uh. Mine's still slow, just a little bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, how's it smell in there? It's starting to smell bad direction. right now. I'm starting to smell Eric's. I'm starting to smell Joey's, too. Who has a smaller dick? I, Me. I do. When I'm flaccid, it's really, really, it's a nub. It's a Joey's really drunk. Mm. Joey, are you drunk? No, not yet, no. He's been drinking beer all night. Speak but, Robin, I drank 24 beers since in the Joey, land. you're shaking. Your your whole leg is shaking and you're on. Is that it's, it's, it's cold. I'm getting worried that Joey, for some bizarre reason, before he sat down to get our camera, was trying to chub up. Well, he wants... I got a small penis. You know what? I, I don't that, blame him. I we can't icy see hot. it. Last time I did that icy hot thing with Eric, you know, it was censored on E. But the, as soon as you guys came over to In Demand, uh. that was one of the first shows they uncensored. <laughs> and next thing you know, there's pictures of my small penis all over the Internet. <laughs> don't get naked on the Stern Show. But what, hey, Howard, it, what's, it, Howard, what's for lunch? I don't know. I'm sure they have something planned for you guys. No, but what's for lunch for you? Oh, I ate already, man. I'm feeling sick just I, watching you You know guys. what? I can't eat. This is the best sandwich ever. I You're love gonna be my undying. sandwich. You're on okay. a diet. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm done I'm right done now. Too. I'm done also. <laughs> Joe, you go first. All right, Joey, why don't you weigh in? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> it's corn in my shit. <laughs> wait till, wait till I made people... sure to eat corn yesterday for the funny factor. Oh, no. That's oh, hilarious. Julia, are you all right? I may throw up, man. Oh, this is man. awful. Uh, Jim's going to throw up. <laughs> Listen to hey, the engineer. It doesn't weigh, like, it doesn't weigh much. <laughs> Looks like one of those videos they set before they beheaded him. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> okay. How would I have four four ounces? No, hold it. Let the off. Uh, let it's the official. Be official. Surely you read it. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Surely, we can't hear you if you could just. Uh, uh, Howard. Yeah. Howard. Five ounces, Howard. Howard. Five ounces. Wow, five ounces. that's my boy. Hey, Howard, Jim McCoy wants to throw up. Jim's running outside to throw up, Howard. <laughs> Shuly, all those open mics in Vegas were worth it, huh, buddy? Yeah, huh? Shuly, get the mic on Jim McClure. Wait, hold on, Eric. Hold on. We're, we're following the Jim McClure story. We want to follow someone else. It won't reading reach out. awfulness. It won't reach out the front door. Jim, get over here. Hey, Howard, what's going on? What's going on there at the Midget Festival? Come hold on. Hold on, Eric. We'll get right on that, Eric. Look, I tied up my bag of shit. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Jim, are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. What's going on? <laughs> it's the worst phallus smell ever. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst is... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eric's just sitting there like a fucking <laughs> retard. Nothing dude. bothers him. Start shitting, Eric. I got money on you. No, he, he, shit. he did. Right? He's ready fuck? to weigh in. The problem is, the way that we're sitting, we're kind of like stuck in a corner. <laughs> Right. So, 
Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not spacious I'm there? sorry. It's the fucking worst ever. Uh, okay, I listen. I you, Howard, but I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> I don't blame you. We should have done this in the man cave. <laughs> not mine. No, he's man cave. No. All right, Shuli, let Eric weigh in so we can see who's winning at this point in the contest. The contest has been going on since 6 o'clock this morning. We're three at about roughly three and a half hours in. But don't forget, my first shit weighed three ounces. We're not we forgetting. Okay? We, we, we know, Dick Wad. Hey, fuck you, fat fuck. <laughs> yeah, I got money on you, jerk off. Start hey, shitting. Hey, jerk off, shut the fuck up. I'm making you win, asshole. Oh, my God. That's right, you're betting on it. Why, what, I, I don't know what that weighs. All right, Shuli, can you get over to the scale if you can? Okay, I'm up to three ounces. Three ounces was earlier. All right. Oh, we know. Howard, we're at three ounces again, Howard. Same exact wow. weight. So he's ahead three by, ounces. He's ahead by an ounce, though. Yeah, so, I only went oh. once. He went twice. Right. So, so Watch what happened. By the way, uh, Joey, congratulations. Five in one sitting is fantastic. Thank you, Howard. Uh, more to come. You're a little behind, but that's, I'm not concerned. We're only three hours into this. Uh, hi, Pichera. Congratulations to you. You're in the lead with six ounces to Joey's five, okay? Yep, and Artie, I'm going to make you win. Thanks, buddy. All right. And you and I go around for lunch tomorrow. No. Everybody knows how dependable Eric is. All right. Let's see if Joey can make his words come true and win this thing for the team. All right, hi, Pitch. Good luck to you as well. Thank you very much. Uh, and, oh. and truly, uh, good luck to you. Howard, are you going to check in with us before you get off the air? Okay. All right. All right. Truly, right. good luck. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> this is above and beyond, I think. <laughs> I, I don't know how to react to this. I don't know if I'm for this. I don't know. I think I'm against it. I think I'm against Me it. Too. I know I can't watch it. Is this not indecent? <laughs> Yeah, of course. Yeah, but we're on satellite. All right, I'm sorry. Where's Ted Stevens when you need him? Yeah, they got to bring him back. Well, anyway, those boys are going to go to the bathroom, and as you know, you saw they're taping it for Howard TV. It's going to be a very big special. Craptacular will be going on throughout the day, so listen to Howard 100 and Howard 100 News for updates. Uh, there's so many uh, different updates that will be coming across. As we wind down to the finale, which will be uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, where we'll get the final weigh-in. So uh, that's an exciting competition going on right now between Joey Boots and High Pitch Eric. Who will win? Right now, High Pitch Eric with six ounces and Joey Boots five ounces. How can they stand? I just thought of one thing. What if there's a un unlikely that it could happen? What if there's a tie? Do we then so be it. Stand? No. No, no. everybody's bed is a wash. No, then we go to piss. Shouldn't it be sudden death or like sudden dump? We should go to piss with that. We should have him piss with that. No, Fred, it's just strictly to see strictly what these guys shit. are putting out there. All right. Ends at 7:30 today, and right, I'll go get my update. High pitch, Eric is ready to go. Right. Oh my God, Eric must have run away with this. He's pacing. He has Hi. to go so bad. Hey, Shuli. Hey, Howard. You're still there. Were you there all night? No, no way. Uh, I, there's no way I could stay. First of all, Eric and Joey pretty much take up all the space in this place themselves, yeah. so there's really no room. But uh, some developments over over the night, Howard. Go ahead. Eric, we're at a total of. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ounces. Wow. Wow, what did he have the last time? One pound? One pound something. One pound, three ounces total. Uh, he's kind of choking, huh? Yeah. Joey, he took another dump yesterday. Took two dumps. He took two dumps. One was uh, three ounces. Right. Yes. And then a half hour later. And then a half hour later, he took one that weighed nine ounces. Wow. No. But wait a second. I thought his first one was five ounces. Yes, it we was. didn't talk about that. He this said his second dump. Three oh, this ounces. is after oh, the show. Ahead. So you took a fiver, a three. A three. I took two fives, and then I took a three. And a nine. And then a nine. Wow. Oh, two fives. Nice. A three and a nine. He, Joey Boots is in the lead with one pound, seven ounces. You um, suck, Eric. You fucking suck. You, you fat piece of shit. I hope you brought your money. <laughs> and what you about can't Eric? even shit good. And what about Eric? What does he have? When Eric has 10 ounces total. He's, he's under a pound still. When and he I got has here, diarrhea. When I got oh, he's sitting right now. I can smell it. Oh, geez. Eric, are you oh, taking geez. a dump right now? Oh. Howard, I am. Dude, Howard, <laughs> my stomach is... Oh. Your stomach what? My stomach is killing me. Why? Because you overate. Yeah, he did. He's he's killing us. I ordered calamari last night. He's like, give me some, too. Oh. Did you guys stay up all night? No, no, no we went to sleep. Yeah, of course. Of I'm course, still... Eric is still has Phelan's name. He's not. He doesn't wash. Phelan's no. fading. Oh my God. Eric, what's going on right now? I'm still shitting. All right. Yeah. He... <laughs> I'm not, I might be on the toilet for an hour. So how many how many ounces, uh, Shuli, does Eric need to put out right now in order to even get in the range of Joey? 
13. Yeah, he needs 13, 13 ounces. 13 ounces. Are you kidding? To take the lead. To take the lead, yeah, that's what he needs. But I will say this. He said his stomach's killing him. He w he was ready to go shit in the toilet. He didn't even want to shit in the bag anymore. <laughs> and uh, Why would he do that? Yeah, we said, why are you going to waste a good dump on a toilet? Well, and, Eric, why would you not dump? Uh, uh, I had to go bad, Howard. So, But why wouldn't you want it weighed? Because you have to take the go the shit bag out to my garbage outside. He's like, it's too cold out. Oh, my God. Can you believe that's why I'm losing? <laughs> I told you, Artie would be pissed, man, if he knew you were quitting on them. He's got money Eric, on. this is probably your last dump of the day. Joey, I take it you don't need to dump anymore. You got you know this what, thing but locked up. If I have to, I will. Right. Because that way I set the bar that much higher for the next guy that goes through this to have to achieve. By the way, congratulations. I mean, that's a tremendous Thank output. You. Congratulations, <laughs> Robin and Howard, on winning 200 bucks. I'm going to send you my 200. I'll hey, send Howard. you mine. Oh, I love you guys, man. I needed Christmas money. For uh, everybody's you. happy. You know, Eric, you're a shithead. <laughs> Howdy, dude, I'm still on the fucking toilet. Yeah, I know you're on a toilet, but you're, you're so far behind. You're, you're not giving dude, 13 you have an hour left. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What are you going to fucking do? Open up your intestines? <laughs> He's going to cut out his colon. Well, get, you know, d stop berating him. Let's see what comes out. So and you missed a, a weighing shit because it's too cold outside? No. He didn't. No, he was going to. I talked him into getting What back a horrible attitude. But I heard he had <laughs> diarrhea during the evening. Oh, God, it just stinks so bad right now. <laughs> you, you're sitting next up. to an enormous oh. fat person shitting, Joe. That's what happens. That's what happens when Howard you do wants, Howard TV wants me sitting here for effects for the camera. You know what's funny? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know why I'm sitting next to this guy taking his shit. I'm watching this camera shot, and all of a sudden you start seeing something that looks like it's raining in their apartment, mm. and you realize it's that air freshener spray, like Glade. <laughs> <laughs> and like it just comes into the camera shot. Howard, <laughs> there's not enough like of it raining. on Earth. You know what it looks Howard. like when you go to a concert and there's a fog machine? Right. Yeah. Now it's Lysol. A Lysol, oh. And now yeah. there's not enough of it on yeah. planet Earth right now. <laughs> well, a Eric, tell me what's going on now. Are you are you making duties? Yeah, and it's still coming out. Really? Wow. Oh, God. It's coming out slow, slowly. Audie, you still might win. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't know. How many ounces are you down? Well, let's get this straight here. I told you he needs 13 ounces oh. in order to tie. Oh. Oh, no, 12, to win. 12 to tie, 13 for the win. <laughs> well, this is probably oh. it. And Joe might shit again. Do you have to shit again, Joe? I don't feel anything coming on right now. Dude, it's still coming out. Like a waterfall. Like a waterfall. Uh, like, like, a, like a waterfall. Like a pleasant waterfall. Can you break into Jimi Hendrix waterfall? Waterfall. <laughs> waterfall. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, whatever he says. Damn, how is I, dude? I might be on here for an hour. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah. You might have to stay with me for an hour. There's a lot coming out because I'm I'm just trying to secure dude, my bed. A lot is coming out. Wow. You might want to put your lunch away. I'm starting to get nervous. All right, uh, Eric. When are we going to weigh it, or should we want to come well, back? He's got to finish. Okay, what's, finish. What's the biggest shit on record? Is that in Guinness? I think, Joey, I think Joey had it. Yeah, the nine, nine, nine ounces. ounces. Far as the no, but I mean of all time. Like of all the shitting. I don't think people normally weigh this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that there's a Guinness record no, for that. This could be like maybe 11 to 12 ounces. You ever think of the first guy who ever shit? Like, what did he think was happening? I thought he was dying. <laughs> Thought evil spirits were coming out of him. Oh God, you think he was a grown man before it happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like it didn't start happening until he was about 30. Hey, I'm sure. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, yeah. Out, Howard. All right, brother. Here we go. All right. All right. We'll check back on you when you weigh it, okay, guys? Yeah. Thank you. All right. I got a lot to get to. All if right, I pitch see. Eric, is at my funeral? Let That's me get all the Eric set. Let me get Let me get. Oh, yeah, right. You should outlive him, at least. <laughs> We're in the middle of a craptacular. The craptacular ends, the 24-hour period ends at 7 a.m. this morning. Yeah. Right. We have Joey Boots and High Pitch Eric at it. Now, when we last checked in, Joey Boots has this thing wrapped up as far as I'm concerned. He has... He is 12 ounces ahead of High Pitch Eric. Right, he's over a pound. Eric would need to make a 13-ounce turd in order to beat Joey Boots. And at last we knew Eric was going for like what seemed like an hour. Uh, let's cut over now to the boys. Who wants to talk to me first, Eric or Joey or Shuley? Yeah, let, let, let Shuley talk to you first. All right, Shuley, did, was there a weigh-in? There was a weigh-in, Howard. It was, without a doubt, the most disgusting weigh-in of all the weigh-ins we've had. <laughs> Was it diarrhea? Yes, very much so. Okay. Very wet. Very wet. And ladies and gentlemen, 
We have a tie. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're telling me. He did 12. 13 no, ounces. No, we did 12, 12 ounces. 12 fucking ounces. It's ah, Eric, I love you, buddy. It's That's like the all. Joe Carter Homer in the last you know minute of the World Series. I think you yelling at him. Like, you know what it is? I'm a coach. coach. I think you scared the, the shit out of him. Remember how Ditka <laughs> used to just yell yeah. at the players? He wouldn't even. Ditka would just yell. This is what you do, yeah. You just yell at the guy. And you know what? I used to think that was a weird way of coaching. Yeah. Because I've had program directors who just yell at me. Well, with a creative guy, I don't think it works. But with sports. With sports. And, uh, Eric, what's going on? Dude, I, dude, I really have to go, so I went. And you know he's going again. Are you again. done? Are you done? Probably, probably not. I might have to go again. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Joey, oh. what's going on? Joey, ball's in your court, buddy. What's oh, going to happen oh now? Oh, God, man. I don't know. I'm, t I'm fucking... Ba I'm, I'm fucking... I'm speechless. Man. Are you empty, Joey? Yeah, I, I don't have to shit right now. He's empty. Oh, dear. Wow, wow. Now what do we do? Suppose by 7 o'clock... <laughs> you give me $200. Hold it, hold it, hold it. By 7 o'clock, nobody has gone. That's it. Mm. It's over. Are it's over. Going? It's over. Now, what, do you, what, do do we... you, what do you do with the people? What do you do with me and Joey if we tie? Well, you don't I, get any money. I throw, I throw you out of there. No tie, no cash. Oh, I what can't if, throw you out of there. It's Joey's apartment. <laughs> what about a sudden a death, Howard? Like, uh, uh, no, no sudden death. All right, they kill each other? They <laughs> said do it 24 hours. No, it goes down, it goes down as a tie. What, so you can't split the money between You got more shit than you, dickhead. Just yeah. keep, come on. I'll split the money between the two of you. Well, let me continue my coaching. Hey, Audie, listen. You got more shit than you, faggot. Right, listen, you shit. Shit right now. I don't have to. Shit. Eat something. Yeah, then come over here and give me coffee, bitch. Oh. I have to drive coffee to Long Island, do you? Yeah, you do. Call Robin a monkey again. No, I'm not. <laughs> Go <laughs> make him coffee. You can't make coffee, you Buddy, retard. Get over here, you fat ass, and give me coffee. Fat ass. I just shit. You just <laughs> shit 12 <laughs> ounces. I'm a fat ass. I just shit just now, too. Yellow. There's nothing to eat. Eat something. Eat something that's not food. Eat a picture. No, honey. <laughs> maybe I'll eat you. No, eat Joey's no, no. foot. You're not. You're, you're being disrespectful <laughs> to your coach. Eat something. Eat your, eat your opponent. <laughs> Send that fruity engineer out for there something. There's food there. Yeah, eat. Oh no, Artie, no, my stomach is killing. Eat, no, you don't eat that. Fucking pansy. I know, you know what? He's don't sick. eat. Yeah, I might still have to shit anyway. He's gonna. Are shit. we really telling him not to eat because of medical problems? That's right. I don't. I That's wanted to see how much this is. The you sport think he's is worried about his health. Can I sign like something where you're not responsible? No, I don't want to be. It's not a question of response. I don't care if he dies. They're two grown men. They can do whatever they want. They if, can eat themselves to death. But if my he point dies is, shitting, I don't care. I want to know what these guys <laughs> blast out a day based on their regular diet. Why is he shaking like that? Because it's freezing. I got the chills. All the windows were open. Oh, it's like forty well, degrees out. Well, then, Eric, put your shirt on. Hey, Howard, listen. I mean, yeah. not, not Howard. Already, if I win. You're going to split that money with me, right? No. Come on! Yeah, what? A, listen, dude. To me, you'll right? get something, but you got to shit again. Dude, I will shit probably in about another 10, 15 minutes. Oh. How long does it go to, guys? Seven. seven? It's supposed to be really 728. Oh, 728. 728. All right, you got an hour and four minutes. All right, so who's your first guest around 7 o'clock? What do you mean 728? We started at 7 <laughs> yesterday. Oh, you're Freddy the court of it? By the time we got on the air with you guys, it was close. It was close yeah, but to they started at 7. At 7. They okay. started at 7. Yeah, so no, it's it 7 o'clock. You're right, Joey. 7 o'clock. What time is it? <laughs> uh, 625. What time? 7 a.m. So you have 35 minutes, Joey. Joey, get something in there. I, well... You could you could you could get out like a little a beer. Something. <laughs> beer. Does that help? <laughs> no, he's just an alcoholic. Really. I know. All right, guys. Uh, all right, so just let us know what happens. Is uh, both of them are shaking their legs? Yeah. Look at his oh, belly move. Actually, I might have to go again in like five minutes. Wow. Good. All right. This I, is it, Joey. He's gonna pull ahead of you. All right. I'll definitely give you some money, Eric, if you shit. Come this on. This is like the giant game last week, yeah. where they sort of came up from you know nowhere. And Coming from behind. Hey, when came you in Hoboken? Eric, you. No, don't my, come near my house. You're ruining my fucking Christmas. That was my Christmas money, you asshole. Well, what am I supposed to do? I have to go to the bathroom. Why? He doesn't have Christmas money. Why? He's a fruit. He'll get blown for Christmas by a dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, by Kevin Kraft? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, I can only wish. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so creepy. You want to fuck that kid in the office, man. That's so creepy. No, it isn't. He's cute. Oh, my God. I got the chills. Look how they're both their legs are shaking. <laughs> Howard, it's fucking freezing. Well, put well, your put shirt on. on. Shirt. You don't have some disease that makes you shit all the time? How is that possible? <laughs> No, I don't have no disease. Well, boys, you're giving us an exciting finish. It's a dead heat. Yeah. Exactly. We thought... 
Joey was running away with it. The exact same amount of duty, and we've got a half hour to go, and Eric threatening to uh, go some more. So it could come right down to the wire at 7 o'clock. Please break in with more news if uh, someone feels like they have to go. All right. You got it. Thank you, boys. What on earth does a 12-hour shit look like? That right. is an enormous amount of shit. I don't even know if but we it was count loose. that. Because it was so loose, yeah. <laughs> count it. Well, that means count. <laughs> Eric the Midget. Uh... <laughs> What, high pitch Eric? Yeah, go quickly. Uh -oh. oh, no. This is a pretty exciting craptacular, i got to admit. Uh, uh, Eric, are you going? I'm going right now. It's diarrhea still. Oh, <laughs> Joey. How, Robin, what do I... Oh, God, he's going. I can smell it. I can smell it. You're Robin, doing... I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm fucking in a panic. There's nothing you can do. I'm in a panic. I'm trying to fucking drink beer. and Keep shit, man. I'm trying to meditate. And think For those of you who have been kidding. following the craptacular, this is a 24-hour event. Uh, right, it's... I'm done. I'm Eric done. about I'm to done. go ahead. He's right? done. He's about to weigh in. Uh, uh, You're done? Uh, 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 it's it's liquid again. Oh, oh God. Did you piss in that bag? Did no, you piss in there? No, no. <laughs> I would never do that. Yeah, how do we know he's not? Oh, dude, dude, right. no. No, it's gross. Oh, it's so oh, gross. Oh, it's liquid. <laughs> oh. Mm. All right, what does he weigh? Surely? Uh, oh, oh. oh. Not even an ounce. Ah. Hold on. All we need yeah. is a little bit to win. Yeah. Four ounces. Four oh. ounces. ounces. Wow. What is oh, coming out of him? Forget it. Joey will never make that. <laughs> All right. All right, so what is Eric's total now? Uh, I can't even see. It should be 26. <laughs> it should be 26 to 20 to my 22. Yep. Yeah, he's up That's by exactly four. It. 26 ounces to 22 ounces. Howard. Well, surely you sound ill. Uh, Howard, I'm so yeah. close to throwing up here this morning. This is because I see it in the fucking bag, oh. and it's disgusting. Well, let me just give a quick recap for anyone who's been following this story and is just waking up. Damn. No. Uh, we You're asked lucky. Joey Boots and High Pitch Eric to go uh, face to face in this craptacular. Mano a mano. Who's that spray? Who's sitting there next to you on the couch? That's Jim McClure. Oh, Jim, hey, man. Can't even recognize you with your hood over your face. <laughs> Jim doesn't want to be seen yeah. doing this job. How you hold it? How you, he looks like a guy just robbed a bank. He <laughs> uh, looks like a suspect. Uh, Jim, uh, how you holding up? Uh, better today so far. Good, good, okay. New, uh, new situation, I'm just putting my... My shirt over my face, it's been better. All right. Well, you know, I know the stink in there is incredible, but uh, what we've just learned is uh, we started out yesterday with High Pitch Eric uh, taking the first attempt at three ounces. And then Joey, from out of nowhere, said, hey, just give me my time. Well, throughout the day, he did five, five, three, and then a huge niner. A whopper. Uh, he was in the lead by 12 ounces this morning. <laughs> And as it looked we came like, on the air, as yeah. we came on the air at 6 a.m., Joey Boots in the lead uh, with 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 12 ounce lead. If you can imagine, I was willing to give you three ounces, which means if you took that, I Eric still would have covered. I know. Well, let me tell you, this was phenomenal. Within the last half hour, Eric. First putting out 12, uh, 12 ounces to tie. An unimaginable 12 ounces. An unimaginable 12 ounces. Even Joey is yeah, impressed. Yeah, is in shock. Yeah. He, he blew me over, Howard. He did. He's, he's quite a competitor, Saving Eric. the wind out of my sails, I could, I could say. I knew Eric was an athlete. I just wasn't sure in what. <laughs> and then high pitch we Eric found his sport. suddenly, within the last 10 minutes, goes again for another whopping four ounces. If this was that giant guy from 1951, he'd be like... Eric shit 12 ounces! Eric shit 12 ounces! So anyway, four ounces in the lead now. Joey kind of running on empty, drinking a beer, but there's not much to say about that. I got that. about, Howard, I think I have about 16 minutes to put out, what, four ounces for a tie, five ounces for a win. Right. right. And it doesn't look good, does it? It's not looking good. Not look at looking that, good. That big piece of shit to your immediate right is going to shit like again. Like the last minute, of, <laughs> Howard, the last minute or two, I may just pull down my pants and try to push... But, you know, because and, and, you have to round it off to the nearest one. Now, let me describe so, the scene in your out. apartment. Joey, let me describe the scene in your apartment. Yeah. Eric is standing there naked holding his own feces in his hand in a bag. <laughs> and, Eric, i got to say, looking at your nude body, you're not long for this world if you don't go on some sort of diet. <laughs> I've never seen a belly hang like that. He's I mean, been looking like that for some time, How? I mean, yeah. Eric, I, I'm not a parent here. I'm not, you know, anyone close to you. But I know you do respect me. If you, your heart must be surrounded by so much fat that just to take a beat, it has to work so, so hard. And really, are you going to do anything about this situation? Maybe after this, I'm going to 
go exercise and work out. I'm telling you, you if unless you have a death wish, you are not going to live long. And plus, he's standing there with a filthy ass. Mm. Uh, it, really, look at the humanity that is him. But look Eric, today is your day. You are beating Joey Boots now by four I ounces. Believe, I, I can't believe I woke up to being so happy and this is a great mood that I'm going to win. That all of a sudden, you know, and all of a sudden now I'm behind. You know, not slip away. How fast things change. The fact you know? that you could wake up in that den of hell happy uh, means you're a great guy. Are you upset, Joey, right now? Really? Yeah, because I, I really, I had that money spent already. Uh, Austin Eric Howard, just so you know, Jim and I are sitting on the couch that High Pitch slept on last night, mm -hmm. and uh, when we got here this morning, High Pitch wanted to quit, and Joey talked, talked him, him into it. into not shitting Staying in the toilet. In the contest. And on he, the was gonna, he was going to he was last night. He was going to shit in in my toilet. Eric, why why now that you're bridge. winning, do you feel great, Eric? I do, Howard. Why were you going to go to the bathroom in a toilet when you could just as easily go in a bag? I really had to go. And I don't want to wake Joey up. I know he needed his sleep. Well, Joey talked you into it, and now Joey's having second thoughts about that, I'm oh. sure. He wanted, a, he wanted a fair win. You're in the lead, and you look triumphant, don't you? Yes. That's the body of an athlete. Eric, how lazy are you? And how, what kind of a miserable fuck? You, you, you don't want to even shit the win? Oh, I guess I'm in the lead now. Yeah, but wh why did you, you want to be shit? talked into it. Yeah. Howard, he left a bag of shit in the hallway, in the kitchen. He didn't even take it out to the trash. Joey went to go in the kitchen. He almost stepped on his shit. Oh. <laughs> it's cold! <laughs> Eric, uh, congratulations, but really, it's sort of a strange situation that you were ready to throw in the towel, and here you are. Competing and winning. Let's see what happens. I got 13 minutes. I'm not throwing in the towel yet. Actually, good, good I gotta Joey. be. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. He's got more than 13 minutes, right? Yes, uh, he's got. No, he's got 15 minutes. Joey, uh, good attitude. I like your winning attitude. Eric, uh, bad attitude, but you are a competitor. Have you ever won anything before? This has got to be exciting for you. The first competition I would imagine in your entire life that you ever were in the lead, right? Yeah. Yeah. Eric, what do you think you ate that tipped the scales? Probably the fried calamari. The fried calamari. <laughs> and I was the guy that ordered that. He fucking copied what I ordered. He did. You ordered it. I ordered it. I picked it up last night. He said, I just can't believe I've, I've enabled my, him to win by mm. both fucking feeding him what I was eating and then fucking giving him fucking motivation to stay in the contest. Is that and true, Eric? Toilet. What Joey says, that you didn't really want to eat calamari, that Joey is the one that brought it in? Yeah. Yeah. You guys should tell Howard how much you guys spent on food. Money wise, it wasn't that much. I mean, I ate normal last night. I probably spent like thirty bucks. I thought we were going to pick that up for the boys. Yeah, no. Yeah, not it was. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They left us with cash. All right, good. All right. Uh, you know something? I'm going to be a good sport because if I win, I want. Yeah. I would like to spend my money with Joey for Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's very nice, Eric. Wow. Well, look, this is, you yeah, know, I ain't I guess... giving you any money. <laughs> the whole, the whole... No, we have we have five hundred dollars. No, that's my money, Eric. Yeah, I take yeah. it. I, I'm your owner. I give you twenty five dollars. I'll tell you right now, if I win, I'm keeping it all. I'll tell you about high pitch Eric. He looks like he's shitting again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. The I fact know. that he's so comfortable without his pants on is so frightening. How about the fact that you can't even see his dick? Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. He really is covered. Like he's totally nude and you can't even see his penis. Uh, how about the Halloween special? Uh, when when I was off in Hitchcock? Yes. I was naked in the whole thing. Yeah, and they had to draw a penis on you because no one could see it for the shoot. Yeah. They had to go as a stunt penis. Right. Stunt uh, right. penis. Then, yeah. I had, then, then, then I had pizza stuck to the back of my ass. Yeah. Again. All right, Eric. Well, congratulations so far, and I Artie, guess. Artie, how much are you owed from this group? Four hundred, I think. You had two hundred. I had two hundred. Yeah, yeah, don't collect it yet. Give me time. I got like twelve minutes. All right, come on, Joey. You can do it. But okay, Eric, really? Drink, okay. We're I'll talking talk about a crummy five ounces I'll to take this. I'll talk to you after seven. Get All the right. eye of the tiger, Eric. Don't let him. You know what I mean? If he's gonna shit, you gotta shit again. I know what you mean. I might have to shit in another two minutes. <laughs> 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 I think he already did. Watch out, Eric. I'm walking. All right. Uh oh, uh, Joey, a uh, true competitor, he's walking wow. around trying to stimulate something. Yeah, trying to let gravity do its job. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea how funny that looks on TV. We'll put that all on Howard TV Ooh. for you. Thank you, guys. It looks like a haunted house. Uh, <laughs> and anytime somebody moves in the house, the other person has to move. There's no room there at all. Well, there you go. We, we're <laughs> the crack. Craptacular is almost over. Got to admit, it turned out to be pretty good. It was um, quite exciting there at the end. Yeah. Well, it's ten more minutes to go. Who knows? Something could change.
Hey, Alan. Yeah. If you want to wrap up the crap tackle, if you go to them. So uh. Eric is officially done. He said he's got nothing left. And Joey's, you know, with this last minute trying to squeeze something he's out. He's pushing, huh? Joey, any luck? Yeah, I'll put, yeah, I'll put some out, Howard. Oh. So listen to this, Howard. Eric was officially done about a minute ago. Right. And I guess from watching Joey shit, all of a sudden he needs to shit. So oh, he's quickly no. lying. Power suggestion. He's quickly lying. Boys, it's 7 o'clock, so we have to weigh whatever's in there Wait a now. Minute. Isn't it like a store? Joey was on the pot, so yeah. he gets to go. Joey right. was on before 7. So Eric, yeah. hurry. I don't think Eric can. Eric he's not is, sitting down by 7 o'clock. He's not allowed to sit. Anymore. All right, Eric is sitting. Uh, he is sitting. He's on. How much is he up for? Yeah, he yeah he's up four ounces. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. He's putting it away. Oh. He couldn't just end it the way it was, huh? Oh. Joey, don't hurt yourself. You'll get a hemorrhoid. How did I just went? I think I'm done. All right. That was like two seconds. Mm -hmm. Can you, you go with yours first, man? No, you first. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. I, I might have. You more. just said you were done. I might have more coming out. <laughs> we have an argument. There's a fight. Imagine these are your two kids. Eric, are you done? Let's weigh in. No, Daddy, I'm not. Oh, oh Daddy. Oh. Oh. Hi, Daddy. There's your big baby. By the way, if you're just tuning in, this is the wrap-up to the craptacular. The 24-hour extravaganza known as the craptacular. Eric's underwear looks like it's gone for World War Three. Oh, God, Howard. <laughs> uh, Shuli, can you get a shot of that underwear? I don't want to, but uh, the Howard no. TV guys are there. They're, they're, no. uh, are they wearing gas masks? Mm. Yeah, this kid Justin, poor kid. Hey Eric, can you open up your pants there so they can see your underwear? Because there's a knot in my pants and it's hard for me to take it off. <laughs> can you just show people your underwear? Can you just pull it up, uh, like where the stains are? Not, yeah, pull I, your underwear up. Can I stand up? No, don't, no, 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 no just no. like while you're sitting there, just take the underwear and show it to the camera. So. Oh. Yeah, you see it, Robin? What? Yeah. Oh. What? Why is there so? <laughs> why is there so much going on there? Oh, Joey's up. Uh, Joey Boots weighing in. Joey, you got anything for us? This I got is something. It. Yeah, I got something. Oh, There's a little God. bit in there. All right, but any little bit helps. Now he's got to have what? Five or six ounces? Yeah. Five ounces to win, Robin. Eric's staring at Joey's ass. <laughs> and loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Shuley. Oh, yeah. Oh, my Was God. You? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's weigh in. And, uh, Joey, what do you have for us? <laughs> What's he got? I got four ounces, man. Ah, so that means... Wait, hold it. What's hold he got? On. Hold on. That's four ounces. So is that a exactly. tie? It's no. A tie. no, but he's shitting. Eric shitting. Well, right, let's... here's the last one. <laughs> All right, here oh, comes Eric. Eric. Like a last Eric. minute home run. I love this. Wow. Right, that's it what is happens. now a tie. Really a cliffhanger, Howard. Yeah, really that's true. Okay, Joey, you be, gave it your best. This might be the winner. Here it goes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I won. Hold on. How much? Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Seven ounces. Oh, oh. Seven ounces. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Ah, it's not even close. You sure he's not urinating in that bag? Come on. Give me my guy. money. I no, think you guys... I, it wasn't urine. No. It's six ounces, Howard. Six, six ounces. ounces. Wow. He beat uh, Joey. Away with oh. it. He beat Joey by two ounces right at the end. Oh, please get me out of here. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> they get me. All right. What do we Howard, get? I'm sorry. For Joey, don't, don't be down. sorry. You, you put on a great show. You did. You came through at the end there, but it just wasn't enough. A good effort, though. Thank you. Uh, I know you're in shock. I know you thought you had this. Yeah, I but... really did. I really, you know, congratulations, mm. Eric. Uh, I'm just, I just feel fucking stupid for having talked him into staying in the contest. Right. You no, know, he was in his kitchen, like really. He, he almost had a breakdown. Oh. He was so, he was just so bummed. This is spent, great. Man. You was, know what is that, Joey? I had that money spent. I mean, this is no. Christmas coming up. I, I wanted to be able to buy something for my niece and my nephew this year that I couldn't buy last year. <laughs> Don't cry on a plastic toilet. Oh my Joey, God, Joey, are you okay? What a fag. No, Joey, no, no, go ahead. No. What are you saying, Joe? What about your niece? I wanted to buy my gift this year. I need the money. I just feel bad. You didn't come through for them, for no. the kids. No. You did your best. Joey, you gave it your all, for Christ's sake. You well, can't Howard, be... Well, Howard, listen. I will... Let, I'll spend my 500, Joey, and I'll give him 250 out of that. Joey, you work? Yeah. Dude, that's fucking nice. You, you guys should hug. Give each other a hug. 
Joey, why are you crying? Eric's going to split the winds with you. I know. I'm happy, though. And how? Why? I mean, I know Joey tried his best. I mean, give it, give it that $200 of yours, too. What $200? You lost I got, our money. I got to give that to Artie. Though. All right. You know what? Joe could have 200 and you could have 200 Eric. Oh, that's really nice of you, Artie. All that's right. beautiful, man. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry <bro>. Christmas. <laughs> all right, Joey, I know you're upset about the loss. Uh, you gave it your all, though. And uh, you want to say, give a message to the kids out there who you're crying about? Go ahead. I just love them, and I just wanted to do this for them. I just wanted to be able to buy them something nice this year. What are you going to buy them? I don't know. Whatever they want. What do you think you should get these kids? How old are they? I, I got a 10-year-old niece, and I got a 5-year-old nephew. Mm. And you let them down? I, well... I, uh, yeah, and, but now I feel really good because Eric says he's going to share the money and Artie's giving money, and so maybe it will be a Merry Christmas after all. All right. Do you, you think could really you take Eric's money? He's got so many problems. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, Dad. <laughs> Eric should do the, the that spin thing with the fish, and I am talked him talked him into it. I think. Yeah, good I because he should. Gonna, I think he's going to do it because all he right. he could pay off that the, the guy that he ripped off the Discover card. He could pay that off. Right. He could catch up on his rent. But I do you think, think I think this event brought me and Eric closer together? Literally, even though we were competitors, I think it brought us closer together. He's helping me. I, I think I'm helping him. You know, uh, is that right, Eric? Just a good, yeah. just a good influence <laughs> on each other. Mm. Eric, uh, you want to say something to Joey? Joey, I want to say you, you know you and I did a good job. I'm happy that we hung out for the last couple of days. Yeah, it was good, man. And we had a lot of fun. We, we caught up at all times. All right. Do you think your niece and nephew Joe already told their friends that? Their uncle is shitting for them, and, and no, I don't. I don't. Think, they're not old enough to know exactly what I do for them. You just told them you were going to bring home it. the bacon. They just know that I bring home the bacon, and, eat it, and then shit it out. You know, they're, they're <laughs> the uncle that has, you know, that, that buys them gifts whenever he can, and you know, and tries right. to be a good uncle. Uh, what is it, Gary? There's quite a bit of anger going out in the uh, going on out in the office what? where people are not feeling sorry for Joey at all. I mean, I hear things like, you know. What are you gonna buy the kids for Christmas? An eight ball, or uh, maybe no, if you did less coke? Yeah, Joe, wait buy... a minute. I haven't done coke. They're right, over Joe. Here. You I better haven't... not. I'm giving you this money on good faith. Don't buy fucking blow. No, and eat. no, no. I haven't done coke in over a year. Uh, I, I've been very good with that. You know, yeah, I do drink a little bit. Uh, you know, I smoke a little bit of weed, but uh, for the most, yeah, I haven't smoked weed in, in the longest. Oh, well, I smoke a little bit since this contest. I could, I could but before, the, but before this contest, I didn't smoke weed for like four months. Oh. Well, okay. Yeah, but I want someone to monitor this. He's, he hasn't smoked weed because he doesn't have any money. No, that's not the case. It was because I've been going for job I've been putting in job applications and going for interviews and a lot of places piss test. So what do we have for the boys from mangroomer.com? We got, what, the 500? Do you have another 500 in there? I do. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, boys, because you guys have really put out a tremendous effort. You took this fight seriously. Joey Boots, $500 for you, courtesy oh. of the great mangroomer.com. Oh, thank them for me, Howard. The new Man Groomer is the essential do-it-yourself electric back hair shaver. It's only thirty nine ninety nine. If I had back hair, I would use them. Go to mangroomer.com or your local Target store to get one today. Mangroomer.com. Maintain yourself. Also, High Pitch Eric will get $500 from Man Groomer. And uh, I, I see... So they're both uh, walking out with a grand. The 500 no, apiece. Apiece. Wow. 200 from me. And two, I'm going to give you 200, Artie, no, and Robin's right giving you 200. We're giving it to them. So, boy, it's about 700 apiece. Yeah. And me and Jim walk out with nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> and then Eric still give me, you still give me half of yours? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. You said you give me half of yours, though. We both get 700. But you still said you give me half of yours. Oh, he's not got 500. No, Joey, I did that so that Eric wouldn't have to give you Oh, okay, okay. I mean, don't be a schnur. Joey, how could you say that? You're still going to take half of Eric's? Why? Cry again, Joe. Maybe we'll all give you our money. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, Howard. Yeah. Real quick, uh, can I talk something? All right, go ahead. Uh, How about your ass? Yeah, it's shout out time. <laughs> shout out to no, everybody. No. At SFN. December thirteenth, I'm doing a show in Voorhees, New Jersey, with the Killers of Comedy. Right. With special guest Danny Bonaduce. Right. And December fourteenth, in Baltimore, Maryland, Ramshead Live, special guest. Danny Bonaduce. Well, hey, big exciting. shout out to everybody at RockyRubberRoom.com. They're talking about us. All right, uh, there you go, guys. Thank you. My boy over there's got a big penis. He said he'd give me stuff if I if I said that. I forgot. All right, name. well, good luck to you guys, and thank you from the Craptacular, Rob. Hey, we did All it, right. Howard. Needs and nephew. I won't say your names on the air, but I did it. I did it. He's like Rocky, Rocky Balboa. He doesn't have a niece in that. Wait. Rocky it's Bowel Boba. The not 2008 version of the Craptacular is in the book. It's officially over, and I pitch Eric to Victor. <laughs> I pitch Eric by two ounces of Victor.
Wow, that was exciting, i got to say, for I a competition. At the end, we had them yeah. both on the pot. This could turn into a national sport, bigger than the Super Bowl. <laughs> All right, we're going to uh, take a break. <laughs> Marty, I'll reach into my bag of... Of my wa with my wallet in it, and oh, I will pay yeah, you the two hundred. You know what? Money. Give it the guy and tell him to get it, it to you. Me. Get it to those guys. All right, we'll be back. Xin chào tất cả mọi người và hôm nay bên em về một chiếc Li Santena chiếc xe sản xuất 2011 2.0 sự tự động phiên bản màu trắng và chiếc xe này thì cũng đời cũng khá là sâu rồi nhưng mà là xe số tự động và phong dáng khá là đẹp rất là rộng rãi những cái đặc trưng của Li San là mặt ca năng rất là mạ cờ rôm thì rất là chắc chắn và khỏe khoắn con này thì giá khá là ưu đãi bởi vì nó cũng bị va quẹt đấy